Hello, everybody. We're going to be playing some Morrowind. Uh, I was going to say, if we hit the uh, load button, we can see we've been at this playthrough for five days, 12 hours, 13 minutes. That's a while. Now, 192 days in, we've done like two steps for the main quest. We'll be getting back to the main quest as soon as we finish with House Redoran and the Tribunal Temple. But uh, for now, we're just going to be um, kicking back and uh, relaxing and uh, trying to finish some House Redoran. Uh, let's see here. I believe there are a couple people we have to talk to in House Redoran. A few other shenanigans. Not a big deal. Uh, let's see here. Uh, for, for lunch. I was going to say, I finished off the uh, pulled pork from last time. Yep. And, uh, what do you call it? We had uh, some rolls. Um, it wasn't an elaborate lunch. Probably going to have Chinese tonight. Yes. Let me see here. Uh, wrong. I don't know what. I heard a noise. Probably a cat. Probably a cat behind the screen. That's most likely it. Ahem. House Halalu, yes. Top quality content. Right, Fargoth? I'll listen to what Fargoth has to say. Here we go. Thanks again for returning my family ring. There we go. That's his, his voice line there. All right. Ahem. What was I saying? Yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going this way. So, uh, we are heading on out to the... Um, what do you call it? Uh, we're, we're actually going to talk to Athrin Serethi. Um, he should be over here. See what he has to say about our duties in House Redoran. We have maxed out medium armor, by the way. It is done. We do not need to worry about medium armor ever again. I'm glad to see you again. I may have duties for you. All right, what, what are my duties? All right, my duties are to become a counselor myself, a.k.a. I have to... Uh, I need the support of the remaining counselors, so. Uh, Minor Adrabar is on the right. Okay, we're going to go find Minor Adrabar then. And try to get his uh, support for us becoming um, a uh, counselor in House Redoran. Like all the other counselors. Uh, that is not it. It'd be to the right. Okay, it'd be that one right over there. We have to go see all the counselors. Uh, hoping to finish off House Redoran before I have to take a break because uh, what's going to end up happening is after I finish Morrowind today, I will probably be gone Sunday. I might stream something weird because uh, Sunday is the Super Bowl, so I don't know what my schedule is actually going to be. Depends on how many people show up and or what happens, you know. Um, but uh, from uh, Monday... It looks like it's going to be a multiplayer POW World session. And um, then likely Tuesday and Wednesday I'll be gone. Uh, with uh, a potential for Thursday, Friday, Saturday being uh, Baldur's Gate and um, Daggerfall. Meaning that I'll have to push Morrowind off to the weekend. Yes. The, 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 the Super Bowl. Yes, yes indeed. Um, that's true. That's true. Okay... Let's see here. Hello there. You'll bring me good fortune, Outlander. How may I be of service? I need to get the support of this guy to become counselor of House Redoran. How are you? It's great. I'm I'm just a random adventurer trying to get um oh, what do you call it? Um uh, a random a ra random adventurer trying to become uh, a counselor. It is absolutely absurd. But by doing the menial tasks for these people, you know, not none of them have the political agenda to keep me down, apparently, which it happens all the time in, in real life. You know, you you can't advance because there is someone invested in keeping you from uh, uh, from being able to do that. In Daggerfall, you're never able to get into a management position as an adventurer. They specifically cap you at the uh, at the highest ranks of, uh, <laughs> you know, um, uh, you call it uh, gopher. Yes, G gopher is the uh, the term. Person who goes and does things for for others. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Do I have any idea what I'll be playing in Baldur's Gate or Daggerfall? No. Not not even a bit. I have not. 
changed my mind about you, Outlander. Damn. What do you mean? Mm-hmm. I need your support to become a chancellor. House Redoran. Yes, we are the uh, greatest and most noble house. Damn right. So... What are we missing, then? If he, he hasn't changed his mind about me. Do you have something to say, Outlander? Uh, yes, yes, about that. Um, Do you have something to say, Outlander? I'm going to have to go uh, figure out who I need to talk to, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes, yes. Um, the only... Yeah, you're, you're basically only ever managing your castle. And that's it. Like, in uh, in the uh, DLC in Oblivion. That's it. Just the Battlethorn Castle. That's the only time. How can you kill a god? We haven't uh, even considered such a thing yet. Dagothur is a myth, according to... Uh, not not a myth, but he's a um, he he is sealed away in Red Mountain. Why why would we care? The the tribunal, blessed be their names, are, are keeping him in check with their divine powers, which are definitely not failing. <laughs> All right. I'm glad to see you again. Yeah, let's let's, let's reread this properly. Okay, so um, minor Aldrabar is. Uh, let's act, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, write these down because I'm uh, I have the memory of a goldfish and by the time I exit to Scar I've already forgotten who I'm talking about so alright let's go minor air, arrow bar and uh, that's the arrow bar manor and the other one is uh, Griska Lethe got it so the other one is Garisa uh, Lethe Sorry. Got it. Okay. So I've got these two names, and it's on the left. So what I need to do is on last aside on the right. Got it. Got it. Got it. I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Arch Cannon is decided independently. Vivek doesn't, um, uh, doesn't choose who his chief servant is. His chief servant is chosen among his other servants. There is the Arabar Manor. I found it. What do you need, citizen? I am a citizen. Uh, hello. Impressive. These clothes suit you well. Yes, they do. Mm, yes, they're, they're expensive. That's that's why. They, they, they look at the value of the clothes and it's like, well, this chest piece is worth 9,000 and it's, uh, it, it, you know, it's domed. Very important. All right, let's see. Move along. Moving on. This is the guard quarters. This is not what I was expecting. Mm-hmm. If I catch him again, he won't get off with a warning. I agree. Staying safe. This is a small manor then. Unexpected surprise. Is this supposed to be the guard quarters, right? Yeah, it says this is the guard quarters, so... Move along. I, I, did I miss the rest of this place? Or is it just a single room? Hmm. Hello there. Do you know where your father is? Or the, uh, the house father, I should say. Do you know where the house father is? The chancellor of house... Uh, he's got to be in the guard quarters somewhere. This is going nuts. Because, yeah, it's a veteran guard. Yes, there are locked doors everywhere. Hello. What an unexpected surprise. Uh, Please yep. I don't know where we're going. We're going. Said, um, if you wake up in the Elder Scrolls universe and you are you and you do not have pro a protagonist privilege, uh, then you're going to die and or you going to suffer. You are going to be the toy of forces far greater than you. Uh, protagonist privilege is something every player in the Elder Scrolls gets. That is, um, yeah, much, much, uh, greater than anyone, uh, believes. This is the Arrowbar Manor. 
Which means we have to find someone named Miner. Impressive. These clothes. These are Red Run guards. So... There's only two people here. Where is Miner Aerobar, then? What kind of tiny little house is this? Yes. There we go. What do you need? Citizen? It's such a weird. It, yeah, we gotta go through the guard quarters to find Minor Arabar. You bring me good fortune, Outlander. That's nuts. Yes. What do you need, citizen? Citizen Minor Arabar. I've heard you were asking for support for the council. I respect you personally, but I cannot give you my support. Wow, he does respect me personally. He's 100 out of 100 on disposition. He likes me a lot. So, I cannot ask Three why. To you, yeah. This is a pleasure. Yeah, he, he likes me a lot. Like, he, he wasn't joking about respecting me personally. Like, I, I looked at the disposition bar and it was maxed out. We, I could probably so seduce him quicker than I could get him to, uh, um, y you know, be uh, called... Jace, it's terrible. Okay, uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, all right, for the other one, uh, that's the Lorethi household. We got to go find the Lorethi household. Yes, he still is refusing to support me, so we're gonna have to figure out why and get an in. The Lorethi Manor is this way, and we'll ask about them both. Staying Three safe. blessings to you, Outlander. This mm -hmm. is a pleasure. We're going into the bedrooms. Here we go. We're hunting. <laughs> I was gonna say we yeah, we, at present our current rank is house father. As you can see, um uh the the, the top quality physique uh, of a house father. You know, you, you would never have expected it. Like, the, all, the intensive training we've gone through. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying. Yes. This way. Mm-hmm. You bring me good fortune, Outlander. How may no. I be of service? Not this way. It's so good to meet you. Meeting so many people in this family, it's crazy. Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to see the contents of those jars? I could later using the chameleon spell, but for now we must travel. Do I care? Three blessings to you, Outlander. You are this not the pleasure. person. Uh, I need to find Gr Grisella. Yeah, something like that. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> If this were Daggerfall, we would see boobies. It's true. It's absolutely true. Elder Scrolls 2 does have pixelated boobies. All right. They are too strong and they destroy Western culture. Yes. <clears throat> Quiet and peaceful. <laughs> All right. Seriously. Uh, where the hell is the lady? Yeah, I'm looking for, uh, yeah, yeah, let's see, her private room is, or he, is in his private quarters, take the door across from the entrance, turn right. It's so good to me. Okay, so the entrance is there. We're gonna go to the entrance, and we're gonna go straight, and then to the right. So. Yes, citizen. It should be... This way. Mm -hmm. What hmm. an unexpected surprise. It's Hello. so good to meet you. Let's see. If you want my support for councilmen, you'll have to perform a great service to the house. I believe the Caldera Ebony Mine should be shut down. Fuck. That's, uh... There's a lot, like, tied up in the Caldera Ebony Mines, including other quests. Oh, well. So be it. Uh, 
First, I need to find evidence that there's corruption in the mines, since the mine is being run by Dishonorable House Halalu and the Empire. I'm sure there is corruption. Uh, do not take any other actions until you've delivered the evidence of corruption to me. Cool. So, we're going to cost, like, what? 80 people their jobs? Because uh, he believes there is corruption and therefore they should be shut down. I mean, at this point, um, we should just get, like, we should depose all of uh, uh, all of the United States Congress and House of Representatives if, like, any corruption at all means destroying the entire organization. Holy fuck. All right, let's go. Uh -huh. All Parliament must go. Yeah, it, it, the House of Lords in, in the UK should go as well. I mean, holy fuck. Uh, let's be honest here. Like, uh, what parliamentary organization can survive if there's if if it can't survive a sque wee bit of corruption? You know what I mean? Um. <laughs> uh, Jace. Okay. This way. Onwards. Give me a sec. I need to have a cup of coffee real quick. So, what we do is we uh, have our uh, our coffee here. Yes. Tastes good. Okay. Let's see here. This way. Okay, so what? Mm hmm. Is that uh, black? Yes. What? What about it? Coffee. It's, uh, I don't put anything in here. It's just coffee. That's it. Hmm. No cream. No sugar. Just coffee. All right. Now, uh, b -b 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 let's repair everything. There we go. Okay. Um. Ooh. Let's see what else we want to put away here. I've got like master hammers. It, yeah, grandmaster hammer. Put that away. Ooh, yeah, the three master. Yeah, perfect. Okay. A 144 master hammers and 30 grandmaster hammers. We still got a bunch of other hammer types, but uh, where's the journeyman hammers? I know they're around here somewhere. Is that That's the journeyman hammer. Good. So we just take the journeyman hammer and we... Yeah, 124 journeyman hammers. We're slowly making sure... Just to be sure. Uh, let's drop all the um, all the probes. I set off traps from a distance using telekinesis. So that's, yeah, not going to happen. Anything else? I got a bunch of soul gems. Uh, okay, th these are petty, common, grand, greater. Yeah. So I'm going to drop a bunch of... Uh, Full soul gems. Not not the empty ones, just the full ones. Yeah. And we'll deal with those later. An elder rat soul. Truly incredible. I also have an index fragment. I haven't actually started the quest to fill those up. That's fine. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. Let me uh, check something here. Mm hmm. You played any Paper Mario? I have, no, no, not really. No. I know that Paper Mario is like the spiritual successor to uh, Super Mario RPG, but I just never have done it. Despite having uh, Super Mario RPG right here, people are like, man, you, 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 you told me, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, 
You told me you like a Super Mario RPG. You gonna play the remake? I'm like, why? Like, well, it's got better graphics. Like, okay, but I don't care about that. <laughs> you see, I, I always ask, oh, which is the virtue? It's like, well, newer people can get into it. It's like, okay, but I'm not those newer people. I've already played it. I enjoyed it. What about it? <laughs> and that's where we kind of get into, uh, like, new, better graphics, to, or, you know, like, different graphics, I should really call it. Uh, does not spark joy to me. I mean, so, sometimes, sometimes if I have like a graphical mod and I can marginally improve the graphics with no cost whatsoever, sure, why not? You know? Like, I have I have these uh, active shaders because all I had to do was dump some files in a folder. Easy peasy, right? And it didn't fundamentally change the game. Yeah. But, um... I don't know. I like I, I, graphics are more a whim thing. They aren't important, I guess. Yeah. Do right. So let's um, let's figure out what the heck we need to do. We need to go to Caldera. First, we need to nap because it's like 9 p.m. Hello. How nice. I like good company. What can I do for you? Uh, can you train me in anything? No, you can't teach skills. I'm I am much. Much uh, stronger than you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Graphics. Gra gra nice graphics. I play text-based games sometimes. I'm going to do Serbius again soon. Hurt. This guy hates us. Look at that. You're not the type I like to deal with. So what we do is wh whenever, they, whenever they get really cynical and they're not willing to buy uh, the things we have to sell them, what we do is we tell them that um we tell them that it just works that's the spell we have we cast that and then they buy into the hype so that's what we're going to do now is we're going to cast it just works on this guy you see it's the spell right here and as you can see uh 71 out of 100 that's not good enough 61 20 so we have to remind ourselves every once in a while. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. <laughs> and that that's true. So what happens is we stare at him. Okay, we, well, no, no, even better yet. We, we, get, we get on the bed and we sleep for two hours. And then we come back and we, uh, we tell him it just get works again. Before you get hurt. Yes. There you go, 100 out of 100. He has now bought into the hype, okay? So now he will buy things despite being predisposed not to buy things. He, he is now ready to pay top uh, septum for the things that he wouldn't even touch earlier. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have that much money, so I'm going to buy his armor or hammers in order to kind of equal out this um, right here. I'm going to ask for an extra three septums, and the deal is done. All his money is mine, and his armor hammers are mine, and everything else is mine. Very good. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah. Let's see here. We are going to nap for eight hours. This should be fine. Mm-hmm. This way. Yep. See, once he bought into the hype, that's when we uh, defrauded him. It's very important. Yep. That's how marketing works. Excitement translates into purchase intent, even though he had no need for the things I was going to sell him. His life would have been better off without me having purchased the things that he... Uh, he wanted to oh sorry that I wanted to sell him but hey you know it's it's no problem there no big deal there we go you can see my character in the distance this way yep and we go to over this way <coughs> run scammer run yes <coughs> exactly Onwards and sideways. 
There we go. This way. What do we get? Nothing. Sometimes I uh, check to see if... Oh, there's a Dragonian there. Hold on a second. Yeah, we Oh, we got two Dragonian souls already. Hmm. That's tempting, but no. We're gonna leave. Yep. Ba -ba. <laughs> nice. Hit that like button and subscribe. Support the YouTubies. Okay, here we go. Um, This way. We're heading to Caldera. We're going to shut down those ebony mines for Great House Redoran. Uh, the unemployment cost, uh, we won't think about. Now you're How it may interfere with the Empire's interests and piss off the King uh, Halalu. Uh, we don't worry about that either. Uh, don't, don't worry about any of that. Just uh, do what the quests tell you. Combat time. Uh... Yes, from, uh, that, that's combat with a K. Combat time from, um, Mortal Kombat, the defenders of the realm or whatever. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do Caldera don't have unions. They have, uh, they have employers, workers, and slaves. I, I I don't I don't think uh, I don't think the Argonians or the Khajiit who are working the mines um, because they are property are going to uh, have much in the way to complain. Unfortunately, when they stop getting fed because they aren't working because they can't work, um, they they might uh, there might be a revolt. The problem with a revolt is that they also have bracers that um, drain their stats. And so, um, it's actually quite uh, crazy. Like, even if you are magically inclined, the bracers, like, drain your magicka, so you can't uh, actually do, um, you know, you know, teleport away or levitate or fireball or whatever. That's true. Hello, sir. We're going to get some training. Ah, you bring good fortune with you. Mm -hmm. Welcome. See how much he likes us? He loves us because we're a, a member of the Blades. And that's why oh, I'm going to get some, uh, what do you call it, uh, axe training. Yes. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend a whole day here just getting training with this guy. You can see my strength has already increased, as it should, now and forever. Now and forever. But we're just getting axe to 45. And then we're going to go take a nap. Yes, we can use his bed according to him, but we don't we don't we're not allowed to touch his stuff. Um Yeah, we're we're, we're still going to grab the alchemy ingredients. He's not using them. This is not oblivion where they actively eat or anything. Okay, let's get going. We're going to uh take a nap there. Right. We are well rested. It is now morning. We're heading on out. We are hungry and thirsty, though. Serious hunger and serious thirst. So how we deal with the serious hunger is we eat two cooked crabs. And for the serious thirst, we just uh, take a swig of uh, water. Yes. There we go. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know exactly... Um, how Tamriel would necessarily deal with the eating of other sentient races. I haven't heard a lot about uh, cannibalism in quests, but uh, the Wood Elves participate in it, obviously, but I'm, I don't know how greater society would look at that. Like, if, uh, if Argonian would be a delicacy or something, you know, by other races. Probably not. Lizard... Rarely tastes good. It's one of those cases where you have to add like a ton of spices and then just just claim it was good after the fact, because you uh, added a ton of spices. Okay, we should be able to summon a golden saint. 
with a hundred percent chance to cast. Yes. Here we go. We've trained ourselves to that point, so. Golden Saints are stronger than Dramora. As you can see. Uh, we're, we're basically hitting the, uh... Whoop. Perfect. Just eat Corpus Weepings. Yes. Um... Honestly, Corpus Weepings wouldn't kill me. I'd have to restore the stats by praying to the Alm CV, but... Um... Other than that, they they would not be fatal, uh, believe it or not. Uh, for a normal person, they'd probably catch the corpus and die. But we aren't a normal person. We are we have protagonist privilege. Oh, this is too Even easy. though we've been memeing that that's a Fargoth thing. Rabid rat, nice. Yes, eat the hungerlings and scamps. Are are we going to do one of those uh, delicious in dungeon? Uh, Runs where we eat everything we kill. G gonna have to get a mod that adds, like, meat to every single thing we kill. And then with different cooking recipes. And, uh, yeah. Th that'd be interesting. Why not make all these different uh, great meals out of the stuff we kill? We kill so many things, though. So it's, um, may maybe not so, uh... We, we, we kill so much nonsense along the way. Whoop. The caldera is closed for the night. Hmm. There's a guard looking up top, but he doesn't know about our magic. We, we cast It Just Unlocks. It's a spell that uh, gets us in. Yeah. Took three tries and most of our magic up, but it worked. We got in. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Dude, you get the corpus. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you kill it, you eat it. That's the... That was the quote-unquote meat mandate. Now, that said... Um... ESO had a nice little quest line where they, uh... Had some Bosmer follow the meat mandate, but the people drank poison before they uh, before they were killed by the Bosmer. So the Bosmer who um, who ate the corpses died of the poison because of the you know they they knew like the pe the people who were going to get slaughtered knew that the Bosmer were coming, so they all drank poison, and that was it. Okay. It was a slow-acting poison, so the idea is that uh, it never got to the liver. Um, it's right, never got through the liver before they were killed by the Bosmer. So it was, uh, it was all there, ready to uh, in those delicious organs. Oh boy. Um, let's see, traitor, traitor. Do you want something from me? No, I'm just gonna go to. to I, I can take a nap in the local guild. Come to think Greetings of it. Greetings to you, Dunmer. We'll come out. We'll come out in the morning, because it's uh, it's dark, it's late, and the mages guild is right here. Hello. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Yes, I just need the bed for the night. Thank you. I'm a wandering mage. And when I say for the night, I mean for like three hours. Not even joking. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What should we talk about? The day is mine. No, it's not. I must go shut down the ebony mine. So, ahem. As I was saying, the name of the quest... You can find the names of the quests here. Like, it'll be House Redoran... Uh, and it'd be, um, oh, jeez. Fine bedroom, Grayson. Oh, okay. So apparently that quest didn't disappear. Uh, evidence. Jeez, all of the different quests. There's so many of them. I guess they all go away afterward. That's, that's fine. That's not a big deal. <laughs> Eat a guar if they exist. I'm sure that guars are tasty. They're, uh, they're basically lizard horses. Yeah. Let's see. 
Uh, do, 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 do. What else we got? Hold on. Um, as I was saying. So the, the quest I need is evidence of corruption, right? Yes. <clears throat> coffee? Yeah, we, we got some coffee. Like, uh, j j just, uh, just, uh, uh, we have one, we have one cup of coffee. Yeah. So, uh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Ugh. Okay. You can come back in, like, five minutes. It's not, not the messages so much as the fact that they're, like, spamming them, right? You know, like, uh. Slow down a bit with, with those. That's all. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> it, when it's in between, like, every other message, it's like, that. that's too that's too frequent, you know? Anyway. Let's see here. What else we get? B -b 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 yeah, so it should be Morrowind. Uh, UESP. I'm, I'm going to look at this in UESP because, damn. Uh, okay, I have the page up, and now I am going to um, head over and talk to different people in the um, main area up here first. Uh, two liter uh, J, thank you uh, for the two dollars. And uh, indeed, indeed, um, I, I don't know about the handsome part, but uh, I definitely endeavor to be awesomely inconsistent. And, uh, let's see. We're gonna go have a chat with the governor. Hello, Mr. Governor. I am Cunius Palalius, a principal and charter holder of the Caldera Mining Company. I cannot imagine why someone like you should think you have business with me, but I will listen if you can be brief and polite. I don't know about that. In fact, I think if I shut down the evidence of... Yeah, let's see here. Well, you can train. You can train light armor. Oh, you can't... Okay, uh, speechcraft. So you can train in speechcraft. Like, uh, apparently I can get some training off this guy before I get him kicked out. So, yeah, let's see. My main concern is I might screw over future quests by, um, sending this guy... <laughs> uh, by, by sending one of these people up the river for corruption. Because they get arrested, right? So I'm, I'm just gonna get some speechcraft training from this guy. I have plenty of money. Like, money is not the problem, the, the issue here, so. We're just, uh, training up our speech craft. That increases our personality by, um, by proxy. Yep, we're level 56 now, and our personality is up to 94, so. All right, cool. That, that was definitely worth it. He can no longer teach any skills. I've already passed his uh, ability to train. So I spent the whole day training with him in speech craft. We've developed a close working relationship, and now I'm going to find evidence of corruption. So, um, yep. My goodness, you could do all the quests and then destroy it. My main concern is, like, I have a questing order that I'm doing, and it well, may, uh, if you wish break to things, lol. Well. Really no yeah, I, I, have, I have something, like, this particular character needs to, um, uh, can't do the main quest, for example, yet. Cannot do the Imperial Guilds until the main quest is more say. or less done. All right, it's it's due to very very light role play. Basically, the idea is that we are uh, worshiping the tribunal temple first, and uh, also House Redoran, right? We're we're doing House Redoran. So um, the idea is we are devoted to the tribunal above the Imperials. We're using the Imperials. Uh, oh, nice, nice. Uh, th thanks for the the six dollar ray. With the, the the special number that makes uh, certain people who who have pattern seeking brains uh, get get um, uppity or not who knows um, I do like uh, like how people get uh, and get uppity over that though it's funny that's mm. an awesome amount great thank you aren't we all just beasts at the end of the day. Right, Mr. Orc? You have my ear. <laughs> okay. Do you want something from me? Um, yeah. Like, but 
Orders are orders. Hold on, I was, I was just wanting to see the head tilt. Governor. It's funny. Okay, let's go find this guy's, uh, maybe not his ledger, but let's, let's go, like, ruffle through this guy's stuff. Now that we've finished that. This is the governor. So, we're gonna go find the governor's quarters and go look through his stuff. And yeah, we'll just we'll just nuke his everything. It's it's fine. And if we if we lose access to certain quests or quest lines, I will not feel so bad there. Um it is what it is. Let me see. This area is done. What it Fargoth? Fargoth is in my way. So yeah, this area feels like it should be the location, but everything's trapped. Fargoth, get out here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Mm-hmm. You said uh, fast. Speed, um, we have an athletics skill, which is at 72, and it's governed by speed, and my speed is 98. Uh, do you like chocolate? So, some, but n not a whole lot. I mean, I've got these, uh, uh I've got, a, like, a few little Hershey's Kisses here, but, um... Yeah, you know, like as far as uh, chocolate goes, I don't eat tons of it. If um, if it came down to like the most unhealthy thing that I absolutely adore, that would probably be like strawberry cheesecake or something like that. Yeah. All right. Now, let me uh, see here. What do we got? Um. Hmm. Okay, lock mark. Um hmm. Hold on. So first thing we need to do is cast open door. That's uh the first spell we need. It should be here. We're gonna open door on the chest. Good. You notice that the chest is trapped. Now, we don't have thief skills to disarm that trap. So what we're going to do is cast telekinesis so that we can trigger the trap from a distance and not have it hit us. Bam. The trap is now disarmed. Specifically, it went off, but it hit nobody. And we can see here, brief history of the Empire and the secret Caldera ledger. I'm taking all... His history of the Empire seems important. Like, what? What about his history of the Empire? Hmm. These are his. Why are they different? Doesn't matter. His secret ledger shows the Ebony, steady flow of Ebony to something called the Ashlands Management Fund. Someone in Caldera is using them for a personal project. So there we go. We are going to... We're going to ruin this man. And this will probably break uh, some other quest somewhere. But I'm willing to... Is there uh, something I can do? I'll just use the command console to fix it at worst case scenario. If I feel super invested. Otherwise, we just won't do those other quests. So... Uh, we're, we are going to go back to House Redoran and tell them that uh, we have, in fact, uh, found the corruption in the ebony mine. Uh, yep, we, we managed to break into the guy's personal drawers and find uh, what we were looking for. So uh, that's one. There's one more person who refuses to, uh, uh, to give us his consent to join the House Rhetoran Council, but I plan to be a counselor. And then I plan to uh, use my uh, standing as counselor to uh, focus on uh, uh, the Tribunal Temple. And then once I once I finish the Tribunal Temple, I'll get back to the main quest. We finish the main quest. That's when we can peel off and uh, well, uh, do some other things. We'll probably take a break in the middle of the main quest and do some more Tamriel rebuilt. Uh, our journey on the mainland was pretty good we didn't do as many quests as we could have but uh we'll get back to that soon in the meantime grabbing this lichen as much of it as we can get we are hungry and thirsty again we still got enough water fine 
Yes, fight, coward! That's right. Of course, uh, the one voice who calls people a coward that I always remember is Sinistar. But a lot of people don't remember Sinistar. He was uh, an arcade uh, villain. Yeah, it's I. I am Sinistar. Uh, it was an yeah, it was an arcade cabinet uh, where you you play through this little space fighting game. And then Sinistar would come out, and you'd have to avoid him in addition to continuing the game. And if he, he hits you, you'd die instantly. So, um, let me see. Are you avoiding Solstheim? Solstheim is um, after a Tribunal. So, we're going to be doing Tribunal first, and then we'll be heading over to Solstheim. Sinistar. I am Sinistar. Beware, I live. Run, run, run! Beware, coward! Run, coward! I hunger. Yes. That's, uh, that's Sinistar. It was from an arcade game. Alright. Run, run. Ahem. Whoop. You chose the wrong father to mess with. Blunt weapon to a hundred. We did it. We capped. We capped blunt weapon. We are now probably able to hit anything, including this butterfly. We did it. Butterfly wings are mine. Yes. We need to have Gordon Freeman running down a hallway, trying to escape Sinistar. Sinistar going, run, coward, the whole time. Yep. There we go. Butterfly effect. Oh, no. Kill a butterfly here, cause a hurricane in High Rock. The, uh... I was gonna say, an another one. Hmm. <clears throat> What? Damn it. This way. Butterfly! I I failed. I succeeded. I was standing in the wrong spot. Yes. I was standing in the wrong spot. Wait, what? Scampling. Do it! Kill the scampling. No scamp skin. What a shame. How bad is Starfield? It's, uh, I, I enjoyed Starfield as a dungeon crawler, but it's the only Bethesda game um, that I... Like, the only mainline Bethesda game, I should say, that I kind of dropped and don't feel the need to replay. And if, if, considering I've played other Bethesda games for thousands of hours, that's kind of uh, scathing unto itself, you know? The idea that you could just enjoy it for like 200 hours and then quit. Um, and, and not want to go back. Like, as far as other Bethesda games that I've spent thousands of hours on, it's like, yeah, that's that's nothing. That's, like, that's pra They're like, but... Don't you want to play New Game Plus? No. No, I already played all the content. Like, we're, it's not like Daggerfall where there's... Um, oh, I, I gave up... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, Skyrim was when I gave up on storytelling in, in Bethesda, right? Skyrim, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, none of those have good stories. No, 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 no. Um, uh, all, I, all I cared about was, um, at, at this point, like the combat and dungeon crawling. And I enjoyed that decently enough. Uh, but here's the thing, like, when it comes to dungeon crawling, um, like, there's, uh, hold on. You said Todd Howard, well, Todd Howard wasn't really responsible for Morrowind. He, um, uh, he was credited as, you know, director and, and creative lead, but the actual creative lead was Ken Rolston, right? 
That that's the thing. Like Ken Rolston and uh, you know the the various other writers and level designers made Morrowind what it is. Todd Howard just kind of get you know just kind of took credit. But no, no. If you want if you want a dungeon crawler in space, check out uh, Star Explorers, the interstellar dungeon crawler. The developer is actually doing a, a big update. In a, in another couple of weeks, there's going to be uh, more more stuff for this. So, um, this is the game I recommend if you're looking for a space dungeon crawler. It's um, like five bucks, something like that. Yeah, you can talk to aliens as well. Get get quests from the aliens because you know aliens in space. Hmm. Yeah, it's four ninety nine. For Star Explorers. Mm -hmm. You said the more influence Todd Howard has, the worse the game is? No, it's not true. That's not true at all. Todd Howard was barely present for Starfield, according to, like, the developers. Uh, Todd Howard is, like, an absentee kind of developer. What he does is he... Uh, he pops in uh, every couple weeks... Uh, gives some feedback, and then goes to do his other stuff, apparently. That's, uh, according to no clip interviews and stuff, he is not the type of boss that, um, that is, you know, like, leaning over your shoulder. He's the type of boss who comes in, gives a suggestion, and then leaves. Uh, he's no longer accessible like he was during the, you know, like, Oblivion and, uh, Skyrim era. He, he isn't around, um, anymore. Like, you can't just walk in his office. He has, like, other responsibilities. He's an administrator. Like, people think he's a uh, big boy game developer, but he's actually an administrator. He administrates the game developers. The real issue is that uh, Starfield seems to be lacking a strong creative lead. Emil Pagliarulo was supposed to be that creative lead. And you ha when you have a thousand developers... And a, a weak creative lead. Well, guess what's going to happen? Uh, those thousand employees are all going to go in different directions. And you're going to end up with a really fucking weird product that doesn't really mesh together very well. That's what's going on is... They went, they ballooned up from a little over 100 employees in Skyrim to a thousand employees in uh, Starfield. And that's the, the problem. It, it has nothing to do with Todd Howard, everything to do with Emil Pagliarulo. He was the creative lead that didn't work. You said, look, look, stop with the, the Todd hate bandwagon. Todd isn't good, but he's mostly irrelevant. Like, seriously. You um, you seem to have this uh, this hate boner for, for Todd, so I'm going to tell you right now. The man isn't, um, isn't so much... Um, it isn't so much bad as he is irrelevant. Yeah. Wham. It, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. Memes. Memes, memes, memes. Seriously. Oh. That is a wild gwar chasing me. Here we go. Fetch her. Yeah, we got him. Cool. War's dead. Moving on. We gotta go, uh... We gotta go deliver the news that we, uh, retrieved evidence of corruption. Yes. Uh, alright. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Fight coward! <laughs> Damn. That was crazy. Wood Elf Sorcerer, what was she hitting me with? Oh, she was illuminating me and turning the undead. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. You said, like, blaming a region supervisor for the failure of the local manager. Yes. That's a good way to put it. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. One more coins. Yep. Yeah, I'm not not defending Bethesda. Bethesda bad for various reasons, but um, the those reasons are slightly more complex than 
Todd Howard, not good game developer. <laughs> I I think we figured that out. Uh, it said, uh, heard anything more about Wayward Realms? Yeah, yeah, you should go check out their YouTube channel. They occasionally post stuff there. They've, uh, there's all kinds of new stuff. In addition to Wayward Realms, there's also a non, um, uh, a non Bethesda project uh, kicking off uh, by uh, the developer of Daggerfall Unity. He finished like Daggerfall Unity is done, by the way. It's it's finished. So, um, the developer has moved on to his own project. He's building a new game engine from scratch in order to support uh, what do you call it modding because he wants to make his own modding suite for it. Um, so what he's doing is he's actually, um, he's just getting started now, but he's planning on making a Daggerfall-like game that is, um, in a custom engine. And he proved that he can do this because, you know, you look at Daggerfall Unity and you go, oh, shit, yeah, that's really good. Um, so at least on, on a technical level, he is capable of doing that. So I'm, I'm very interested to see what direction this will take. As we go forward, I also haven't gotten... Who are you? Welcome, friend. I feel as though I should know you. Yes, I, I am uh, I am famous. What are the latest rumors? Murag Tong or a secretive guild of assassins? Neat. What's this note? House for sale. Oh, we could buy this house if we wanted to. Ah, uh, we're not doing that right now. We will see about taking our excessive wealth, because we got 55,000. Um, we will end up buying Blackstone Manor. I think it's going to be like a million uh, gold, something stupid like that. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buy our Cal, uh, Caldera house. I think if we shut down the mining operation, will Caldera like break down? Because <laughs> Caldera exists to support the mining operations. I don't know about that. Seriously. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes. I can take any Telvanni mage in a fair fight, he says. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. So there are a, you you could buy how you can buy a lot of houses. The, the the Imperial I'm gonna go buy Darkstone Manor in Caldera soon. Hello. I'm glad to see you again. I may have duties for you. I need to talk to you about Mr. Venom. He's a strong leader. Mm. Uh Hold on. I'm missing something. Slander. House for has been defended. Just have the smugglers at the Sorum Bowl. Let's see. What else? My, minor outer bar. Do not even consider your cases troubling. Uh, I believe from this and his recent votes in the council manner, he may be under Telvani influence. Go to Sadrith Mora and find out who is influencing uh, Minor outer bar. Oh, under Telvani influence. So we gotta clunk some Telvani skulls, I see. That's fine. We just need to figure out the details of Minor Adrabar. Um, we've been through each of these counselor houses now. Right. So we need to find the Larethi house. Should be right here. Yep, giving him evidence about the corruption in, uh... We're gonna go do that right now. Yep, yep, yep. So many games to play right now. I know, right? I'm uh, running out of uh, time. Time to get moving. All right, now we gotta go back this way. I was being stupid. Around this way, I think. Maybe. Straight on through. Okay, the exit should be. Okay, that's the exit. Need to turn right. Yeah, turn right this way. Through this door. To the left. Hello, sir. There you go. Here's the record book. Ah, yes. Very good. This evidence shows the Halalu are taking more uh, ebony than they report to the Empire. Now that I have this evidence, I will report... Uh, I will want the Caldera mine shut down. Return there and find a way to halt the mining. If the Halalu complain to the Duke or Empire, we can show them these books to justify our actions. I, I see. So, uh, yep, I brought the real record book. Um, asked me to disrupt the it's ore. So I'm gonna do, good do to that. Yeah, you. hell yeah. I'm gonna go do that. We're setting up. Is Baldur's Gate one? Yes, I'm, I'm gonna be playing. Ba I'm gonna be playing the enhanced editions 
of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. I haven't played Baldur's Gate since like 2003-ish, somewhere in that that area. So, oh, it's kind of like with the Mega Man games, right? I was playing those to refresh my memory on the Mega Man games. Same deal, I, I need to refresh my memory on the Baldur's Gate games. Because uh, I, ha I have a lot of memories of... Um, well, what brings you here, friend? Like, certain plot elements and uh, also... You must gather your party before venturing forth. But, like, the moment-to-moment -moment details. Um, those um, are kind of lost. Yes. I, I've forgotten most of that shit. I mean, uh, I, I vividly remember you must gather your party before venturing forth. Ooh, that is a sneeze. Holy crap. Oof. Big lungs. Ba -ba yes, exactly. By playing uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Exactly. Baldur's Gate 3 isn't Baldur's Gate. It's Divinity of the Original Sin Baldur's Gate Adventure. Which is good. I'm going to enjoy playing it after I play Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, the idea is to play them in order, and, uh, people will, yes, exactly, exactly, there's a one and two, oh my god. Okay. Real time, simulated real time combat with pause, yes. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to play Dragon's Dogma 1 when, when people are like, Oh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is out. Are you going to play it? And I'm like, I'm, I'm busy playing Dragon's Dogma 1 right now. That's what's going to end up happening. Uh, jeez. Um. I don't know. I'm just going to let these support. Um. Yeah, we got to go back to Caldera. And get the uh, mining operation shut down. Then we gotta get to Sadrith Mora. Do any of the original sin is um, great. Yes, absolutely. All right. Ooh, this way. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? Chicken. We're just gonna cut across and fight the Dragonian. Screw it. I'm after the Dragonian. Two, three, four. Damn, this Dragonian has so much health. Fine. Then. We get a good Dragonian scale off this thing. Careful with that, friend. Friend. Okay, we got the Dragonian scale. That's fortify attack and fire shield. Excellent. Now, we must rest an hour. It's noon. More importantly, we've got uh, time to use our repair prongs to repair everything. Then, uh, is that it? That's it. Okay. We're good. Let's go. Petitioning them. Yeah, closing down the mine and petitioning them to transfer the contract to House Redder and Wood seem... Uh, more like that, but Redoran doesn't really deal with Outlanders as much. Like I'm, I'm an exception because Mr. Sarethi vouched for me. But um, yeah, or Sarethi's Sir hireling really vouched for me initially. But like outside of some very basic hireling stuff, you aren't really supposed to progress as an Outlander. I'm the exception due to protagonist privilege and some lucky breaks. Uh. Ooh, let's go. Yeah, but you see, dealing with the Empire uh, is something House Redoran doesn't want to do, which is why their um, their political power is waning One of us will die. in the uh, mixture of houses. It's uh, kind of funny, but true. Like, there are reasons why Redoran is quote unquote on the outs and why uh, we have to do a ton of questing to get them kind of back on the. Uh, uh, back in the uh, limelight, as it were. Yes. Uh, 
Right. This way. Okay. So we're heading down uh, south to um, Caldera, and we're going to find a way to get the mine shut down. Hello there. Well met. Greetings. She never shows up at the guild hall. She just lives here. It'd be great if NPCs kind of ended up um, ended up being a, um, like, end up going to their ultimate destinations, you know? They rarely do that. Let's see here. Finish Morrow and, um, uh, you, you want to finish Morrow and, uh, what, what, uh, what do I recommend? Uh, either OpenMW or the Code Patch. And oh, whether you use OpenMW or the code patch, get the patch for purists as well. And uh, then do a test run and see how your temperament with the game uh, works. If you are uh, absolutely infuriated with the run speed, get a mod called Speed and Stamina. But otherwise, just run the game as uh, as is with the uh, which is the patch for purists. And you know, either, like the code patch is fine. But uh, I use OpenMW exclusively for various reasons. So it just comes down to preference. Ah, uh, jeez. An Argonian wants to kill us. We're going to tell that Argonian to die by way of Dramora. And, uh... Oh, cool. A Conjuration went up. And, and Golden Saint. Yeah. Goodbye. He hit me. Now, you're going to get it. now he's going to get it. He didn't really stand a chance. Um, um, yes, so. Chester Frost, go, go, go. <clears throat> Take the se Steed Stone. Yeah, it depends. The real issue with being slow isn't the, uh, isn't the speed, uh, the actual speed of the character. It's the fact that your stamina depletes while you're running. And then you have to stop and rest before you enter combat. Um... That is realistic, but it's also a, uh, a step too far for some players. Like, you can use stamina potions. There, there's an answer to everything in vanilla, yes. However, sometimes that's just not fun for some people. Yeah. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> I, I, the patch for purists is for, um, what do you call it? Fixing broken quests and stuff. There are optional plugins you can use. Um, you said, yeah, th thankfully there is a simple wait one hour, yeah. But, and if you don't care about the passage of time, or you uh, don't get into combat before you realize that there's combat, then yeah, there's a, as I said, there are, there are plenty of, sol as you said, there are plenty of solutions in vanilla, but those solutions also suck for some people. There is no universal solution that uh, fits every use case, every player. And so I highly recommend um, <clears throat> looking at how, uh, what is the most fun for the individual. And I, I always recommend trying mostly vanilla first. The patch for purists fixes broken quests, which is why I recommend it. Neither the code patch or the um, or OpenMW will fix the engine level problems with the game. But, um, <clears throat> yes, what I'm trying to say is that uh, at the end of the day, if you try out the game and running places, um, you said uh, maybe try it vanilla first. That's what I've been saying. I said if after trying it, running places, like, doesn't feel fun because your stamina depletes and stuff, Right? If that happens, then uh, try the speed and stamina mod. That's what I'm saying. But people get caught up on bullshit and try to argue about it, and they can go fuck off. Because I did explain it that way. Thank you very much. Holy fuck. Yes, exactly. So, 
He said you're a hypocrite and you reload if you get into combat in a bad situation. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you realize it's the only Elder Scrolls without a horse? It's true. Well, I mean, Redguard didn't have horses there. Yeah. Get Enjoy gaming the way you want. If that's what I'm saying. Is I'm, I'm offering people options where stamina depletion um, makes you want to enchant armor and rings to negate it. Yes, this is annoys you, but you can fix it. Correct. And you can fix it in game, or you can fix it on a meta level, and um, that—that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you said uh, being slow and sucking is a beautiful, uh, <laughs> beautiful start of Marwind. It's—it's it's also a filter for a lot of people. And what I'm telling people is um, that if for any reason you feel like, damn, I would I would like this game, but I'm just unwilling to put up with you know X number of. Uh, X amount of time of being slow and having to suck. I don't want to use the the steed stone because you know it's still my stamina still sucks as a result, and there's a lot of other issues, you know, so on and so forth. Um, there are ways around that. Feel free to use mods. The the developers literally released a construction set with the video game for you, the player. That's what it's for. Yes, <clears throat> that's the point. Yes. Uh, auto walk and go AFK. Yeah. Can can you imagine uh, like acrobatting like like literally doing doing rapid jumps in a corner, um, to, and then coming back 20 minutes later, uh, an hour later? That doesn't sound incredibly fun. You should probably just use the command console to ar artificially raise your stats if you're gonna do that. I'm just saying. You know. Um, anyway. The wishes to speak. Uh, yes, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Right. Little track quirk. Yeah, I don't think that works in the uh, OpenMW engine. I think that that quirk is a uh, a busted part of the uh, base engine. I don't even know uh, what happens with the code fix, uh, if that uh, does things. Let's see here. Hold on a second. If someone sent me a thing and I can't show it on stream. I was, I was debating for a second. I'm like, no, that would cause problems. Okay. Let me see here. We have to shut down the mine somehow. We have to get this guy in trouble. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Garissa Lorethi asked me to disrupt the uh, mining I in Caldera. So, um, let me see here. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Ba -ba -ba. There, yeah, there's a second fake ledger in the mine I know about. My goodness. You said, after growing up playing games, what era do you think had the best games? Era had the best games. It depends on what you're looking for. I mean, there's definitely an era with, say, be the best 3D platformers. And modern 3D platformers have been struggling to recapture that, that you know, that glorious moment. But, um, it's like, what, what era had the best, um... Uh, you know crpgs and it's like i could i could tell you that you know baldur's gate or neverwinter nights is the best but look at disco elysium i mean uh, look at wasteland 3 and what i'm trying to say is that like the idea that there was a quote-unquote golden age of video games usually just um just indicates someone's ignorant and or extremely biased. There, there's a ton of great games that are coming out even now in the indie space. The, in fact, um, prefab engines like uh, Godot, Unity, and Unreal have basically made it so that we can um, uh, we can go and like. We can do what used to take a whole studio. Like, like one or two people can do what used to take a whole studio of people to make. 
That's why indie games these days are, um, at least a good deal of them, are, are great in that respect. He said, Golden Era is one's childhood. Oh, so in other words, no video games, uh, no cell phones, and you play outside. Or in my case, I get on my bike and I ride to the library and read because I'm a fucking nerd. Um, that, that, yeah, childhood. <laughs> All right. Let me see here. Uh, what do we got? Du -du 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 -du. Holy shit. Okay. Um. <laughs> A golden age of FPS. Well, yeah, the boomer shooters I freaking love. You know, the Doom, Quake, Half-Life, uh, that, that trinity there. And then, of course, Unreal Tournament. Um, Unreal Tournament 2004. Like, I, I swear, though... Um, there's a, there's some problems. There's some serious problems with um, uh, Unreal. Right? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Ep Epic. Epic has delisted all the Unreal games because they don't want them competing with Fortnite. Like, they want everyone who's playing for uh, uh, like Unreal or whatever to move over to Fortnite. Anything that's that's detracting from Fortnite needs to die in Epic's eyes. It's absolutely nuts. What I'm trying to say is when people talk about, um, when people talk about the, um, the concept of, um, a quote unquote golden age of gaming, um, or what, when, when had the best games, they're typically speaking from ignorance or bias. That's really what it comes down to. Um, like, there are tons and tons of games from tons and tons of eras um, do, 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 that, that are just great. But um, let me see here. So you're asking about the coffee cup right here. Yeah, this is this is the coffee cup. Yeah, it's just just you can see it's uh, stained already. Like, yeah. Hmm. Okay. What was I saying? So, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I have actually purchased these four. The rest were gifts. Yep. Um, it was called... I, I purchased Urza Scarlet, Sailor Jupiter, Mercury, and Shantae. Um, because people know I like the Elder Scrolls, I was given Shale Groth, Mike the Liar, because people know I like Castlevania. I was given Trevor Belmont, Alucard, and Dracula. And then there's there's a bunch down there that I can't even see, so I just shrug. I don't. I, yeah, the, all of those were gifts, right? I've been trying to tell people I much prefer, um, you know, like more classical figurines or amiibos, right? Now uh, the exception was I did buy this, but this was actually in like a big uh, like. Uh, one, one of those big, um, uh, you, you take it, you take it, you have it, you, you take it, you can have it, kind of like, uh, it was a can full of stuff. You can see how, like, the head is damaged and stuff. This was, this, this Vivek was a, a lucky grab that was in amongst a bunch of other things. Yes. Uh, this is, uh, 11 cups of coffee. Do I have a Gundam model? No, I don't, actually. Yes. So, um, let me see here. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, I'd say if I had to pick the best thing, it'd be Ulfric Stormquack. Y you know who Ulfric Stormquack is, right? Uh, him and the Dova Duck. The, the, the Dova Duck, yes. Okay. There you go. Mm-hmm. But, um, uh, th then my favorite is Barrow Kitir. <clears throat> The wait is over, Tenno. Barrow Kitir has arrived. I only accept one currency. Orican ducats. Anyway. He's a bobblehead. So. Actual bobblehead. And then, of course, I have Tamamos. I have a lot of Tamamos. Yes. Lot, lots and lots of Tamamos. But uh, if I had to pick my favorite format, it's probably an amiibo. 
just because they're small and practical enough. My, my favorite amiibo being uh, the classic Samus, where she looks badass. You know. Now we go. As for uh, this, this is a ramen topper. It sits on the edge of a ramen cup so that the lid doesn't peel up. That's, uh, that's what that is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do -do. Oh, no, no. I, I have a, yeah, an automatic coffee maker, and I use, uh, I, th I think the current one is just, like, a Folgers. I, I'm pretty sure the current uh, thing is, like, just a, a big-ass can of Folgers. I, I do have a grinder for beans, and I do have some, uh, uh, unique, like, Christmas blend coffees in, uh, in bags and stuff like that, but, uh, th this is, this is just, like, plain, plain Folgers. It's true. All right, let's see anything else before I get back to video games. Uh, howdy, Harold, by the way. I didn't, uh, say hi, but, uh, uh yes. <laughs> We're, uh, it's so, so much going on all at once. I'm, I'm still skimming the chat here. Uh, my goodness. Yeah, so, um, what well, I was trying to say, yeah, yeah, so there are, like, there are tons of great video games from tons of great eras, but um, it, it comes down to, um, like, I'm always looking for the next spiritual successor that can take a, a concept of a game I like and um, uh, kind of accelerate it, you know, like, add more to it. It's why I really like Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, but... At the same time, I acknowledge that the art style is worse than Symphony of the Night, significantly. Like, bringing something over from 2D to 3D is not a slam dunk upgrade, unfortunately. Very often, in the, in the case of Symphony of the Night to uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, it was a, um, it was actually a huge downgrade, right? Um... Do, 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 do. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, anyway, let me almost slay y'all. You said basically what Bethesda did? Eh, kinda. It's a little weird, um, but yeah. A lot of people will say the golden era of gaming was, and then they'll remember their favorite game, like Chrono Trigger or Xenogears. My favorite video game is, Z is uh, what do you call it, Chrono Trigger. I was about to say Xenogears. It would be Xenogears if Disc 2 didn't suck, but it does. And, um... You know, like, that is unfortunate, but no, no. Chrono Trigger's my favorite video game. D does it mean I think it's the best video game? Absolutely not. Arcanum. I played a little bit of it. I also watched a friend play a little bit of it, so I know it's a good game. I've never beaten it, though. It's uh, one of many, many games where I'd love to revisit, but, uh, yeah. Let's see here. Okay. Ahem. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Gaming industry lays off thousands of people on mass Twitter's problem with the gaming industry. Yellow paint. Freaking yellow paint. Yes. All right. Give me a second. I need to make that a screenshot there. Yes. Perfect. Okay. The dumbing down of games. All games must serve Dark Side Phil. Yes. Uh, th yeah. There we go. Oh. Also comes with the On. promise of varied themes and varied scenarios. Because we've shown you that these new items and abilities give you lots of different gameplay in the different levels, the flow is motivating. And most importantly, we can actually use that motivation to prioritize exploration. Here's a quick example. I want you to watch what the player does here as he boats around. The taste of Vanier magic led him to new forms of experimentation. We're back. New levels of depravity. Look where we are, we're back. Okay, so in this example, the player is exploring the hub. They've been correctly taught the shock arrow mechanic. And thanks to the design work done by Kai Zeng, They've also been told that shock arrows mean interesting themes and that there's a lot of different variety and a lot of different gameplay, right? So we've made a convincing promise to the player. So watch it one more time, and I want you to watch just what the camera behavior does. 
taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation. We're back. New levels of depravity. Look where we are, we're back. Boom, and there it is. He saw a shock crystal, right? He has been taught correctly. He has been promised interesting gameplay. And because he is returning to the hub, he is thinking, oh, I feel like doing one of those. I yep, so um, they make video games for Dark Side Phil now. So anytime you see a really stupid thing, like say uh, a bunch of yellow paint being placed all over the place um, in order to guide the player, you have to understand that the games are being made now targeted at one of the dumbest individuals ever to play video games. Now, he is amazing in the sense that he has managed to um, survive all this time, you know, as, uh, as he is without uh, growing or changing. But um, what I'm trying to say is when you look at the walls in Final Fantasy VII and it tells you these areas can be climbed because they got yellow paint, well, um, that's because some, like, someone out there wouldn't think to climb the wall if it didn't have yellow paint on it, right? That, that, that is the hand-holding that we live in now, and that's fine. I actually like uh, conveyance in video games, the art of leading a player from point A to point B to point C, but it is brain-dead in, in that respect, like... This this is the game. This is game developers giving up after Dark Side Phil be is incapable of doing the most basic shit, right? Yeah. You noticed it in the Tomb Raider reboot. Yeah, yellow paint everywhere. That that is game developers giving up on, on the art of conveyance. That's what I'm trying to say. They've just decided players are too stupid. And we can no longer subtly guide players from point A to point B to point C. So we're going to put yellow paint on anything interactable. That's it. Yes. Again, I, I like uh, I, I like it when game developers guide me from point A to point B to point C. But not with giant yellow uh, paint slobs all over everything. Yes, Resident Evil Village has it too. It's true. It's, it's it, but but yeah, the games industry is laying people off on mass as well. There are uh, there that more people were laid off in the first month of this year than were laid off in the entirety of last year. That's that's how uh, crazy the layoffs have been. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, see about disrupting the mines, I believe. Yes. What are the... Someone asked me the thing. It was... Damn. Okay. So. Um, we can organize a slave revolt, which sounds unpleasant. Or we could kill the mine operators and then the mine uh, would be disrupted. I, I actually think organizing a slave revolt would seem uh, um, more like what we'd be doing, but uh, yeah, if we kill the the actual mine operators, that might work too. Let's, let's go have a look. Let's see what happens. Yeah, a slave revolt sounds kind of awful. Both options sound awful, but they would get me into power in House Redoran, at which point I could uh, begin focusing on the Tribunal Temple. Yes. <laughs> Omalexia is covered in yellow paint. Well, I mean, as I pointed out earlier, though, uh, here's an example of good use of yellow paint. I, I actually ex put this on Discord. Um, let, let me see here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. All right, so here is an example of a uh, good use of yellow paint to indicate that something is of value, right? Th these are these are two examples of good uses of yellow paint. That doesn't mean all yellow paint good. That doesn't mean all yellow paint bad. 
but this is an example of it being used in a diegetic way that is to say a way that fits within the world you know it it is um uh what do you call it uh, th this is good yellow paint D just sign yes let's go onwards and sideways Yep, yep. The fuck is that? Diegetic, can I eat it? Yes. Yes, you can. It's good. Alright. This way. The butterfly has been defeated. It had no loot. I clung to the butterfly with the mace. What's next? But, yeah. Imagine telling players in a way that, uh... Wasn't like, uh, didn't look like it belonged in Splatoon, you know? Okay. The Splatfest, indeed. This way... Scrib defeated. Scrib jelly. I still don't know what the fourth thing is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Diogenes. Everyone's a cynic these days. Holy crap. Okay, let's go. Onwards and sideways. Gonna go this way first. Grab all these. Yes. Getting a lot of bitter green petals. Bitter green petals will be required for um, what do you call that quest? Uh, there, there, there's a quest in. Um, oh, I'm I'm forgetting the uh, name. It's um, in in Blood Moon in the Raven Rock. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's one there. Charlie Sheen and Ben Vereen shrink to the size of a lima bean. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Okay. Here's the Caldera Mining Company office. This berry looks cool. Do you have something to say, Outlander? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd like to have a look around. Berry looks pretty cool. No one's going to get in the way and notice my uh, lifting of uh, uh, nothing important. Petty Soul Gym. We're already going to shut down the mines, so we might as well take all the good stuff. Ahem, <clears throat> hello. Okay, maybe that guard would have seen me had she come up here, but she's down there, and that's perfect for us. I think all this stuff is garbage. No. Honor and all that. How many times have I played Marwind? Uh gonna say, I've definitely played Daggerfall and Skyrim more at this point. But I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've played Marwind at this point. <clears throat> I I can tell you that I played it twice entirely vanilla, though. Like, before the patches, before the fixes. No one here. Cool. This is a Caldera Ledger. Mm-hmm. You don't see anything suspicious in the figures. No big deal. Yep. Wish to play Oblivion more, but always crashes. Yeah, it's um, not very stable by comparison. All right. Open door time. Cool. Alteration increase. You said, you asked, uh, do I think Skyrim AE is an upgrade? Uh, Skyrim AE is not an upgrade at all. It's just a pack of assets that they throw into SE. If you have SE, you already have AE. The only difference is that it has a bunch of, um, Creation Club, uh, like, modules, which, um... You, there, there are some good mods that retool those modules, but... It's entirely up to you. Um, 
Are you better than Asmongold? Well, I don't... I'm not a trash goblin. But I also don't have as many normie takes either. I'm, I'm very... Um, I, I, I'm not the target audience for a lot of things. So, um, if you want a normie take, you go to M Mr. A Asmodeus there, and he'll, he'll give you a, um, he'll, he'll give you a normie take on things. Um, again, I'm not the target audience so, uh, of, of basically anything at this point. So, um, no, I wouldn't say I'm better. I'm saying I'm different. Although, again, I'm not a trash goblin, so, um... I would, I would probably never, uh, based on uh, what someone sh someone showed me a house tour of his, um, I I would probably break the law forcing him to clean up. That's um, that's the best way to explain it. Uh, like I I would uh, I I would utterly refuse to be his guest in his house, like. I would be disgusted and compelled to clean up. And I have, I mean, when I say, like, I am, uh, like, th th there's dirt on this surface, okay? Like, th th you can you can see, like, the little splotches and stuff, like, over over here. Like, this is, this is not entirely clean, right? But no, I have no roaches. I, um, I, I make sure to... Uh, keep at, at the very least, uh, you know, uh, like trash in the trash cans, things like that. You know. Uh, do, 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 do you think he's normie in regards to gaming? Yeah, yeah. Like he has such like lukewarm. T Every time people link me to his takes, they are so extremely matter of factly, and just like hey, people don't care about how. It like, here's something, here's a take that of his that pissed people off, right? He said people, like, he said artists don't matter, right? And when he said that, like, social media took off and got pissed at him. But he technically wasn't wrong in the context he gave because people don't care how the sausage is made. They only care that the sausage is bad, right? They, they, eat, they eat it, they go, ew, this thing tastes disgusting. And they don't care about the artist's. They don't care about the, you know, sound sound designers, whatever, you know, all the people that worked hard to make that product. They just care that the product sucks. And but, yeah, and he said his takes in, on gaming basic. He's, he's he's basic basic. He plays a little bit of like each game, and except World of Warcraft, which he plays tons of. I played tons of World of Warcraft. I just detached myself from that game entirely. I will never play WoW again, most likely, unless they make radical changes. Um. You mean superficial takes? Yes, that what I referred to as normie takes. Normal people are superficial in in their uh yeah, so what about it? Yes, Outlander, what do you want? What's this? Note to mages. Uh be judicious in the use of fire spells while guarding the sleigh. Slamble gases are present. Oof. Got it. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done talking about this. Point is he's a trash goblin. That's the main distinction between the two of us. I'm not a trash goblin. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. That he was a master of World of Warcraft. <laughs> That's funny. My goodness. How are you? Mm -hmm. How are you? May I help you? Let's go talk to the slaves. We're gonna organize a slave revolt. I have better hair. Yeah, I'm really surprised. But um, as I have aged, my hair hasn't changed a whole lot other than darkening in color. I used to have uh, much, much brighter red hair, and now it's mostly brown. That's the main difference. If I ever slick it back because I'm lazy, people will go like, You're slicking it back! You're covering balding! Like, no, no balding yet. 
I'll, I'll tell you when it happens, and I'll probably just shave my head at that point. You know? Um, but, yeah. People, uh... People have been uh, very, 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 um... Like, very quick to jump on the, uh... Oh my god, you're losing your hair train, like, six... Uh, as early as six years ago. And it's like, hasn't happened yet. I'll tell you when it does. What about it? I ride a mustache, like, every time I don't Go shave for four laundry. days? What do you need? Yes. No, no, I, I, I had, uh, I had nice bright red hair when I was young, and it, uh, darkened over time. I need her to move away, so that I can look at this, uh, crate of ebony. Yes. The ebony is ours. It's a shame it got stolen from the mine. Blade Master Shack, hello. Three blessings to you, Redoran. Yeah. Oh, wow. Three blessings to you, Redoran. They know who I am instantly. Hello there. So, uh, would you let me go free? Not yet. I'm going to the mine. Gonna check out the ebony mine. Mm -hmm. Damn. That guy's carrying. That carry animation is something. Yep. You bring danger. You should yep. leave. Sh do I bring danger? Should I leave? Feels like all these people should go free. My goodness. Do, do, do. Half of my family's from Ireland. The other half is from Scotland. I have a a good chunk distributed around the United States, of course, which is why, you know, I uh, grew up with my accent and my... Uh, outlook mostly the way it is, but I have uh, tons and tons of uh, relatives all over the fucking place. But yeah. Two towns are where my family originated from. One in Ireland, one in Scotland. So, I've gone to visit family members there a few times, but, you know, that's a, that's another matter altogether. Good boy. Let me see here. Dare type drinking real? I mean, depends on the person. Like, <laughs> I, if, if you want to know in my family, the answer is yes, but, um, like, I like any other culture. It's, it's, it, there, there's there's tons of different people everywhere. You know, you're not uh, stereotypes are uh, not universal. Put it like that. Three blessings to you, Redoran. Hmm. Let's see here. Hmm. Caldera Mining Company. We need to go talk to the slaves. Get away from me, slaver. Slaver. The Ebony Mines. Yes. Uh, so I should... If we could uh, get these slaves to go free, we could probably fix that. You'll do a DNA test. The problem with DNA tests is that the moment you take one, they add your DNA to a database that they then sell to, like, pharmaceutical companies and shit. Like, uh, they're, they're building profiles on, like, every, on people, individuals. They're, they're, they're going to use your private information, like your name uh, and, and stuff. And they're going to tie it to your DNA. And then they're going to tie it to any kind of, like, marketing profiles you have. And they're going to create, like, a comprehensive human profile that they're then going to, like, start selling. That's the uh, funny part. Yeah. Like, um... Like co company, yeah, one of those companies had a data breach. Correct. Under sun and sky. Oh, it's it's crazy. We bring you I'm surprised there's no pickaxes just sitting around here. Yeah, but anyone who gets a DNA test is going to be uh, going to have their data sold off, and it's going to become part of a comprehensive consumer profile. Where they're going to be able to like break break down your DNA to figure out, oh, this person is predisposed to this particular uh, condition. 
let's uh, market this particular stuff at them. You know, stuff like that. Like, hey, this person's DNA, you know, like they're 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 pre they're predisposed to early baldness because they got these three markers. Shit like that, yeah. Doesn't matter which DNA service you use, ultimately the data is getting sold. Yeah. It has no master. It has no master. Go free. Cannot go free without the key. Uh, let's see. As punishment for last night's incident, you've been assigned the Mines Deep Scouting. The uh, damage to company property will not be tolerated. Always obey. Mm-hmm. I'll deal with you, thief. Oh, no. Oh, no. You will suffer greatly. I will oh, suffer greatly. This is going to be fun. Argoth was about to kill the man. That's unfortunate. Whoop, up, 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 uh. Sorry. I know that's a joke, but we can't be having that. Oof. Yeah. Jokes like that get uh, snowballed into real discussions, and those aren't welcome here. All right. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Yeah. So we went into the Caldera mine, and <laughs> there's another. Oh, cavern door is locked. Okay. Ooh, ooh, right. Right. First things first. We need to figure out... Okay. I'm looking at the different uh, leaders of the mine. We were to do this. Uh, we're going to go to the top of the tower. We, we've been awake for a while. Looking for the guard tower. We're going to go up there and check it out. There should be something we can grab there. How are yep. you? Guard tower's right there. Let's head on up. It's locked. We must break our way in. Here we go. Good. We're in the guard tower. The Caldera ledger. No one cares about that. Arrows. Nothing. There's some wick wheat. And salt rice. Salt rice for days. What's this? Note to the Caldera guards. Keep an eye trained for the Argonian known as Goldheart. He has been increasingly combative and resistant to authority, especially in the presence of Argonian females. Oof. Grab that key. Grab that sword. Uh, grab that note as well. No reason why these notes should be here. All right, uh, Fargoth, I'm going to have you, um, I'm actually going to have you hang out in here in the guard tower for now. Just, just chill out here for now. Stand guard here. Thanks. So, Fargoth's going to hang out here. Meanwhile, we're going to let the, uh, we're going to let the, uh, Argonians you bring danger. in this you area change. free. Yes. Very good, very good. I normally, um... I normally uphold D Dunmer traditions, including slavery, on this character. The, like, we, we did a Twin Lamps playthrough where we freed all the slaves before, but uh, House Redoran requires us to deal with, uh, to shut down the mine without overtly, sub you know, murdering anybody. So we're going to indirectly murder people by, um, by dealing with this. Let's see, okay. Uh, um, okay, a, a mine, uh, operators, let's see, hmm, thinking about this, yeah, there, there's gotta be a way to deal with, the, like, do a, it, okay, we got the slave key, 
Uh, okay. We just got to talk to these different people. So, yes, you. You there, yes. Uh, Caldera, okay. We're, we're going to go back and we're going to have a chat. Before we free her, we're going we're gonna to go out to, back to Caldera. Is we're going up this way first. Straight out this way. Run our way. Run away. We're, we're going back to town. We're going to go talk to them about the about the mine, shutting it down, disrupting its operations. We're going to go talk to individuals, and they're going to guide me to the, pro to the lady I was about to free. But I don't want to free her yet. Um, that Bosmer, by the way, if you pick a Fighter's Guild quest, he'll attack you on site, which I'm pretty sure he's a Thieves' Guild member. There's a complex web of questing in this game where you can lock yourself out of certain um, activities by uh, completing quests indiscriminately in any order that you, they're given to you. And that, that adds replayability, definitely. We're ha also suffering from sleep deprivation, so let's uh, have a sip of water. And then we'll uh, head on out there, get, take a nap. There's going to be a revolt of some kind, and we need to make sure that we deal with this easily. Yes, so... Go over here. Mm-hmm. Every type of person who breaks all the quests, yes. Oh, there. Uh, Caldera Mines? Yes. Okay, what about uh, disrupting the mines? Caldera, get cured. Uh, just want to see Stay who we can talk to. trouble and you'll have none from me. None from you, right. I will have no trouble from you. So, yeah, if we wanted to uh, talk about the mining company, disrupting the mines. Yep. Um... Straight over the ridge. Well, hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Let's ask you about the mines. Okay. Bunkhouse near the entrance. They're, they work by slave labor. Yep. Uh, that, that's basically it. So. Share our, your thoughts. <laughs> murder guide. No, no, no. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Friend. All right. And no one actually knows anything at the moment, but uh, thought I'd just run over there. Fuck it, we'll go. We'll go rescue rescue the lady. What was that? Bring her should uh, fix all the problems. Kill bash, kill bash. Generally, generally, I'm not. Uh, it's my character here isn't the type to free slaves because if you like, that is um, slavery is a long-held Dunmer tradition. So she, uh, you know, upholds most of the Dunmer traditions. All right. It's, uh, you know, the next character we play, we'll play a wood elf and we'll uh, rescue all the slaves. But um, not not this character. Depends on which one we want to do, what we what we choose to do on each character. Yes. Well, this way. She could take any Telvanni mage in a fight. Of course she could. We're going this way. Uh, this should be the shack. Yes. Bam. Get away from me, slaver. No, you're free. Yes. Un 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 yep. Uh, good, good. Carissa is free. Okay. We, we just need to make sure that everyone else gets freed there. Note to the slave. Damage property. No. Different, uh, shack over here. Not Hello there. Be afraid of this one. Go free, yes. Good, good, good. Uh, she will leave when the moons are right. Mm, that should do it. Yep, head of the slaves of the Caldera mine. Now that she's gone, the mines will have to shut down for a while. Bam. So we've... Uh, the leader of the slaves has been freed, and now the she's going to... Yeah, the, the mines will have to shut down for a little while while um, they figure out things. Like She's going to sli slip away at night. This is good. This is good means that um, she's probably going to organize a slave revolt. That doesn't matter. Ta-da! They'll have to shut down for a while. Which is exactly what we were told to do. Now we'll head back up and this Chancellor will um, will, uh, what do you call it? Um, will support us for the rank of Chancellor as well. We are trying to get elevated to uh, a chancellor rank where we can order people around. Not that that's actually the way it works. God damn it, I forgot about Fargoth. He's still back in the sla the the tower there. I didn't want him to see us uh, acting so out of character. 
he sees them stealing things, and that's fine. But, uh, you know, freeing slaves is a little, a little too far there. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's go this way. Remember when the loading screen tip in Skyrim said Meridia is uh, is not not considered an evil Daedra? Is there something I can do for you? I'm I'm just thinking about how Hororan soldiers were oppressing humans during the uh, Aeliad times. That was... Yeah, don't don't worry about that though, because Thanks she was good that one time. Family ring. Yeah, she was good that one time. So uh, you know, don't worry about it too much. Oof. Oof. Okay, yeah, I, I did uh, problems there. I'm cozy until I'm not. I, I'm, I'm sometimes inflammatory. Sometimes rude. I'm uh, a b big ol' mixed barrel. Yes. Evil is subjective. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I hate the undead and free will. <laughs> uh... A Meridia has made people virtually immortal by infusing them with her essence. It also removes their free will. Yeah. Oofies. Big, big oof. All right. We're heading north. We're heading back to... Uh, I guess we'll take a nap in the wilderness. That sounds terrible, but... Uh definitely what we need to do there we go we are fully refreshed we need to eat and drink we'll drink first but and then we need to have some uh foot crabs we're gonna head to the ocean because uh we're gonna go grab some water and things loading screen asks you about your car warranty i mean honestly loading screens are the best place to put advertisements in general I'm not saying you should put advertisements there. I'm saying if you're going to put an advertisement in a game, uh, chances are loading screen would be the most effective place since the player isn't doing anything. they got to look at it. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to get it. Oh, boy. Nice. That's very stupid. Okay. Mm Damn, Nick sounds. One shot. That was easier than I expected. Much easier than I expected. My goodness. Yeah, uh, good to see you, uh, Toxic. Oh, boy. Uh, Dunmer power, the superpower, the ability to drink seawater. Let's try, uh, let's try this stuff. Let's try filling this up. Hell yeah, look at that. Murky. Murky swamp water. That's perfect. Murky swamp water with rats. All right. Also make the loading screens artificially long. You'd be surprised. Uh, some games have done that. They have these little loading animations that if you remove the animations, the game loads faster. Yes. Yeah, dead... <laughs> It's, it's great. Oh, moon sugar. That fortifies your speed. What else? We're heading back up to Aldrun by way of the Bitter Coast. Looks like there's a devourer over there, but it's, it hasn't aggroed yet. So I'm just going to ignore it and continue north. We're fine. Yep. Yep. Original Dungeon Siege had uh, extra long elevators. Yeah. I understand that. Cliffy! No one can challenge me. Got him. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. In any case, um. Wait, is that an enemy? Hello there. He's telling me to give in, but what if I summon a golden saint instead? Yes. I don't know what you're doing, sir, but you're dead now. Whoop. Damn it, Fargo. Careful with that friend. He's paralyzed. 
<laughs> That's it. Imperial Witch Hunter. He had some raw glass, an emerald, a glass dagger, chest of fire, steel halberd. Yeah, this is good stuff. I'm over encumbered. Fargoth, you must take the extra items. Fargoth has so much carry capacity. He should be taking everything. Steel rapiers. You bet. Extra glass. What else? So much carry weight. Weighing down heavy on me. It's lepers. Druid's slippers. I'm gonna see what that summon creature thing is all about. Druids can't be trusted. They're, uh... They're terrifying, if you know their legends. Holy crap. Like, World of Warcraft, uh... World of Warcraft gave us, uh... I guess D&D. D&D and World of Warcraft gave us the, um... The really, really, really sanitized version of druids. Hmm. Okay. Let's go have a look at these druids at slippers. Yeah. What happened? It's summoned in nothing. They, they did nothing. They're broken. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Druid said Druid Legends came from the uh, Romans? Kind of. L l little, uh... <laughs> yeah, all right. Let me see here. Okay. Um... <laughs> Let me see. Whoop. Druids are real people. Correct. Correct. You should A lot of um uh, like it, it's interesting because Romans coveted the islands for a long, long time. And they never really did conquer them. So, yes. Uh, the Romans kind of hated everyone, or at least heavily prejudiced against everyone from the Isles because, um, again, like, they wasted so many resources and so many lives trying to, uh, you know, like, we conquer you. Okay, we agree to be conquered. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Like the back and forth that uh, w uh, went on uh, throughout history was absolutely nuts. Yes. But no, the uh, the weather didn't really permit a uh a full-on sustained invasion you know all year long like you you yeah w once you committed a force uh up north you were kind of they were kind of isolated and so you weren't getting reinforcements you had to, whatever you took with you was what you had when it came to attacking uh the islands oh boy It must have been extremely infuriating to know, you know, when when, when strategy stops, uh, when whatever strategy got you to where you were is no longer working, you can't just change it because, um, yeah, like you can't get reinforcements. You can't, uh, you, you can't just, uh, pull more troops over, like whatever... Whatever effort that got you there in the first place, um, that's th those are all the people you have. Anyway, let me see. Uh, 
Anyway. He hit some... We got so many enemies here. Look at these little implings. Anyway. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Total Conquest really wouldn't be worth it. They they started it for prestige, right? Uh, this um, this idea of conquering the foreign land, but the resources and everything weren't. Um, it, it like a to a total and complete conquest wouldn't have been worth their time. And convincing. Uh, people to stay in a hostile land that wants to kill you. <laughs> um, not too easy. Uh, but it's, uh, morale decay must have been insane for any, um, anyone who manages to cross the, the ocean there, you know? Let me see here. Do, 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 do. LOL. Uh, uh, yeah, that, uh, the, the, the bot don't like, uh, modern politico words. You, you, you have to find a, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, you'll have to find, uh, alternative words that don't use, uh, that, that aren't used in modern day American politicos. Ag! She said. What off healer attacked? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> hello, hello. Have a good one. Yep. Implings, uh, scribs, and rats. Probably Marwind Advanced. It's by a uh, former Bethesda employee. A Marwind developer made it. And, uh, it's being maintained by a bunch of other people, but, uh, it is absolutely absurd. Yeah. It's what we refer to as, uh, soft cannon, as in not cannon at all, but we loll about it. I'm gonna give Fargoth all the shoes. The shoes weigh down heavy on me. Okay... This, we're heading back up to Caldera by way of all kinds of, oh, not Caldera, um, Aldrun by way of the Bitter Coast. Just because we've been so busy with other stuff, we hadn't, um, uh, picked up mushrooms since they respawned and stuff like that, so that's why we're here. Bring some water. And refill. Good. Mm-hmm. We're going, uh... Yeah, we're very close to Aldrin. We're gonna head over these hills, fight some cliffy racers if they get in our way. And otherwise, head on out. Looks like none of these are hostile, so we're just gonna head east to Aldrin now. It's good. Yeah, I, I see like the rube bush here. Same deal. We're just grabbing all the alchemy ingredients we can get our hands on because we'll be uh, making use of this pretty soon. The uh, yeah, we've already been here. So, east. We're continuing east. Uh, can a Chimer still exist uh, in the fourth era? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If um, if they were in oblivion at the time when the curse happened, it only the curse only affected all the people who were on Nern. Also, there were people strong enough to, like Amalexia, for example, was able to resist it. It uh, looks like my personality got damaged. Oh, no. I mean, well, not not much to see there, but uh, seriously, restore. Yeah, R for restore personality. There we go. We're just going to restore our personality that got heavily damaged. I don't know what, why the Breton would be casting a personality damage spell, but uh, yeah. Yes. 
Vivek decided that it'd be a, a fun meme to be like a dual uh, race. Whereas uh, Amalexia decided to resist the curse entirely and remain pure. And then um, Thothasil didn't give a shit and is just a Dunmer. Yeah. Do, 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 do. You painted the dark elf yellow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the Simpsons. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. That's fine. But uh, it is pretty funny, regardless. The idea, yeah, that... Uh, like, assume your guy, your person was in oblivion at the time, then they could probably have resisted the placing of the curse, something like that. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, here we go. How can we tell what's an interactable object and isn't if it isn't painted yellow? This is very concerning. I'm gonna have a stress attack. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yep. You know what they say. Uh, ahem. Hold on. Let me pull it up. So, gamers ate a uh, half a quart of yellow paint today thinking it was game design. Yes. That, that one right there, yeah. Ahem. All right. Moving along, moving along. Oh, there's the Dragonians coming back over. Fuck. Uh, before the Dragonian reaches us, we need to cast Most Innovative. Whoops, I, I summoned the scam instead. Most Innovative that restores our stamina. And now that our stamina is regenerating, we're going to summon a Golden Saint to smack the crap out of the Dragonian. And we have enough energy, we'll summon a Dramora to fight alongside it. And now this uh, Dragonian is as good as dead. As you can see, Fargoth is paralyzing it. This is going very well. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. And now we got a scale, which is Fortify Attack. Fortify Attack is great. Fort uh, attack Fortification just means you don't miss as often. And as you can see, I barely miss ever, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. So we'll sell the Dragonian Scale or make a cool potion out of it. I don't know. Tapos, indeed. Okay, let's go. We're there. We're gonna tell them we disrupted the mines. It's gonna be great. Yep. That's why we're working on conjuration. You can see our blunt weapon and medium armor is are maxed, uh, but our conjuration is only seventy-one. And conjuration is uh, tribunal temple staple. Like if we look at the tribunal temple, they uh, uh, what do you call it? It's just called the temple. Yes. Uh, Conjuration Blunt... I guess we have Blunt Weapon maxed out already, so... No, we don't have to worry. Like, we we got enough skills to, to max out our uh, rank in the temple completely. Next rank will be a Curate, too. This will be great. I'm super happy about this. Okay. The, the city is locked. We are doomed. I'm gonna have to cast It Just Unlocks. Maybe rest outside the city. I don't freaking know. Nah, it just unlocks. I like how easily that gate opens and shuts for us. Okay, let's go have a chit chat with the leader of. I could take any Telvanni mage in a fair fight. Mm -hmm. I could take any Telvanni mage in a fair fight. What is a what is fair? When you have magic, when when magic is your entire uh, like, it, when they say fair, they mean without magic, obviously. Very silly. Like if a Telvanni mage uses fireballs and crippling spells and paralysis and sleep, like I, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like uh, that one's busted. It's this way, probably this way, maybe. Is it? That is Adrobar. Wrong one. Wrong one. 
Any lore behind the Ebony Warrior? No. It's all speculation that he is Ebonarm. Because Bethesda actually scrubbed Ebonarm from all of the lore books. They they tried to retcon Ebonarm out of existence. So the Ebony Warrior is probably just a dude. Like a gameplay mechanic. You'll bring me good fortune, Outlander. How may I be of service? Yep. You don't think the guys that famously build mansions out of uh, grand gemstones and fungi would be fair about magic? Correct. The ebony mines have been shut down. You have freed the slave? Interesting choice. Good slaves are so hard to find these days. See what I mean? I expect Halalu will not resume mining for at least a month. You have earned my support on the council, and I'd like you to have these fine boots made from the blood of Red Mountain. Ebony boots. Got it. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, uh, we did it. We have gained the support of all the counselors except one. We have to go to Sadrith Moor and find out why the last counselor is being manipulated by the Telvanni. And end that manipulation by force. And once we have this last counselor in our pocket, we will be able to um, become a counselor of House Redoran ourselves. And that is a big deal. We'll be on the ruling council of the house at that point. All right. Let's see here. Next up. We're going to go down and take a nap. Actually, let's repair our stuff. That's why we have armor skills so high. Flying high. All right. Um... Those are the special books we need later. Dawn and Dusk. Coins. Hold on. These are the Brief History of the Empire, Volume 1. These are the special Brief History of the Empire we don't need to worry about. Okay. We're going to sleep here and uh, for two, three hours. Yes, the three-hour nap. And now it's morning. So, uh, let's head on out. We are going to begin a long journey across the Sage with more. We could teleport there ourselves, but I prefer to um, just kind of explore. We're going to go directly uh, across. Yeah. Um, actually, can I, can I slip out of town this way? I'm going to try to slip out of town this way and see what happens. Probably won't work, but uh, we'll see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. By the way, all the ash statues we've been collecting... We've been putting them on this rock. I'm certain they won't influence anyone to be evil. You know the ash statues and corpus meat? We've been just collecting those and putting them over here. Man, uh, there are no children in Morrowind because uh, if there were, there would be probably issues. Also development time and all that. But um, if there were children, I imagine them getting influenced by the, by the ash statues that seem to drive people crazy. Every time I find one, I, I put it off into that little corner there. Great. Uh, Dagoth Ur welcomes you, Nerevar, my old friend. Yes. We we had that dream a while back, but we've been uh, proceeding with uh, House Redrin. And then we're going to get in with the Tribunal Temple. And once we've uh, really dedicated ourselves to the Tribunal and finished that up, we will turn around and um, start doing the main quest, finishing it up. Tell Caius, look... Uh, you're going to have to start making some sense out of this or I'm going to uh, quit. And then when he starts making sense, that uh, that throws everything we've done up till then into question, you know? So. Okay. That's kind of how that works. I'm just grabbing all the alchemy ingredients we have here for now. Um, I will eventually, once my inventory is sufficiently filled up. I guess we should do that right now, actually. We, we, need, to go, we need to go sell. We'll, we'll, we'll do this. There's a mod that adds children and teens to the game. That's funny. And uh, as long as it doesn't go too far. I remember there were some children adding mods that go in bad directions. Let me, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, uh, what else we got? Ba -ba. We need to recall ourselves. We need to go back. Back to uh, Vivek, I believe. Yeah. Recall. But recall didn't work. Why didn't recall work? Fuck. Uh, did it clear the thing again? I think it cleared the thing again. My bad. 
Uh, we're, we're gonna... Hold on. First things first. Let's let let's take the autosave. Let's reload here. Let's figure out... Uh, I think the, uh, the, the boots actually cleared my... Um, my log here. Let me, let me try something. I I, I think I found, I think I know the exact point at which everything like the that recall went wrong. Let me double check. Yeah, no recall there, right? But if we go back further, uh, specifically to yes or to run run, right? Um, give me a sec. Give me a sec. I think I think it's before I did the um that bitter coast run. Right, I, I'm pretty sure the 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 the, the boots uh, screwed it up. Specific the, the those specific boots. So if I if I cast recall now, I bet I have a, a menu. No, it did back further then. Uh, let's try uh, this one right here. I'm, I'm loading. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out what point it is. Uh, adds kids and Lord British. Oh no, Lord British. Um holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna try over here. Hold on. I think it might be hit recall. It's just the mod. Uh so what we do is we exit the game and we reload and see if it works. Uh bup, 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 bup. there we go. Give me a sec. Open MW boy. Uh, it, the multi mark mod seems to just be uh, having a conniption fit, which is my fault, probably. Yeah, it's this Lua multi mark add on. I'm using development builds. You probably shouldn't use development builds. That's really the answer. You should probably only use um, standard builds. Oh well. Let me try again. Yep, everything updated as it should be. Yep, the settings are fixed. Two. Okay. Yeah, that that finally updated everything to where it should be. Okay. Now, I assume that recall will work. Maybe it won't. Who knows? Let's give it a try. We have no marked locations. Okay. Yeah, that that makes sense. You have to cast a high mark first. So, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this our first mark. I think every time my stronghold finishes, you're having the same problem with multi mark and recall. So it's it's, it's a bug with multi mark and recall. Good to know. It's a, it's a uh, it's a mod specific problem. Good to know. All right. In any case, uh, point is I need to be able to get back to where I was, and now we have to figure out how we're going to most appropriately get to where we need to go. The answer is Vivek. Uh, the best way to get to Vivek right now is probably because I need to be able to deal with Move my along, stuff there. Outlander. Um, my goodness, are you going to place the Skywind? Eventually, why not? Uh, the best part about Skywind is that it's not just a lazy copy pasta of Marwin, but it's a reimagining. Right? The differences are where it holds value, uh, not in the fact that it's a just a lazy uh, like. Uh, like a lazy dump, like say, like um, for example, like Mar Oblivion is a lazy dump where they just take Marwin's content and just like shove it into the the Oblivion engine. That doesn't have value to me. Like I already have Marwin. I don't care about uh, uh, that. You know, I uh, said multi marks glitching for you. That's unfortunate. Uh, anyway, um, do, 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 do. so uh, do you think Skywind will be finished? I don't know. But I think that a lot of these mods need to really just kind of release in an incomplete state and let people play around with it. And then people will be more encouraged to contribute to getting parts of it done when, they, when they're able to play the parts that are good and done. You know, work on a little vertical slice, as it were. Say, oh, the Balmora area is done. Like, the Sedanine Balmora area is done, right? So uh, release that. People will play the Satan Neen Balmora area and be like, damn, that's so fun. I really wish Aldrune was available. And so people would then contribute to the project. They'd be like, hell yeah, I'll, hel I'll help you get Aldrune up and running. You know, whatever, because I want to do that. And blah, blah. You see, you see what I'm saying? So by doing a vertical slice of the game and then releasing it, people would be more, um, uh, would be more encouraged to, um, to actually contribute. 
Yeah, Br Bruma was a great idea as well. Um, I agree. Instead, you're going back to your older previous uh, multi-mark and recall mod. Makes sense. I don't need multi-mark and recall. I'm just kind of annoyed about it, you know? It's one of those cases where I just scratch my head going, eh, issues. Anyway, um, if you could, if anyone could discuss it on the, uh, what do you call it, OpenMW uh, Discord server, that would be the best place to get attention to it and possibly find a um, a good alternative. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's that's kind of a thing. Do, 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 right. Um, Mages, Guild, Parpalon, Trampers, Boats, Travel. The, the issue is when we're dealing with the mainland and we're, we're you know, uh, there's issues with that. Whoop. Feature Crepe is the wor worst in large modding projects. Yes. Yes. Um, partial releases would help quite a bit. Correct. Absolutely. Partial releases plus, like, the problem is these big projects have these big, these giant calls to action where they're like, look, we need help with this, this, and that. We need people to contribute. But you, you, what people are invested in right now is the idea of the, the mod. But if you let them play some of it and say, look, like you literally just put a wall up and say like this, anything outside this wall is incomplete or whatever. Um, you get people to try some of it and they go, holy crap. Like I want to contribute, you know, cause People will buy into not only just the fantasy of the um, of the mod project, but they will actually have a little bit of gameplay to go with. And yeah, I think Bruma did that very well for Beyond Skyrim. A lot of people looked at that and said, "Hell yeah, I want more of this," and that's why you know they ended up getting uh, a burst of support for a little while. Problem is, is, like you have these giant provinces where all the the quests are interconnected. So you can't have a true vertical slice. There's always stuff like the, uh, in Bruma, the F Fighters Guild, for example, was disconnected. Stuff like that. You said Skuma or Mead when talking about um, uh, uh, grief. Grief. If we really want to go fancy, Stiridilic Brandy. That, that stuff is good, too. All right. Let's see here. Hello. Where would you like to go? Take me to Balmora. Hmm. Yeah, if the multi-mark and recall is busted, I'm going to have to go look. Give me a sec. Uh, uh, multi-mark. Open MW. Here we go. Multiple launch and recall. B -b 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 last updated last year. That explains it. It was last updated last year. Uh, alternative is Zach's multi mark and recall mod. Got it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm looking at this right now, and there are two. So I have to figure out which one I'm using right now. I'm curious. Uh, at Yarp01. Um, I, I, I closed it because I'm going to go look at the uh, thing here. Yes. Uh, yes. M multi -mark mod just didn't want to work. It's that simple. And other people told me. It didn't want to work either, and I'm like, fair enough. So it Lua Multimark is the name of that one. I'm looking at because yeah, like we got Zax here. Uh Zax is the alternative to this one's multimark. Uh mysticism rebalance. This one looks similar. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if there's mysticism rebalance here. No. No, it's not there. Okay. So it looks like this is the older one we could run with. The, uh, what do you call it? Uh, replaces the built-in one up to 12 different places. It's not the new, this is the older version. And it won't work with test 3MP, but I don't think that matters. So, I'm just going to run with the older version. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> yep, yep. It's no big deal. It's just it's just a script based shenanigans. So we'll go over there. 
Um, no matter what we want to do, we're going to have to run a new merged patch if we want to do this. You know what? I'm just going to turn off the multi-mark entirely. Um, uh, regardless, I still have to do another merge patch. Fuck. Oh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me see. What was the thing called? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. There's, um, a JSON file that, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use the old, uh, multiple marking, uh, one here. That one seems to be the best way. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. not compatible with the list. Yeah, list. Yes. So, um, yeah, let me, let me go to my uh, mod list real quick because if, if multi mark and recall isn't working, I just need to have regular mark and recall and that, that'll be it. I was trying to use a special, uh, like the, the newer Lua version and it was working up until, well, recently now it's just kind of, uh, not working as well. So let's go ahead and yeah, this one's called Zach's multi mark is what I was using on the Nexus. And I'm looking at when it was last updated, and that was in November. So um, if I go over to the actual list, let me, let me see what people are saying about this. It's going to take just a moment. Hold on. All right. So let's see. What do you do? Move the OW scripts file, added compatibility with Ashlander Architect. Hmm. I downloaded this after the update, but um, let's see. It overrides vanilla mark. Yeah, well, I can't just deactivate it. I have to rebuild a patch. Um, like. It's this. Is, this isn't just as simple as unclick box and then continue video game. This is unclick box, then uh, use Delta plugin to rebuild my load order, and then um, afterward uh, reactivate everything. But um, yeah, a li little it's t tiny smidgen more complicated. Let's. See where was my Delta plugin? I'm being stupid here. It was um I had I I don't have the command line set up for this. It's been months since I did it. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the last thing in my command line is running the Pal Pal World server. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Hmm. Where was I keeping Delta plugin? That's the question. Um. Uh oh, I see where it is. Cool. I got. I got it. I just need to run Delta plugin. Yeah. You wanted to see that? Yeah, that's something you can look at. It's it's this one right here. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Mm hmm So, what I need to do is just run Delta plugin, copy pasta, and that should do it. Hmm. I do not see a sec. W launcher. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. Um that should do it. I just need to find the uh the plugin. Let's see, you've got multimark. So it's M for merged plugin. And I don't see it because that, you know, would require actual effort. Give me a sec. There we go. Merged. Merged. But what, what's missing on the merge patch? Nothing. Nothing's missing on the merge patch because I created a new merge. Okay, cool. So let, let me pull this open. 
you can kind of see how there's a whoops that's the wrong wrong page there we go uh over here merged that needs to be at the bottom and that's it that should do it maybe possibly who knows yep we'll see if it works if it doesn't so so be it but uh it should just be a single mark oh hi mark we may have to get high enough in the mages guild to just teleport around using the circle and that shouldn't be a problem preservation day preservation day let me see what else we got yeah we should be fine yeah i don't see any problems okay uh let's try to use the re uh, mark and it should just uh this should be just normal mark and recall no changes yep that's normal mark and normal recall no nope. apparently that's busted oh creature summon effect yeah that's it that's the one oh i see i see i see mm, i understand i understand what's wrong okay i may have had a secondary plugin that was uh running as well oh well should be uh just uh, look for mark see this 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 lua add-on here was marked that 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 was the issue and we go down here and you can see how the uh the merge patch is off so what we do is we open up our terminal and then we just tell it to run delta plugin again then we close open mw like that and we just need to reopen uh the, the thing here hold on yeah boy um i'm closing all the other windows give me a sec open mw it, it should have run a new patch this time without the others and um hold on i need to find the merged patch we're around here somewhere missing yeah snow armor merge patch there it is cool we'll just drag it down there is that sexy yellow card what why wouldn't it be sexy yellow card uh let me let me here hold on um there you go sexy yellow card yeah why not we have uh on the lower desktop that usually gets covered up by the game is sexy yellow card and then we got uh on the top monitor we got alia yep why not there you go okay launching rebirth mm -hmm. ade yes here hold on. I'll, I'll go over here there you go kd right there so we're not using 6.0 6.0 is in the development branch right now apparently it's working pretty well we're still at uh 5.27 though which is fine mm -hmm. Well, let me let me pull up um I think there there's an Alucard uh line that I may be able to grab. Give me a sec here. Um I'm finding it right now. Hold on. Okay, uh it should be under useful and then search with an I. Uh, here we go. I'm interested in this. Yeah, that that line right there. That that that's the Alucard line. <clears throat> okay let's let's load this up okay i should have fixed the uh the load now the the mock if we go over here to mark it's just oh still still summon creature eh hmm Okay, I give up then. It's fine. Mm-hmm. What a flavor of Linux. I'm using... Um, it's Ubuntu long-term support, which means that it runs on Debian, and it doesn't change very often. It, like the, the, the core operating system, outside of like security updates, stays... like Its features stay the same for like years, okay? 
And as a result, I don't have to worry about my programs not working after an update for the most part. Like OpenMW, I use the development branch, so that's that's a different matter. But like most uh, most programs, most like most of the infrastructure uh, at the bottom level, of the operating system will stay the same for years because it's a long-term support version. Uh, and then what I'm running is the what Neon is is basically it's pl it's KDE's Plasma Desktop, but it's a rolling release version, meaning it's the newest version of uh, the Plasma software, right? So you may think those are two contradictory states, like running um, running a long-term support operating system, but having rolling release software. But the reality is that the foundation is sturdy, so all my programs work. And any dysfunctions with the rolling release can just be rolled back to the previous version. That's, um, you know, like, there, there aren't any consequences for uh, major updates, essentially. You know, when, when I'm ready to move on to the next uh, big long-term support version, I can do that. Yeah. I get a nice new updated UI, but stable underlying software. Correct. That That's exactly right. Okay. I am, uh, it's support, like, uh, as of six, it will support, uh, Wayland, but I only use X11 myself. Am I professional IT? No. No. Um, I have, I have done IT work before, back in the, the early days long long ago when we had hubs and not routers um <laughs> but um no i just uh i don't like windows updates very much to the point at which when i realized i could do everything i wanted to do on not windows i um i shoved windows into a little um a little ssd that i can switch off uh, what would call it? Uh, it's it's kind of like a little hardware switch where um, my window, my win, when my Windows drive is active, um, it can't see my other drives. So it shares the same processor, the same RAM, the same uh, graphics card. But uh, when my three Linux drives are on, my Windows drive is accessible. But when my Windows drive is on, my uh, Linux drives are inaccessible. And I do that intentionally so that I can manipulate Windows through Linux, but uh, not the other way around. Now, people say, why don't you run uh, Windows in a um, in a VM? And there are some issues with that. Some pretty big issues with uh, me not wanting the degraded performance or having to do a pass-through. Because pass-throughs have their own downsides. Um, g give me another 5-10 years... And I'll be ready to do a, um, what do you call it, a VM. You know, when the, when the software has become a little more convenient. But, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, wine, um, uh, wine, Proton, shit like that. Yeah, that's where 90% of my programs go. I run, I can run Photoshop in, uh, in Wine. It's funny. People are like, well, what are you talking about? Creative Cloud doesn't work at that. I, I use CS6. <laughs> my adobe suite was purchased at cs6 and it shall remain cs6 for as long well forever because wine just supports it period that, that's that's all there is to it yeah. I, I i have no need to upgrade but um as far as um like video software goes i just i just use uh what do you call it caden live that's it. Yeah, I just I just use Caden alive. All right. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I'm going not use Mark and Recall for a while, and instead I need to go and sell things. You always delay Windows updates. I tr I, I I do my best to delay Windows updates, but uh, they have a tendency to uh, strike at the worst possible times. So. If I want to, um, if I want to play, um, 
what do you call it? Um, if I want to play uh, like Vermintide, I have to do that in um, what do you call it? Uh, I have to like prepare for it. You can always turn Windows uh, updates off until they break whatever software you're using. Yes, there like unfortunately. Uh, uh, th there, are, there is that reality. Every time I try to, uh, every time I feel like I've got a, a real lockdown on Windows updates, they, uh, they have a tendency to break the software in some way. Let's see, your dad kept denying updates until it bricked his PC. Took you a whole day to fix. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's basically it, unfortunately. I've, I've had uh, something like that occur before. So, for the most part, uh, I update, like, every six months or so when I play, like, when I, when I do something that requires Windows. Very silly. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Let me see here. You said someone's uh, playing Morrowind with a larger viewer count? That, that's That's normal. I'm a, I'm a very niche person, and I talk about a lot of things that aren't necessarily the game I'm playing. Throws a lot of people off. I'm also kind of abrasive at times. That's normal, too. I, I assume just being a weirdo on top of that, uh, you know, lots of issues. Lol. Walk with virtue, Outlander. All right. <laughs> Degenerates here. Hey, you'd be surprised. Um, I remember some guy got really uppity uh, when he was like, why are you playing Weeb game? And I, um, you know, ha had to uh, put him in the timeout corner. He, he wasn't too happy about that. Why you not play game I want you play? Anyway, let's see here. Well, Burger's playing as a rat in oblivion. That's funny. Yes. So, first things first, we need to tell her that it just works. He said, then you turn on the uh, the cat avatar. Well, yeah, that's that's when I don't feel like being on stream, right? Usually, I'm okay with just. Uh, with just the camera, but every once in a while I get a headache, or I'm really tired, or I just, you know, don't feel like I can have that kind of physical presence that I usually have. Um, you know, I, I, I put the uh, little cartoon avatar on for that. <laughs> yes. Uh, I also do things that are very, very against the algorithm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like things that are absolutely toxic to the YouTube algorithm that that stifle growth and actually cause your channel to shrink. I, I do all that shit. And that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and sell some books to this uh, lady here. Yep, we're, we're selling the books we picked up. It's good. The anticipations. She has 700, so yeah, she only buys books. This is fine. Okay, we're going to ask for another 100 gold on the deal, which she paid happily. Very good, very good. It is at present 6 p.m. right now. Very good. We've sold the books. What's next? we got to get the alchemy ingredients sold as well, but let's sell these Dwemer coins to the pawn shop. Let's go do that. Mm-hmm. See, I, I'm, I'm a, like a really dirty Casuel when it comes to Linux, though. I don't use Arch. I, uh, I've only compiled two programs from source. I mean, I, actually three, but I don't, I don't count the other one because it was like automatic. Anyway, uh, point is that I've, I've got a lot of, um, <laughs> I, I have, um, like, there, there are a lot of things that people want to do, like, uh, w when they discuss Linux, you know, they, they're very much in the elitist do-it-yourself space. And I'm like, where's my flat pack? G give me a snap application or an app image, please. And people are like, what the fuck is wrong with you? 
Anyway. I, uh, like, I had to do a lot of, uh, do-it-yourself shenanigans. And then the Steam Deck came out. And suddenly, all of those things, like, like, the, um... Like, b both of the programs I had to compile from source suddenly had their own flat packs. It's fucking nuts. You said a lot of new games don't work on Linux? I find that new games don't work on Linux when they are new, and then after about six months or so, they get, uh, uh, they get fixed and or driver support gets better. Depends, depends. Uh, my goodness. Uh, buh, 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 buh. All right. Uh, organized forum I do for mods. Yeah, it's it's kind of I like I try to have a nice little mod list and I try to talk about uh, the mod list there. Uh, ew. Ew, ew, no, 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 no. We we go away for that. Oof. Ooh. My goodness. Okay. Um. What was I saying? Oof. Oof. Uh. Like, uh it wasn't the first line he said. The second one that 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 da that damages the soul. Like wow. Anyway, um, what was I saying there? Uh, but, 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 but so um, yeah. As far as like uh, modding goes, I I like to do modding streams where I just go over like what mods I want to use and why, and it's fun. It's fun to do that. It, it really is. Um. Let me see here. Anyway, let's let's get going. So we need to sell her the Dwemer coins. Um, as far as like newer new? games that don't work How on Linux, there. Okay, we we'll tell her it just works. She lo she loves us. That's good. That's good. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh, you have to get rid of the moon sugar. Well, damn, Fargoth, Fargoth, in front of in front of the guard. I'm going to hand. I'm gonna hand you some illegal drugs. How about that? I'm just, just just right in front of the guard. I'm passing off the illegal drugs to Fargoth. She's watching me. You can, yeah, yeah. She's watching me. I could kill. That doesn't man. matter. Those boots are ruined. The guard, like the the shopkeeper, won't deal with me as long as I have the illegal drugs. Basically, that's fine. Okay. First things first. Clothing. We can sell, sell some clothing. Yep. That's good. Now those Dwemer coins. Oh boy, oh boy. That's good. In fact, she likes us enough that I think we can get away with this. Let's uh, pick up that lesser soul gem. And then we're gonna ask for the rest of her money. There you go. Oof. We got it, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you said you like that. There's so many mods for the same thing. It becomes difficult to pick which mods. Yeah. I know, for example, that, um, what, what do you call it, um, I, I know that the, um, like, there is beautiful cities of Morrowind, um, that is a, um, oof, my goodness, um, that, that, that is considered a popular mod, but it is vastly incompatible with Morrow and Rebirth. But if you're using, if you're not using Rebirth, Beautiful City seems to be the best there. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Can I, can I jump in this water and actually, yeah, I don't think this is actually considered actual water. No, no, it's solid surface. That's unfortunate. All right, we're gonna... We're just gonna go ahead and, um, mm, oof. yeah, that's, that's some weird shit right there. Um, okay. Ahem. Do you remember modding Morrowind and your PC hard crashed? Un when, if your PC hard crashes, chances are it's a hardware problem. That's, uh, ha has been underlying for a while and hasn't been, um, uh, what, what do you call it? Um, it hasn't been shown um, due to... You know, it's usually like a stress test problem, basically. Um, mm, you stick with Classic Monitor like Danny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, Danny, um, 
is a good modder. The problem is most of her mods stick with the vanilla engine, and I am uh, I, I like OpenMW myself. Uh, let's see here. Now, now that we're done in this area, we've we've actually sold what we need to sell. We need to get rid of alchemy ingredients, stuff like that. So, uh, he said, Baldur's Gate three fried your amp. I um. The only time I have had a problem with um, uh, with RAM uh, going bad. Well, I, I had RAM going bad a couple times, but um, one time with Skyrim, I had I had a couple like hard lockups while playing Skyrim. That was, this was years ago, and it turned out it was a bad RAM chip. So I ended up replacing it with not not the not the RAM I'm using now, but the, like the previous iteration. And so, um, the one afterward, um, the, the, t the other problem I had was, um, I had just, like, changed out my, um, my graphics card, and I had restarted my computer, and it wouldn't boot, and I was like, what? D d did my computer die? And the answer was that, um, you know, I looked at the error code because, like, if, if you have a good motherboard, then you'll have a you'll have little lights, right, on on the on the motherboard themselves. And when you try to boot the computer, um, you'll you'll get a little uh, like one of the three lights will be lit in a specific way, and depending on the color of the light and the position of the light, you can determine what's wrong with it. And it was bad RAM, so I was just like, fine. And so I I went and I got a couple uh, couple sticks of Corsair RAM. Uh, these are uh, rainbow. Um, they they they're what do you call it? Um, uh, they're LEDs that shimmer, and uh, I, I didn't really care about the LED part so much as hey, they're 32 gigs of RAM and they're uh, they're cheap, right? So um, got those, put them in, and now my uh, my case gl glows with the radiance of a thousand suns, a thousand rainbows, whatever you want to say, um, and uh, it's pretty pretty funny. Anyway, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's uh, it's very dumb, but it, hey, it, it it does what I need it to do. That's the important thing. Anyway, uh, I I have 32 gigs of RAM, most not because I need it to for the average session, but because um, like when I'm doing what do you call it? Um, you hate you hate PC lights. I I, I understand completely. Like th th those can be a problem. Like the the LEDs are just a menace at times. I I completely see that. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Anyway. Um. Let me see here. Oops. R wrong button. <laughs> I was uh. But but yeah yeah. So um. Go Hello ahead, there. Please. Tell Can't me you about be yourself. quiet? This guy doesn't like me. Something about uh, uh, I didn't buy his pat patented spider dagger. Can't you be quiet? I hate you. It's, it's fine. He's he's two thousand, right? So I'm gonna sell him some stuff there. Do I consider the uh, forty seventy Ti to be overkill for my games? Well, it depends on if I, if I'm using the the VTuber avatar. That that thing takes up like twenty percent of my graphics card. And then I'm also using a good like two three percent of it for to run the stream. You know we're we're running NVENC. and then I like to have I like to drive four monitors at the same time with um what do you call it like multiple windows up on every monitor. So um yes it's still overkill regardless <laughs> um. However, if I play a game like Elite Dangerous or X4, um, I'm actually running the card at almost capacity, like 90% capacity. Seriously, those those games are uh, kind of bonkers if you uh, really crank up their settings, you know. Hmm. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, illusion up. That, yeah. I keep going. No, still not there. No. There we go. Now we can sell our stuff. Uh, yeah, that glass dagger. We're going to hold back on the glass dagger and see about selling all our other junk. 
The Sword of Smiting, for example, is not that good. It's expensive because it's got a powerful enchantment, but that doesn't matter a whole lot. Yeah, we'll sell the dagger. Fuck it. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. That, that's it. We're going to ask for 2000 on the deal. He refused. Okay. Uh, extra 200 Good. Good, good, good. So we convinced him to... Uh, so we're, we're, we're basically selling things, clearing out our inventory before we go on a real adventure. Real adventure, yes. Um, okay, we need to do a couple more things. We're going to go over to the Mage's Guild. Well, do you want more duties or not? No, not right now. Thank you, though. Hey, foul deal. This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. Okay. Let's see here. Anyway, it really depends on the game I'm playing. So, the 4070 Ti just gives me the overhead to do whatever I want, right? Yeah, I play Daggerfall and Morrowind a lot. Yeah, I play a bunch of, um, what do you call it, um, lo lower grade uh, uh, vi video games. Uh, you know, old, like, emulators, stuff like that. But, um... You know, I, ju I just think of it as future-proofing for, you know, when I want to sit down and play, say, PAL World or whatever. Uh, I can have high settings, you know. want to play um, whatever else is going on right now. God damn, I, I think Steam's closed at the moment. Damn. Um, <laughs> I was looking at my Steam library going, eh, what's, what's, what's over here? And the answer is a lot. Games. Look at what I most recently played. Yeah, it's overkill for Final Fantasy XIV. It's good for Warframe, oddly enough. Um, but yeah, it's overkill for Skyrim, overkill for Elder Scrolls Online, overkill for Path of Exile. I, I'm Path of Exile is CPU bound, so I'm having trouble there. Um, ah, sister, hello, hello, hello. Uh, what do we got? Uh, no, yeah, it's it's good for No Man's Sky. Uh, overkill for Fallout New Vegas. I'm I'm still going down my list. Hold on. Um, mm -hmm. ba, 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 ba. um, anyway, so, um, what do you call it, um, yep, Overkill for Starbound, Elite Dangerous and Elden Ring, it's both good for those, Overkill for Fallout 76, it was good for Starfield, um, do I play any Borderlands games? I played the crap out of Borderlands 1 and 2. That's it. Seriously, that, that, that's it. Uh, no interest in 3. Eventually, I'll get around to the pre-sequel. Um, but yeah. I, any game plus my VTuber suite, I'll, I'm glad I got the, the 4070 because the VTuber suite actually uses a lot of processing power but that's about it yeah um yeah 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 okay i'm gonna go over here to the corner this is where we were before so many soul gems uh, i'm gonna drop some stuff here just uh things for later uh fortify we're gonna, we're gonna look at fortifies yeah so only only the fortifies keeping the fortify attack we're getting rid of the fortify endurance at the moment i'm just drop i guess we should sell these potions who designed the vtuber image uh a friend of mine r real life friend uh what happened I, I can tell you the story about how the vtuber avatar started right I, I i told everyone flat out i had no interest in being a vtuber and that's still mostly true um However, um, I, whenever I got, like, really tired or, like, I, I just felt like I couldn't, you know, like, I had a headache or I just I didn't feel like being on camera, I'd do this. And th this, this, like, this little block over the, like, the camera section is how I kind of uh, handled it there. So, um, and, yeah, that, that's what I did for a while. And then I ended up, uh, just for shits and giggles, getting a program to uh, act as a um uh what do you call it like like a png tube thing and it was using my final fantasy 14 character 
where either the mouth would be open or the mouth would be closed. A very, very simple thing, right? Well, uh, I was sitting down with a couple friends. One of them was a lawyer. And the uh, the lawyer friend mentioned that the, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, well, do you want uh, that the Final Fantasy XIV character was dangerous to use on non- um, on non-Final Fantasy XIV streams, because, um, what is his name? Um, uh, sorry, Square Enix is a very litigious company. That is to say, they like to sue people for is misusing their intellectual properties. A good friend and, uh, uh, yeah, as a result, um, what, what do you call it? Um, uh, a as a result... The, um, um, <laughs> um uh, like, uh, the, my other friend who was in the room at the time, uh, suggested, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, that, that I tried, the, the, you know, doing a, uh, a quote-unquote VTuber avatar, and I said, like, I had no interest in that, really. Um, they, they made the avatar for me. You know, I, I just said, uh, like, a fe uh, my my exact words were uh, feminine cat boy. And uh, that that's that's where that ended up happening. It, I, I don't know. Um, but, um, yeah. It, uh, it, as I understand it, the VTuber avatar was cobbled together with prefab assets that you can get for free online. That That's my understanding of it anyway. Okay, we need to sell specific potions to Ajira. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. You said V2. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, hold on. The cat needs help. There, there, there is a real-life cat that is saying, Let me out! He's, he's doing this on the door. Yeah, we're helping him out. He has been freed. I don't know. But yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the cat was like, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. We're gonna go through these potions, and for the most part, we're selling them. Yes. The human has been well trained by the cat. Is Elder Scrolls your favorite series from Bethesda? Yes. Um... Obviously, Fallout isn't technically from Bethesda, but was sold to Bethesda. But I, I like uh, the Fallout series decently as games. Um, I'd say outside of uh, 1, 2, and New Vegas, I'm not really a fan of their stories. But, like, Fallout 3 is functionally... Fallout 3 and New Vegas together are functionally my favorite games. Um, Elder Scrolls is... Uh, uh, from Bethesda specifically, yes, my favorite. But, um... Um... I, I, I'd be hard-pressed to, uh, uh, like, say what my favorite series in general is. My favorite video game is Chrono Trigger. Uh, but I wouldn't say Chrono Cross is anywhere near the top of my favorites, despite being a pretty good game. Said so not Starfield. Starfield's a fun dungeon crawler, but again, I played Starfield for, like, what? uh 236 hours and then quit and i don't have any desire to play any further like i enjoyed the dungeon crawling but like look at elder scrolls 2 daggerfall the dungeons are procedurally generated why didn't they procedurally generate the dungeons in starfield i don't understand like that was where the tech needed to be applied to, to give you you know renewable content said uh yeah chrono trigger Yes. That's my favorite video game. Um, Arno Cross is a good game, but it's not anywhere near my favorite. Said Frog is one of your favorite video game characters? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see here. Um, hold on. I, I gotta finish selling to this vendor, or I'll be here all day. Uh, Fortify Endurance Potions. Is that cat still giving you trouble? Okay. Thank you. Okay. So apparently today is uh, 
the the the, uh, the the lazy panda day. So uh, let me see here. Yeah, today is the the lazy panda day. Let me uh. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ahem. <clears throat> I extremely lazy panda day. We got uh, it got got plastic fork. Oh boy, there's rice, chow mein, and orange chicken. Yes, very very lazy. Mm hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, we got to keep selling. They have eight hundred, and I can buy a bunch of hound meat and stuff. So, yep. Very good. Okay, so, um... Fortify Fatigue, Fortify Magic Up. Get out. Fortify Speed. Keep the Fortify Strengths. Those are important. Get out Frost Shield. Mm-hmm. At least I got chicken. It's true. Absolutely. Absolutely. gonna say i know we have chopsticks but um good luck me using them absolutely zero skill developed in that all right poison resistance potion get out we're close okay first things first we're gonna sell we're gonna tell her that we want to make that a deal good we're going to go talk to other alchemists and sell more potions. We're over encumbered by potions. This is bad. Mm-hmm. All right. Bye. Onwards and sideways. You got so much armor. This is... This armor is adamantium. It is the highest grade medium armor you can find in the game, provided you have the quote unquote official plugins by um, Bethesda. There is an official plugins fixed mod, which fixes the um, adamantium armor uh, and, and a bunch of other plugins. It fixes bugs and glitches with them. It's a, it's a good compilation, which is what I'm using. In any case, um, Fargoth has glass, which is the highest grade light armor. If we look at Fargoth's stats, we can see that Fargoth has surpassed us. He now has 184 short blades and 183 light armor with 401. Um, yep. I mean, we've only been playing this game for five days, 14 hours, 32 minutes. That's that's barely any played time at all, you know? But yeah, Far Fargoth has surpassed us. He is uh, super Fargoth. Yes. Come on. Um, let me pull this up. I'm going to Google. Uh, here we go. Um, but I'm warning all. Yeah, I'm I'm warning all of you. Hold hold on, hold on. Um, here we go. Again. The undefeated of the east, west, south, north, and center. I will become Super Asia and be champion of all. Hold on. Uh, I need need to pause it in the right spot. Hold on. Center. Hold on. I will become Super Asia and be champion of all. There we go. Perfect. There, there you go. Ahem. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Hmm. Perfect. All right.
Hello. How may I help you, Dunmer? Uh, yes. Uh, he has 500. I'm just going to sell him more potions. It's a very lazy, lazy thing we're doing today. We don't need uh, cures. We don't need uh, this. Fortify hand-to-hand, -hand, heavy armor. Don't need any of that fortify. Not even a bit. Restore endurance. Don't need any of that either. We're almost done. Just making, yeah, sure we got everything else. That should do it. Get the spoiled potions out of here. Okay, so he he has. Um, we need to be careful about this because alchemy ingredients. Give me a sec. We're gonna get some shock resin. And what else? What else are we buying from this man? This crazy man. Uh, more resin. Yes, six hundred. We're getting there. We're getting there. He he can't afford. Oh, Daedra hearts. Okay, never mind. I'll just buy two Daedra hearts and call it quits. Five fifty. Give me all your money. Damn right. Mhm. Mm Good enough. Good enough. So, what else we got? Mhm. Mm and that'll do it. Moving along. We need to clear out our inventory a bit, and we did that. So now that we've done that, we're going to go um, to Sadrith Mora. Yep. Let's go. Let's go count our blessings first before we do anything else. We need to be in character, and we praise the tribunal. So whenever there's a tribunal temple around, we go pay a visit. We go praise the saints. That is Lothris. That is realms. And we go over here. And then we go to Lady's Grace. Solve Sothasil. Vivex Mystery. Mm -hmm. This way. Um, uh, 107 speed. We uh we have sur we've broken all limitations. We are uh we are a speed god. 107. Yep. This way. I I need the water. C c there we go. Drink. Fill containers. Yes. Don't worry, though. My skills are capped at a pitiable 100. But Fargoth, Fargoth surpasses that. His short blade skill is 184. And his light armor is 183. Fargoth is even further beyond. Yes. Okay. All right. Um. Mm hmm. Okay. So. Moving along, moving along. Mm hmm. Far God. Yes, the, 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 the distant God. The far away god. Diseased rat is defeated. We must continue. Oh, we contracted Whitbane. Need to use Realm's Cure. Where's where's Realm's Cure? It's down here at the bottom. Uh, there it is. Realm's Cure. Get out of here, disease. Okay. Grab the cat crush weed, and we're going up and across. We need to get to Sadrith Mora to investigate problems. Butterfly. Wings. Levitation for days. <laughs> Last time you played Oblivion, you got your speed so high, uh, you spent more time waiting for areas to load than walking. Yeah, that can happen. 
Uh, not in this specifically, because loading load lines are almost instantaneous. But in Oblivion, absolutely. You can this even get um, issues with uh, too many load lines back to back where scripts don't uh, load properly. And that can cause some pretty big issues. Um, <clears throat> anyway, cooked crab. We're going to have to, once we get past all these cliff erasers, we're going to have to deal with some stuff. Give me a sec. Looks like there's a rat now after us. Good, good, good. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Doo -doo. Yep. You Moving along. The wrong Bosmer to mess with. Okay. Moving along. This way. There isn't an enemy here. I'm gonna set up camp. Oh, there's a scrib. We'll kill the scrib and then we'll set up camp. Bam. Good. Uh, now that we did this, let's uh, get the camp set up there. Should be a okay. First things first, we set up the campfire. There. And then we're gonna cook up some uh, crab, mud crab cooking. Very important. Yep. Okay. Very good. Mm hmm. Perfect, perfect. We're gonna cook until the campfire goes out. And once the campfire goes out, we'll continue our journey. But we're at a point now where we kind of ran out of edible food, so. Cooking crab is the best way, the easiest way to continue our amazing journey. We have a lot of crab, you see. Lots and lots of crab. But, uh, yeah. Like, average uh, day we eat maybe two pieces of cooked crab. So, you figure... Yep, you see that we're going to pack up the campfire and go. That is perfect. I will need to... Uh second here. I'm gonna have a little bit of chow mein real quick. Mm -hmm. Right. Well. Now we've gone to permanently banning. Huh. Okay. There we go. Flippy Racer. No one can challenge me. Oh, no one can challenge Fargoff. We did it. Hell yeah. There's a rat next. We're heading to Sadrith Mora. By way of these beautiful Ashlands. Yep. Very good. Moving along. Whoop. You can't escape me. Most excellent. What else we got? Hitting that button. Yes. Fight coward. Fight, coward. Run, 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 coward. I have a uh, 107. Yeah, 107 speed right now. And it will increase as we get other speed-related uh, skills up. It's a little nuts. We're going to have to rest in a second. No big deal, though. We'll take a nap over here. You can see that that is a dungeon, by the way. That that fortress over there, 
in the middle of nowhere. That I I don't remember which mod adds it, but that is a mod added dungeon. But is it modded? Ha ha ha. Uh. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. <clears throat> okay. So let's go this way. That is a wyvern. That mod was made by a Bethesda, what do you call it? A, uh, sorry, a, a Skyrim developer, not a Skyrim developer, a, uh, a Morrowind dev, yes. Former uh, Bethesda employee. The Red Cliff Racer, I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. What a shame. You should run now. Fight, coward. You don't deserve to live. You don't deserve to live. Fight, coward. Got it. Fight, coward. You <laughs> should run. <laughs> you chose uh -huh. the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Um, okay. Uh, no, no. There, there's someone with a mental deficiency who's trying to post, and uh, again, they they're they're a broken person. So we just ignore them, shun them. You know, the usual thing. Hmm. It will bear no discussion. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> they don't exist. Conversation doesn't exist. It's gone. Let's uh, nap for an hour. Here we go. Mm -hmm. IP bands keeping you down. This video sponsor is NordVP. <laughs> no, no. I'm just fucking with you. All right. Um, <clears throat> the, the, let's let's go this way. Onwards and sideways. You can't escape me. All right. <clears throat> Are we we're hungry? We're hungry, thirsty. Got it. Drink the water. Yes. Dungeon over there looks spooky. Yes. Yes, it is. It's not on our current agenda, but uh, it, it definitely exists. You see the world uh, seam here? This is the tear, how you know multiple mods are conflicting with one another. When, when people say, Oh, well, well, Tamri already built is incompatible with Marwind Rebirth, you see. What they actually mean is it causes, like, a couple of these. Oh, such incompatibilities. Oh no, my game is ruined! Or just, you know, walk over it and don't care. Alright. Ahem. <clears throat> this way! Seriously, though. Uh, g give me a sec. Ahem. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yep, the screen is flashing. Something like that. I'm still eating. Give me a sec. Oh, boy. Yep. Ahem.
Why can't you hear chewing? That's a very good question. Huh. Mm -mm. Two things. Two things. Here, hold on. Number one. Is, um... I caught. Here, hold on. Nope, it's not muting. Not even. Not even a bit. Here you go. So you got noise gate. So the, um, what do you call it? Uh, what a noise gate does is it, um, uh, like un unless a certain amount of audio comes through, the microphone's going to be turned off. And then noise suppression keeps the lower end sounds out of the, uh, you know, uh, unable to hear, so... If you really want to hear it, here here you go. It's ama amazing. I disabled the plugins. So then I, I do that, and it's like, uh, it's a top quality sound. See? There you go. Exciting, right? No, thank you. We, we mute that. <laughs> there you go. Yep, yep. It's true, it's true. Yep. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. The plugins are there specifically because my CPU fan is loud, number one. Number two, in addition to my CPU fan being loud, I also have the, um, what do you call it? Um, sometimes I have a, an air conditioner that runs in the background. And in general, we also have a furnace that can also run, depending on, you know, if it's too cold. Point is, I don't want to have to turn off climate control and uh, suffer through temperatures I don't like just to increase the audio quality, which it would do, by the way. If I turned those plugins off, the audio quality would increase slightly. I just don't care. Yeah, but, um... ASA, do me a favor and pretend like that person doesn't exist. Don't comment on them. Don't talk about them. Just pretend that they, they don't exist. That is the best way. Just let it go. Just let it go. All right, <clears throat> moving along. Fetcher. Oh, bird there. Good. Acrobatics. One of us will die. Got it. Wait, there's there's a beetle there. Got it. This way, it's 9 p.m., and yet we continue. We're adventuring through this incredible terrain. Mm -hmm. Said people are offended that Asia is beating the West in everything. Um... Yeah, animations, comics, cartoons. And little by little, they're beating Western games. Uh, it depends. Well, I think more likely Western games are beating themselves. As in, like, the Western gaming industry is imploding. And their ability to make a uh, product that isn't a live service slop uh, is uh, degrading faster than... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, that, yeah, I think that's really what it is, more or less, it, is that, um, it, it's not necessarily that, uh, that, uh, Eastern games are getting better, or Eastern, uh, you know, series are getting better, in fact, Eastern games, Eastern series, like, like, animations are actually, on average, getting worse, like, uh, th there's, uh, Isekai Slop is becoming, um, 
you know, a much, much more uh, prevalent and uh, much less inspired. It's getting worse and worse, right? It's just that um, due to nepotism and uh, like extreme, uh, what do you call it, uh, profit, uh, profit optimization, um, like it, tag teaming the Western interests. The Western interests are getting worse. The Thing is a great movie? Yes. Um, I don't know why I thought about The Blob, but The Blob is not The Thing. They are definitely uh, different there. Um, <clears throat> my goodness. Uh, yeah. Let's do that there. Bye forever. Okay. Nope. Mm -hmm. If you send a hold on, hold on, hold on. If you send a stu super sticker, um, I think it's like a seventy thirty split, something like that. Yeah, I think it's a seventy thirty split. All right. You're going down this way. Wait, what's happening? Gotcha. Rat. Oh, no. That's not a rat. That's a harpy. The hell's a harpy doing here? Vargas just ran in and started beating the crap out of her. That's fine. Harpy blood. That's dead, too. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, um, unless you are extremely prominent on Twitch, Twitch does 50-50. Um, and YouTube does, uh, 70-30. Damn! Well, thank you, SA. I do appreciate that. That's really cool. Alright. Scamplin' there. Hungerling there. Okay. Do that there. Good. What's interesting is that Twitch is hemorrhaging money right now. Oh, wants you to show feet. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do we got? <clears throat> we got... Uh... We got shoe, and we got other shoe. Yes. Food. <laughs> I actually have really nice dress shoes, believe it or not. 70-30 is in uh, my favor, not YouTube's. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's called... Uh, bu -bu -bu mm -hmm. I'm looking at this here. Uh, yes, shoes. I was going to say, I have some really good dress shoes. The problem with them is that I, um, like, it's snowing outside. And so, while we're in the, uh, the months of, um, lots of snow, we end up in a, um, we end up in a really, um, bad situation where it's easy to slip i none of my dress shoes have grips on the bottom whereas like these boots here uh we look at the bottom damn what the hell have i been walking on doesn't matter point is there's grips on uh on the bottom of the, these boots here and so these boots are good for snow you know
That's all I have down here. My actual dress shoes are upstairs. Because why the hell would I be showing shoes on stream? Shoes actually accumulate down here. And I'll tell you why. I take off my shoes under the desk. And then they live there. Forever. Yep. You No, no. YouTube doesn't take 70%. YouTube takes 30%. And I get 70. Yes. Twitch is 50-50. Twitch takes 50%. YouTube takes uh, 30%. Total Biscuit fought really, really hard. Really, really hard. For the, uh, the 90-10 split, right? Well, thanks again, SA. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. So, Total Biscuit fought really hard for that the 90 split, a 90-10. And he had that for a long, long time. Um, but, you know, then he died and... Unfortunately, his group kind of ended up dispersing, and you, we ended up with, like, the best streamers uh, stopped lobbying for that, and then they just kind of made it 50-50 all across the board. Yep. You said Twitch took 70% in some countries. Really? I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah, Total Biscuit uh, died, unfortunately. But he was the biggest, um, the biggest voice for, um, oh, we got a golem. Coward. He was the biggest voice for, um, you know, making sure that, uh, the creators got the, uh, majority. Got a Daedroth here. I'm gonna summon a Dramora. Good. Getting this golem. Got um this giant earth golem has two diamonds, two ebony ore, two rubies, two emeralds, and raw glass. There was a lot of money. Definitely worth it. Let's go. Hmm. Ah, Kroners. Ah, I see. It's never easy, is it? It's never easy, is it? The man says. Now you're going to get it. Beware the Beatles. That was a shock queen. I was terrified. Shock Beatles and their shock queens. Good work, Fargoth. We have uh, the USD, oh, is which is different easy. from other Ds. Run while you can. NCR Legion, yes, man. Um, my goodness, depends on what kind of character you want to make. Uh, do I believe any of them? Uh, do I believe in any of them in real life as my real life self? No. But uh, my last character went with NCR. I would probably uh, go with Legion the next playthrough, but that depends. But I, I don't play, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, self-inserts when I play the video games. I, I pick a character, I come up with what their particular uh, point of view would be, and then I tend to play towards that. While still hoarding a mass amount of stuff, because that's fun. Hmm. Both the Legion and the uh, NCR are bad. For different reasons. Go 
Golden Saint. Golden Saint. Oh, this is too easy. Damn, Fargoth got paralyzed. I think she reflected his paralysis back at him or something. That was weird. Hmm. Journal's been updated. What? Second phase of my stronghold. Okay. I was scared there. Like, I, I defeated the Golden Saint. And it's like, hey, you've defeated the Golden Saint. Get fucked. I, I can't soul trap it. I don't have a Azura Star. You need Azura Star in this uh, particular setup to do that. Yeah. I have two. I looked and I have two Dragonian Grand Soul Gems. I don't have any other Grand Soul Gems. I don't know where I can get a good supply of them. I think there's a limited amount. Mm -hmm. I killed Caesar and Tail 2 way sounds. You bet. I shot him with Joshua's gun. I thought that would was appropriate. Mm-hmm. True. It's true. Mm-hmm. Here we go. No one can challenge me. Republic of Dave. That's where we ended it. We 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 did uh, all the DLCs. Then we, we did the battle for Hoover Dam. And then we um, then we went back to the Capital Wasteland. And we did the Republic of Dave at the very end of the playthrough. I'm not joking. That 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 is actually what we did. Here we go. Let me see here. Your videos. Live. I'm gonna go down. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Republic of Dave was at the very, very end. Let me see. I'm going over this list of uh, shenanigans. So many on this list, damn. Okay, I think I found it. Uh, Battle for Hoover Dam was uh, part 44. I thought there was a part 45. Hmm. Apparently not. I think I uh, I ended that right at part 44. Let's double check. Um, all right, let's see. I'm still going over the list there. Okay, at the very, very end. No, e even with the battle for Hoover Dam, I was using the winterized power armor. Uh, I was ch I was chainsawing all of the Legion people because I told them they couldn't stop me. And I was just like, fine, you, you want to you know, do that? And I forgot, what was I? Yeah, light shining in the darkness. Okay. And I I, uh, I, I shot the gun out of his hand. Like, like that, I, I disarmed him. And then he wanted to punch me. And so uh, you can see how, uh, how useless the man was. I just stood there and let him try to punch me, you know? And, and you can see how he's, like, taking chunks out of the armor, but I'm just, I'm just not... Uh, not given because the damage threshold. And then I unequipped the gun, and I I punched him to death. Yes, I, I have the the like the the yeah. There you go. But uh, that that's what ended up happening is that's how we hit we hit the we broke the power threshold at that point. And so um, we ended up going back to the capital wasteland after that. Let me let me find it real quick. Um. <clears throat> no rotate here mm -hmm. need to refresh YouTube decided to give up on life uh, there we go come on all right so I think it was at the very end there 
No. No, there there was one more episode. There there had to have been. I'm gonna really quick find it. Come on. Mm. Okay. Playlist, got it. And I got the playlist all the way to the bottom. I'll link the playlist, by the way, just in case anyone wants to watch it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Playlist is running. And I, fo I found the final episode, yeah. So we go to the final episode. And as you can see, we went back. We went back to the, um, what do you call it? The Like the Republic of Dave. And the very end of the video was uh, Dave, like Dave got uh, kicked out. He specifically got voted out of office. And he's like, this is bullshit. I'm going to go to Old Oni. That's where all the death claws are. And establish my own, uh, you know, better republic. Dave is heading to Old Oni to get killed by a death claw. This is great and all. But yeah, this is where I had to go. So at the very end, uh, you can see how he got attacked. And then I, I yeah, the, the very end was this. And reclaim it as the new kingdom of Dave. Goodbye, everybody. See y'all in like two hours. Yeah, that, that that's what I did. So that that was the end. That was the end right there. Is is him like like <laughs> like kind of like he's crippled, but he's slowly inching his way over to uh, old Oni. <laughs> But uh, it's it's fine. That that that's where it ended. Is Dave? Dave never changes. That that's where we uh we stopped that for now. We can go do DLC. Uh, not DLC. We can go do mod related stuff later. But yeah. Would I like to see Fall 3's atmosphere returned in a future game? Probably not. I don't know. What's my adventures in Daggerfall? Depends on the character. We had Whispers and Shadow in Argonian. And we had Sassy, the, um, the thief. Those are our most recent ones. Depends on the person. Uh, we'll figure out what we want to do next time. I haven't decided yet. Mm-hmm. New Vegas was much more chill in Fallout 3, yes. But, um, yeah, completely annihilated wasteland was, was cool. Like, honestly, Fallout 3 was a good dungeon crawler as far as, like, subway tunnels and stuff went. Not a bad dungeon crawler like, uh, Hellgate London. Oof. Oof. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. This way. Shame you can't choose to side with uh, Lord Woodborne. His ambitions are way too strong. Hello, oh, sir. Give in. He said he said I should give in. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to cast most innovative. He's trying to get me, but he's really failing. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Yep. No one can challenge me. He's dying. Fargoth paralyzed him, that's funny. Okay, that lady is something else. Yep. That's pretty funny. Argoth is Lord Woodborne's illegitimate son. Oh, I have no no doubt of that. That is pretty funny, though. I, I did do a Morrowind uh, playthrough as Lord Woodborne for no reason. That's for sure. Uh -huh.
Honestly, Fallout 3's atmosphere isn't what sold me on the game. What sold me on the game was um, the uh, the open world exploration and dungeon crawling. There's um, because of how the game scales. There's no real right way to go. You can just go off in any direction you want. Uh, there's a main quest, but the main quest is, well, not great. So it's better ignored for the most part. And you use to just kind of cap off your adventures. Give me a sec. I'm going to have a couple more things of rice and we should be able to go. Okay. Yep. There we go. You grow weak. You should run now. You don't deserve to live. There we go. Oh, this guy's hit me with arrows. Good work, Barga. Paralyze the guy. Betcha. Mm hmm. He's got a lot of arrows. There's, there's all arrows. He's just like stacks of magical arrows. That is awful. Mm -hmm. Yes. I've been snacking on this, uh, this uh, Panda Express plate for the past couple hours now. Or not, not a couple hours, but uh, about an hour. Mm -hmm. Right. This isn't Sadrith Mora, but this is a mushroom house in the Malagalmar region. Why? I don't remember this house. Orvith Menace House. Why? Is there something I can do for you? Hello there. You're not supposed to be in here, Redoran. Fuck. I was hoping to barter with her. And she was just like, fuck off. I'm like, fine. Let's go. Earth Golem. Oh no, I fell down. I'm gonna get attacked. I'm gonna get attacked. Bargoth's already fighting. We gotta run. Bargoth should teleport to us, given enough time. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Fargoth teleported to us. We, we're, we're good. We're good. I had to be careful. I wasn't able to get to him once he uh, went down. Is Ultima 9 really that bad? That's what I remember of it, yes. Uh, the what a, What's a Paladin is a great meme from Ultima 9. You know, after you... After your best friends and everything in other worlds are uh, Paladins. Hold on. There's guys over there. Gonna ignore them. I'm gonna get to Sadrith Mora and deal with these shenanigans. Wait, what's happening? Rat! It was a burrow rat. Mm hmm. Well. I mean, it's the Talvani that make the mushroom houses. Halalu would prefer to live in an imperial villa, and uh, Redrin wants to live in their clay huts. Beware the burrow rats. They cannot be trusted. Only cute little rats that wear clothing can be trusted. Be fun. Run while you can. Proper clothing, not not rags, right? We don't want any Skaven in our ranks. All right, let's see here.
We're, uh, we have to get to Sadrith Mora by way of sightseeing. We see sights, we kill sights. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't trust random rats. Very important. The writer and want to live in crabs. Well, they tend to live in uh, a mixture of things, yep. Give me a sec. Still eating. Fuck. Just wipe. Oh, this is too easy. Now you're going to get it. That was really funny. Khajiit warrior is defeated. His axe of deep biting. The deep state axe. Do not trust. Where did those funds go? They were misappropriated. All right. Was there a mod to join all the houses? I'm pretty sure it'd be possible. I mean, you have to be Hortator anyway to beat the game. Uh, you end up standing for all three great houses anyway. Even if you don't join them. If anything, you should join Inderil and just, then just speak for the rest of the houses. Which is hilarious. We're collecting more crab meat now. You should run now. You should run now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Exactly. All right. Let me see here. Mm. Can you join Enderil and TR? I'm told that Enderil content will be added later. Um. For TR, yeah. Dress especially, yeah. Mm-hmm. You felt like Ashlander should have been a faction too? Yeah, really. Would have been cool. If uh the like the house elves would look at your the fact you joined the um <clears throat> uh the factions and go oh sorry, the uh the Ashlanders and go. Well, we don't want a dirty Ashlander in our group. And so you're, that, you're, it's like the Ashlanders would be considered a great house for the purposes of that. Yeah. I'll see you there. I have now contracted Swamp Fever. Swamp Fever. We're going to use Realm's Cure for that. That's a lot of marshmallow, and those are restore health potions. Marshmallow is great. Can't wait to uh, <clears throat> be unable to deal with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, we should be a okay. Mm -hmm. ba -ba. <clears throat> Let's see here. Moving along. Cliffy Racer defeated. No one can challenge me. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. We're going to sleep for three hours. That should do it. Mm -hmm. Is it hand-to-hand -hand skills the most annoying to level up? Well, yeah. You know that it doesn't even progress your skill if you miss. Only hits count. Towards skill progression. It's absolutely nuts. This way. We're moving along. <clears throat> I 
Let's see here. Brunch. No one can challenge me. That'll do it. Diseased you mud crab the there. Bosmer to mess with. Mm -hmm. Ah, very good. So, uh, the Androthen uh, Thieves Guild quest line. Yeah. I, uh, I heard about the old Ebonheart Thieves Guild quest line, but uh, didn't know about the Androthen one, so that's really cool. I'm grabbing a bunch of marshmallow before we head back over to Sadrith Mora. Because why not? Mm hmm. Okay. That should do it. Mm hmm. I, I can't I can't tell you anything about a uh, hypothetical Fallout 5. <clears throat> I am... Uh, I generally... Uh, let's assume for a second that the game was real. Real. Let me let me go ahead and pull up my uh, my actual factual point of view toward new games, right? Uh, he here you go. This is uh, I, I hope that uh, explains. People were pissed at me when I showed this before Starfield came out. Like, why aren't you hyped for Starfield? This is this is actual my actual factual way I approach video games now. People don't like that because they they want to you know get caught up in hype. And uh, I have plenty of games to play. Thank you. I'm eating right now. Ah, ah, ah. Hope for the best, expect the worst. You fight like a child. Run while you can. She said I fight like a child, but I just clunked her over the head several times while she casted spells. This was very funny. I'll take all of it. Argoth. Mm hmm. Radiant Quest could have been way better in Starfield. Daggerfall. Like, 90% of Daggerfall's quests are Radiant Quests. But they all have, like, paragraphs of text with uh, replacement areas that make you think, oh, hey, there's a story going on here. And yeah, it's not a big story, but someone wrote it. Radiant Quests in Starfield are just go place, kill thing. Like, all of the fluff has been, like, stripped out of it. And all it is is go to place, kill thing. It is the laziest, uh, least interesting way to present uh, quests. Yep. Anyway. Let me see here. <laughs> is it because of the voice acting? Yes, all they had to do was say, I've got information here for you. Check this note. And then it would say all the information in the note. Like, literally, your quest log could have a giant, like, contract there telling you what you're supposed to do and from who. But, yeah, it's not just because of the voice acting. It's because of their approach to how the voice acting works. They refuse to have any part of the game that isn't voiced. And uh, as a result, um, because they refuse to have a part that isn't voiced, there are issues. I need to eat and drink. Eat there. Drink here. Fargoth. Do you know what you're doing? Uh... Yeah, rest an hour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where the lore is minimalized, 
because DSP skips dialogue. Lol. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Persona, correct. Persona is not all voice acted. There, well, it's, it's, it's kind of funny, though, because there are people who are... Um, they only take in Western media. They absolutely refuse to play good games like, say, Persona. Um, and get very hostile toward anything they consider to be weeby. And yet, of, of course, also play Dark Souls. Because, uh, fu uh, fuck actual consistency, you know. It lo looks close enough to not trigger the weeb alarm. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, let me see here. Ooh. Yep. Let's go. Golden Saint Sword. Wonder how Fargoth can deal with that. You saw people angry that katanas were present in Dark Souls? That's funny. Dark Souls is just a smattering of uh, what this guy... Um, uh, what this guy um, liked, you know, like, in terms of both... Um, in, in terms of both what the... Um, like, what he enjoyed... From fantasy, like, the best way to explain Demon Souls and Dark Souls is that there, this guy, uh, was reading Western novels, but he didn't, he didn't really have a good firm grip on English, so he just got a bunch of random fantasy novels, some of them are good, some of them are bad, right? But he was filling in the gaps in what he didn't understand with, with you know, his own imagination. And so, Dark Soul, Demon Souls, and Dark Souls aren't born from the, a Japanese guy who play who read too many Western novels. Rather, Demon Souls and Dark Souls are born from a Japanese guy who read too many Western novels and didn't understand them fully, and instead came up with his own ideas, filled in the gaps, essentially, like what what he didn't understand. He filled in with his own imagination, and th that that not not actual impression of how Western uh, literature is, but rather the uh, his own interpretation of Western literature, like um, is what basically created uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Like that's the foundation of it. So it's it's Western enough for a lot of people. But yeah, they re really loudly when, uh, you know, it, it turns out, no, no, it really is made by a Japanese guy, and it does have Japanese stuff in it. And then they re extremely loudly because it's like it, 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 uh, it betrayed their Western sensibilities. All right. Yep. <clears throat> this way. Okay. Wait, what's this? I hear something up here. Crab. We got him. Oh, this is too easy. True, it is too easy. Dark Souls is inspired mainly by Berserk. Not true. We have interviews to uh, to tell us where the inspirations came from. You can see the inspirations, you know, the the the, the Berserk inspirations here and there. You absolutely can. But I I refuse to uh, I I refuse to disregard what the developers themselves have said from their own mouths, just because you can see the deem some uh, what do you call it some berserk inspirations you know. <laughs> the 
Hmm. I think that it's possible. And this, this is where, like, a lot of people get into trouble. It is possible for two separate, um, two separate individuals to get inspired partially by the same source. What does that mean? Where did Berserk get some inspiration from? Oh, SpaghettiOs. Excuse me, but Berserk is a, uh, a, a piece of art that, that was inspired by nothing. It came out of nowhere. It, it's, uh, it's inspirations. Oh, uh, yeah. It's inspirations are entirely original. <laughs> It's they're both heavily inspired by um, by Western influences. Yes, it is entirely possible for uh, for video. Yeah, In inspired by like four different pieces of media. Yeah, you know I don't actually know. Uh, oh shit, Rosa for some. You're right. That that was such a good show. Yeah, yeah. Ro Rose was great. Holy crap. Hmm. What was it? Did you know that they made a Western film based on uh, Rose? Uh, let me say uh, how. Uh, it was... Uh, I think it was... It, yeah, it was a 1979 movie. But it was... Also, um, uh, yeah, I'm looking at this. It was a 1979 movie. Uh, Lady Oscar was the name of the movie. Yeah. Holy crap. Like, can you imagine being heavily inspired by, uh, France to the point at which you make a freaking, uh, comic book there? You said, uh, and then, uh, the comic book gets so popular that they make a mo uh, a Western movie out of it, based in France. Hmm. But yeah, recently, there was some accusations that, like, all the YouTubers uh, that um, covered ML Pagliarulo were all inspired by a single Reddit post. A Reddit post that I have never read. It's the idea, and this is, this is where some people have trouble. The idea that multiple people can come to the same conclusion from uh, different points of view. It's uh, it's very difficult, right? But um, I think that Berserk takes a very different approach to uh, its world building from like Dark Souls. Dark Souls is... Demon Souls and Dark Souls both are in these irredeemable worlds. Ah, uh, uh, shit. I, I accidentally hit Fargoth and I have to reload. What a shame. Yep. What was I saying, though? Like, Dark Souls 2 is uh born from entirely different creators and and goes it, it recontextualizes a lot of the things that happen in dark souls one and um you can tell based on dark souls 3 that dark souls 2 was really never intended to begin with like look at um look at the um No, I'm, I'm going to go over to the town directly. I don't want to fight that harpy again. Um, what do you call it? Uh, Dark Souls 2 acts like... 
the world has been through light and dark and light and dark and light and dark. Whereas Dark Souls 1 acts like the age of darkness is upon us. Now we're all going to die. <laughs> like this, this is a big, uh, like, this is the big cataclysmic present event that has, um, y you know, irrevocable changes. Whereas uh, Dark Souls 2 presents it like it comes and goes, it comes and goes, and this is just a part of the world. It's uh, unavoidable. There have been cycles in the past, there will be cycles in the future, right? It's a complete recontextualization of the same idea. The cycle of light and dark. But one has, like, both have gigantic implications, you know. Whoop. Okay, we got it. We're in Sadrith Mora now. Uh, let's see. Thank me for shutting down the nearby mines. Let's see. Okay. What we need to do now, specifically. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Hmm. Not trying to figure out who we're talking about. Should be House Redoran. And, um,. It should be the guy who refused outright. House Redoran. Let me see here. Mm hmm. Adrobar support. There we go. Minor Adrobar. In Sadrith Morris. Yeah, that's the name of it. It's, uh. Aerobar. Hold on. There he is. Okay. Anyway, what was I saying? So, um... Yeah, it's, it's super interesting, though, to look at how Dark Souls 2 wasn't intended by the person who was chiefly responsible for Demon Souls and Dark Souls, right? So, it has a completely different take on the same information. And people act as if it's part of a cohesive canon, and maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, but the reality is that Dark Souls 3 disregards the direction that Dark Souls 2 took the story, and instead simply um, remixes Dark Souls 1 and, uh, and takes some choice bits from 2, but otherwise just does a Dark Souls 1 again uh, with uh, its storytelling. You know, uh, whoops, it's, uh, interesting in that regard, because functionally, I kind of prefer Dark Souls 3 as a video game, but as a story, it's kind of worthless in my opinion, which, uh, will piss some people off to, he to hear me say that, but, you know, Dark Souls 1 had something to say, Dark Souls 2 had something to say, and Dark Souls 3 feels unnecessarily tacked on. That's what I'm trying to say. Dark Souls 2 is its own thing, though. It was born from a different creative mind, and that creative mind had something else to say from the person who made Dark Souls 1. That's what I'm, I'm trying to uh, get at. Functionally speaking, I like Dark Souls 3 the most out of the, the three games. A as a video game. But there's just so much uh, wrong with yeah, its own thing, its own fan base as well. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure. Give me a sec. I'm still not done with that damn food plate. And I haven't even touched my box yet. That's the crazy part. Yeah. 
What I mean by that? Holy crap. Here, I'll show you. We've been at this for like an hour and a half now. And uh, there's still food in here. And this hasn't been touched yet. It's like, holy crap. Okay. Let's go. Must be cold. Yeah, but that doesn't bother me. Yep. You said Dark Souls 3 had the best bosses. Yeah, you know, people ask me very often. They go, like, what's your favorite boss in Elden Ring? And I'm like, oh. Bosses. The stressful part that I want to be over with so I can go back to enjoying the game. For most people, bosses are what they come to a Souls game for. Whereas for me, they're the stressful part I don't like that I want to be over with so I can get back to the dungeon crawling. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's why when people talk about like, yeah, the DLC has such great bosses. I'm like, hmm, that's a reason not to get the DLC, I guess. Because I, I, I played all the games when they originally came out. I, I didn't co go back for the DLCs. So people are like, but those have the best bosses. Yeah, but... That... <laughs> yeah. I like dungeon crawlers. And you, you know what makes Souls games good for me? Is that all? almost all the bosses... Uh, I'm not talking about DLC shit, right? Because I haven't played the DLC shit, so I can't tell you anything about the DLC shit, right? I'm talking about, like, the base games, okay? All the bosses and all the mechanics have ways to subvert them or grow more powerful. They're all RPGs in the sense that you can, through character progression, specializations, and equipment not have to do fucking bonk dodge bonk dodge bonk dodge you can actively subvert that with magic items and, and equipment character builds you can build around the 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 conventional bonking gameplay that the average souls enjoyer uses through uh, its RPG systems. And that's what I enjoy, for the most part. Is not the dodge, bonk, dodge, bonk, dodge, bonk, but I'm going to cast this buff and that buff and that buff and do a Kamehameha, and then uh, throw some lightning bolts, and then, uh, yeah, <laughs> and, and summon a guy, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. The community will see that you for being over-farmed. Uh, if you actually utilize the RPG system. Yes. No, 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 no. Pe like, when I played Elden Ring on live stream, people are like, Oh, wait till you get Mar to Margit. Margit's going to kick your ass. Just you wait. And I uh, I one sh I, I didn't one-shot Margit, but I, I beat him in one try, right? Without dying. And, and the response was, You over-explored. I'm not joking. They, they told me, in Elden Ring, you over-explored. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Hello? No worries. I won't hurt you. Mm. Ask your question. Very good, very good. Yes, the game is entirely about an open world. How, yep, how dare you have fun differently? Exactly. Exactly. It's it's glorious. I uh, I ended up doing a uh, Moonveil Katana sorcery build, like a spellblade, and I loved it. Yes. Did that happen with DSP? That's funny. Souls nerds getting mad at you for using the RPG elements that the game developers spent thousands of man hours implementing. 
for you to not use, right? Summons, magic, equipment. The developers intended you to not use those. That's why they spent thousands of man hours programming and uh, fine tuning them. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Mimic tier's okay, but I prefer the shield soldiers. The great shield soldiers. You know, the five of them. The, the, I prefer that summon, to be honest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you didn't beat Radon pre-nerf... <clears throat> you ever stood by the water and Radon does his phase transition and he falls right into the water and dies? That's pretty fucking funny. Almost done with the rice. Man, I love Radon. The way they let you summon all these guys. And if they get downed, they let you summon them again. Just like over and over and over. It's freaking awesome. Yeah, fried rice. I was eating fried rice and orange chicken. Mm -hmm. Goblet's in storage right now. My, my, current, uh, my current cup of choice is my skull cup. Wife got this for me at... Uh, uh, Excalibur Hotel in Las Vegas. They don't sell these anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Hello, Vori? Mm, you don't have anything for me. Let's see here. We need to go sell things. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what we're doing. Mm hmm. Good cup to pair with a, um. Yeah. <laughs> with, with a, uh. Diablo stream there. That'd be funny. Have you heard that Skull and Bones is a quadruple A game? I watched a friend play it. His ship was sliding around, it was just, just sliding around. Would I ever be interested in hosting a D&D &D campaign on stream with chat? Probably not. Uh, that, that's the honest truth of it. Um, I would be interested in participating in a D&D &D campaign, I think. But um, it has been so long since I've done anything but a one-shot. I'm going to have to... I would have to need to refresh myself on everything. Conscience makes cowards of us all, Outlander. Conscience makes cowards of us all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Listen to you. Hmm. Putting ice skates on a ship is not a bug. <laughs> nice. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't actually play D and D. I, I played uh, unofficial Elder Scrolls RPG, UES RPG version two. UES RPG actually has a version three now. Mm 
Isaac's Greater Missile Storm. What? See, why would you, um... Yeah, it's, uh, Chow Main. But, uh, why would you cast just a single magic missile when you should be casting Isaac's Greater Missile Storm? Hmm. Okay. We're looking for somebody. Is there something I can do for you? Mm-hmm. Minar Adrabar. I've heard that Master Neloth has some influence over Minor Adrabar. Neloth. Move along, Outlander. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We gotta go to Tel Naga. Where the hell is Tel Naga? It's Tel Athrun, Tel Fear, Vos, Tel Vos. Hmm. Is that Tel Naga? That looks like Tel Naga to me. Maybe it isn't. That's Tel Naga. Hello yes, there. Stranger. Please help me. I am being held hostage by Master Neloth. If you can get me out of here and we travel together to the Telvani docks, my father will reward you. I see. I see. You chose the wrong boss. We're getting out of here. We're almost there. We're going through the docks now. We we managed to escape. There she is. Let's get you to the docks. Which docks? These docks or the other docks? There's a devourer after us. This is not good. Went to the wrong docks, didn't we? The devourer is coming. You should run. I am six foot five. Yes. Thank you. We you succeed. Yeah, we escorted her safely to the docks. This is perfect. My father, that I have escaped. Now Neloth will no longer be able to influence him. Got it. Cool. So we just got like I, the guys attacked me instantly the moment she um, started following me, but I just ran past them and got out. Hello, sir. Travel me on over to, I guess, Ebenhart. Thank you very much. Now, from Ebenhart, we should be able to get a travel further up. Hmm. No, yep. we're good. Please join me. That's without the ears. It's true. I have to duck under the. Um, Damn, where's Fargoth? Fargoth, if I enter this house and I exit, Fargoth should be out. No. Fargoth is gone. Forever. We have to reload. We have to go back. That's unfortunate, but uh, is what it is, I guess. Far Fargoth didn't travel because we entered combat the instant I uh, went to travel, so. he He stayed back and fought whatever was there. Which is hilarious. Tell my father that I have escaped. Now Neloth will no longer be able to influence him. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess I don't know. I was thinking about using uh tri let's, let's actually do that. Let's let's try um Alm C V intervention. 
Where are we at? Oh, Rum! <sighs> Bargoth isn't even here. Bargoth doesn't teleport with me. It oh, he's not considered following me right now. I've seen shenanigans like this happen before. <clears throat> what do you mean using in-development builds is a bad idea? Hmm. I still want to use that Om CV intervention. I think it'd be fun. That I have escaped. Okay. Now Neloth will no longer be able to influence him. Adventuring, stand guard. Adventuring, come with me. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's not the Roblox oof. No, Roblox oof was uh stolen from many a place and was not a part of Marwind. Um, I, I remember, what's his name? Um, the, the bo Bomberman. Um, you know, that, that little guy with the, like, puff on his head? Yeah, but Bomberman, uh, did a video specifically on the Roblox oof and its origins. Yeah. It's a pretty big deal. Not every comment made by Bomberman is, uh... Yeah, you see the, the scripture running again. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, if we do the, uh... Go over here. Yep, this way. Bam. Talk to him, travel... Ebonheart. We just need to reset the game. Whatever script drives him decided not to run. And that's it. It was it was literally just restart the game is fixed. What a shame. Again, the the moral of the story is Well hello there. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Use the stable builds, not the development builds. I'm already committed. Yep. Gate open. Well hello there. A pleasure to meet you. Hello there. The name is uh, Tatis uh, Corlix. <laughs> I manage shipments for the East Empire Company. Uh, oh, I can get you far as Sturk. The Isle of Sturk. Right, right, right. Um, on. B Bomberman. Okay. Bomberman, everybody. I think. There you go. <clears throat> Good shit. I was shocked when I beat the game originally and the villain like went away and said, you'll pay. I was like, I thought that was pretty cool. But then I went and I finished all, like, all the secrets and everything. And then, oh my God, my friend is evil. <laughs> uh, that, that was good time. Good, good time. Yeah. <clears throat> So, uh, Bomberman64 had uh, one of those uh, heel turn extra super endings for um, people who got everything, basically. And it was a, a big heel turn in the story. I was like, I'm going to eat more. Okay. No Isle of Sturk for us. Not right now. But if we want to go to Sturk, this is this is who we talk to. Yep. 
Who can you travel me to? Old Ebenhart. This is the old Ebenhart travel guy. We can go to, eh, not right now. Greetings, Dunmer. What can I do for you? I am a Dunmer and not a Dumner. I've very often been called a Dumner. Where's the Imperial um, office? Is this it? Real How estate! House for sale, house for rent. Hello there. I inquire about a property. Mm, I want to know more. Cool. Tell me about Darkstone Manor. Yep, in Caldera. I want to own Darkstone Manor. Mm, 50,000 gold? Um, I must have... It sounds amazing! I must have it! I must succeed. That's it. Yes. All right. Be best decision of your life. You'll not regret it. Let me stamp the paperwork. And bam. We own Darkstone Manor well, hello, in Caldera man. for 50,000 gold. You. Yep. We now own Caldera Land. Greetings. Well met. What is it? Nothing. I just wanted to own uh, real estate. We're getting out of here. We're jumping over the uh, the glitched uh, sewer entrance. Yep. We're traveling. We will own all the real estate in Dvardenfell. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, we, we own... Um, Darkstone Manor in uh, Caldera. So we'll be going over there soon. Swoon. Uh oh. Is this what I think it is? It is. Uh, the Elder Scrib. You don't deserve I'm paralyzed. I have contracted the droops. The Elder Scrib has given me the droops. Minus 22 strength. That's terrible. That is an awful disease. Thankfully, the droops can be cured with a uh, simple Realm's Cure spell, which we've got. Can you imagine catching the droops? Okay. Let's get into Vivek. I say is no one can challenge me. No rat can challenge Fargoth. Okay. The peril is too perilous. Oh no. Hello, Lou Canton. Someone asked earlier about the plate, though. The plate is gone. The plate has been dealt with. I now have a, uh, a small thing of chow mein left. And that's it. At the Red Ring compound. You go over to the foreign quarter, actually. This way. I also need to finish up my water bottle. As nice as it is drinking a giant cup of coffee the size of my head, uh, I occasionally need water, water. Hmm. Okay. This way. Backing up and around. 
terrifying coconuts in Vardenfell. Uh, jeez. I assume they were imported by way of ship, but, you know. Nice to see you, friend. Nice to see you, friend. Friend. We are all friends here. Okay. We need to find a weapon merchant. I actually think they're down here. My bad. Go down here. And through here. Excellent. Why must you people always pick on the small ones? Go away. You said uh, Marwan Rebirth only lets you own one piece of property uh, after your first purchase others are disabled? I don't know about that, but um, I just want Darkstone Manor because Caldera is a fun central area and I like Darkstone. I don't know whether or not I'm barred from other places, but yeah, this is fine. Citizen. Citizen! Bargoth! Right. Um, Jink Blade. Yeah, we're, we're basically just getting all the weapons. Armors don't matter. Speci not not that they don't matter, but rather I, I cannot um, sell them to this vendor. So we're picking up all the weapons to sell to this lovely... Lovely young lady here who hates us. She really hates us because we kept telling her that it just works. And then she would buy into the hype and then we'd defraud her and repeat the process, right? Just over and over and over. So, we, uh, yeah, we have three Jinx swords. This is great. Mm -hmm. Flame blade's good. Frost blade. Dagger smiting. Okay, the dagger smiting is bad. Get rid of that. Uh... Yeah, that's about it. These are all... That, that's all the weapons. So, um, I'm not over-encumbered yet. That's crazy. Well, let's go ahead and make sure everything is nice and repaired. Three everything is repaired. Gods, one, one true, true faith. faith. Alm CV. Count only the happy hours. All right, let's go. Uh, 16 times the detail. Here we go. That's actually not what I wanted to do. 16 times the detail makes us uh, transparent. Makes us, well, hidden. Nope, 27%, not good enough. 26%, not good enough. 98%, she bought into the hype, excellent. Now we'll sell her all these weapons she doesn't want to buy. Um. Yes. This is how it was always meant to be. Okay, cool. So, let's ask for an additional thousand on the deal. Which we, she accepted, so. There we go. Now, watch this. 11%, she hates us. It's great. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Yes, yes, it's very fitting, buying into the hype, getting disappointed and angry, not liking me after the spell ends. Correct. Absolutely correct. You got it. You understand exactly what's going on. Mm-hmm. That's why we do it. The spell is called It Just Works. <clears throat> anyway. Let me see here. This way. Listen, Outlander. Even natives get confused in the cantons. What are you looking for? Up, up, and away. What are you looking for? Apothecary. Tidings uh, and good wishes to your friend. Your service. Tidings. All kinds of tidings. Well, how how much money do we have? We have 12k. I'm gonna spend some of that on resin. I would like resin, please. Thanks. Hmm. Not quite. No. Uh, Alright. I can't sleep on her bed. We're gonna have to figure out... Does Rare Bookstore have a, uh, a bed? Yes, it does. We'd have to convince the Khajiit to... Alright, that's not that gonna work. Padme died of a broken heart, you see. Annie, you're... You're breaking my heart. Right, let's try to sleep here. They're gonna be like, Officer! 
He tried to sleep in an owned bed. Eight hour now. We were not caught. We managed to successfully sleep in this bed for eight hours. This is fine. What Hello, apothecary. See, she likes us. 100%. Perfect. All right, let's grab that resin. Um, Chalk resin. Yes, res resin plus resin equals great. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to buy from her. There's the void salts. Yes. Any danger hearts? No, I don't need to worry about that. All right, uh, give me a, uh, <clears throat> a 200 gold discount. She ain't doing that. Okay. 100 and uh, 120. Good. Good. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. Unfortunate, but uh, uh, while I uh, appreciate what you're saying, we can't have that in this chat. What a shame. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Um. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. Do, 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 do. Um, hmm. Yeah, she's arrived safely. The we, we have to go back north to Sadrith Mora. Is there anything else we can do here, though, as far as, like... Oh, wait, there's one more alchemist. There's an apothecary that I missed. Yeah, because there's like... Okay, that's the Black Shot Corner Club there. Uh, my goodness. Moving along, Please, moving along. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Hello? Get it out or hit the road. Right. She doesn't like us too much. So we're going to fix this. So, uh... Hit that there. My goodness. Not quite. Nope. Nope. What a shame. <laughs> do, 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 do. Very good. Uh, give me a second while we load stuff up. No big deal. Mm. I don't okay. have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. Of course you don't. Ninety-four percent. That is acceptable. Okay, so we got, I'm trying to figure out what we want to buy here. There's so many alchemy ingredients, so little time. I'm looking at all the different ones. Ah, yeah, salt rice, important. What else? Salt rice is important. Uh, stone flour is good. Uh, Tana is good. Tangleweed flour, sure. What else? Mm hmm. Okay. Hmm. What if I personality? Well, we definitely don't want to do that. Okay. Fortify agility is fire salts. Take that. Anything else? I think we're basically done at this point. There's just a uh, corkbald brute is nice, and comberries. Right, I'm gonna ask for 80 gold instead of the like, 160. There we go. Or 116. Yeah. Good, good, good. So we got some good discounts. Bought some good alchemy ingredients. Go ahead. Uh, I don't I think we need to do anything else here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna head over to the arena now because we're in Vivek. We might as well uh, rank up once or twice. I'm going to join the arena. It's time to go. Uh, but I, well, I've already joined the arena. I mean, I'm going to participate. Uh, they open at like 8 a.m., I believe, and it's 7:22 right now. So we got to run. The time has come. We'll be participating in arena matches. Is this the arena? That's the arena. Cool. We just got to go downstairs, not up. Straight through. We'll do. Water, drink, drink, fill containers. 
I need to uh, join the red team. I'm, I'm already on the red team. I just need to... That's the blue team entrance. Okay, we gotta go the other way for the red team. Red team will be around here somewhere. Well, friend, mm -hmm. what brings you here? Yeah. Depends on... Like, uh, the, the camera tries not to clip into things, so it will it will move wherever it has to be. Uh, Yes. It'll it'll like uh, hover into position. It's uh yeah. Here we go. It's red team time. Red team time. A warm welcome to you. Yes, yes indeed. It is a warm welcome indeed. All right. <clears throat> As I was saying, we're going. Vargoth, you must wait here. You cannot join me in the arena, for things would go horribly wrong. Uh, please wait here. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Of course. I shouldn't have pushed so hard. Okay. We're gonna get our, um, what do you call it? Our golden saint ready to go? How you doing? I'm ready for a fight. It's early. There are no fights at this time. Come back later. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we're hungry. We're thirsty. We're not, we're not thirsty. We're just hungry. Okay. Um, rest for an hour. Hello, sir. Ready for a fight. Come back. Uh, one more hour. Yeah. Count only the happy hours. We're back. Ready for a fight. 10 a.m. then. It is treason then. Been resting. Been resting up. Alright. <clears throat> You're going to face Domus and Venerandal Reths. They're both excellent fighters. Uh, it's a team battle, so you may find a partner. Ask around. Got it. Uh, if your part you and your partner come back alive, there'll be an advancement for both of you. I see this land suits you. Thanks again Greetings. for returning my family I ring. Well, here's a fine one. Speak find a partner. Freely. Team battle. I'll watch your back. Let's go. Cool. We're going. Let's do it. I like how that bone walker's still there. Yeah. Your wounds are great. Okay, I'm getting shot by that other guy. So we're going to summon a greater bone walker. And then I'm going to summon a uh, Dramora. And then I'm going to summon a uh, a regular Bonewalker. And then I'm going to summon a um, uh, a Wing Twilight. And uh, you can go fight those guys. Meanwhile, I will kill this guy. Yep. Yep. Look at you. Running against the spikes. Oh, I accidentally killed my own guys. My bad. He's healing himself. That's nuts. You aren't allowed to do that. You know what? You know what I've just said? You aren't you aren't allowed to live anymore. So we're gonna we're gonna use buff drank to buff our health and strength. This is buff drank. Okay, our strength is now up. Then we're gonna use super energy drank to restore our health, fatigue, and magicka all at once. And now, yes, as you can see, I may have pissed off my Dramora. Not that it matters much, because I am way stronger than him. Yes, he keeps healing himself. He's actually pretty good at it. I'm impressed. Let me summon a Golden Saint in your face. Okay, you've got enchantments that hurt. So, Greater Bone Walker. And, uh, Dramora. Good. Yeah, this guy's gonna get his ass kicked pretty hard. As you can see. He dead. Victory is mine. Wait, his partner is a... Oh, I see what's going on. My bad. 
My bad. We need to kill this uh, golden saint real quick. <clears throat> yep. You did it. Look at him. <clears throat> Those fires didn't stand a chance. By defeating them, you have advanced in rank. Congratulations, blood letter. Listen, Outlander. Even natives get confused. Even natives get confused. All right, how can I help? Uh, why, why are you still following me? I think he's just Thanks permanently again. in the... Yeah, he's permanently in this room now. That's hilarious. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Uh, let's go back here. No, that that is the spot. Okay. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, he lives there now. That's, that's hilarious. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Ready for a fight? Uh, now, Blood Lair, next opponent is a barbarian from Solstheim. Uh, yep. So... I see this land suits you. Thanks again. Yes, it, it does suit me. Family ring. It suits me. I'm waiting an hour. And I'm going in. Give in. You're dead already. Apparently, give in, I'm dead already. What about Golden Saint? And then also a Greater Bone Walker. Because Greater Bone Walkers uh, permanently sap your strength. And I like that. What you gonna do about it, huh? That's right. Your strength, you get weaker. What are you gonna do about it, huh? He's not going to do a whole lot, I'll tell you that right now. He keeps turning toward me like, what are you going to do about it, huh? <laughs> As you can see, he the man is weaker. Yep. The Bone Waker. Are you talking about like a Legend of Zelda game? Ooh. Block has increased. I did it. Get out of here. We did it. Okay. I need to clear out the arena. Bottles. We're out. How you doing? Damn right. That Nord should have run while he had the chance. Here's your gold. You've earned it. I see this land suits you. Yes. Okay. Two hour nap. Very important. There we go. All right. Who's next? Listen, Outlander. Even natives. I'm ready for a fight. Next one is an armed Imperial Knight. She's not that fast, but she can land heavy blows. So this might be a challenge. Ah! Might be. I have a greater bone walker, a lesser bone walker, and uh, a golden saint, a Dramora. Ah! Can you imagine? You, you, you are the soldier, and this, this is, yeah, this is what you must face. <laughs> <laughs> Daedra and undead. Oh no, the bone walkers are fighting each other. The lesser bone walker somehow hit the regular bone walker and it was very funny. All right, looks like the greater bone walker is down for the count. We need to summon a new greater bone walker. And now it's time for new golden saint. With a new lesser bone walker. There we go. She's nuts. Look at how much she can take. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. She is going out. Okay, we need a magicka drink. Uh, we'll have, not the magic shields, but, uh, two, two of the fortify magicka drinks. And the restore magicka drink. And with that, we can now summon a new bone walker. A new greater bone walker. And we can continue to, uh, you know, destroy. Point is, she's weaker because of all the, uh, bone walker attacks she's been absorbing. Victory is mine. 
Victory is mine. For the red team, victory is mine. Ahem. Yes. You live here now. Two-hour nap. Pretty sure the arena's closed now. Doesn't matter, though. Hello, sir. Keep going, blood letter. One more rank and you'll reach the rank of fighter. The next opponent is an Altmer sorcerer. An expert of elemental lightning can summon a lightning cage around him and call lightning strikes from the sky. I hope you can resist his attacks. Otherwise, we'll have to sweep your ashes from the pit. I see. What are you doing here? Your match has been approved. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Here we go. Oh, damn. He summoned a clan fear. This is nuts. I had no idea it would devolve into this kind of fight. And yet here we are. Summoning our minions. I'm pretty sure he only has one minion, whereas I have uh Atronuk. Yes. Oh jeez, I'm hurt. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. We we are uh <clears throat> Yeah, everyone's getting hit by lightning. Everyone's getting hit by lightning. This is not great. Uh, let's go with uh, some super energy drink. Yep. I, I used two super energy drinks and health. We're going to use... Uh, yeah, two of these restore health qualities. This guy is nuts. Look at him. Yeah, that's crazy. <clears throat> I am severely in pain. Holy crap. Okay, more, more uh, health restore quality, yes. A couple of restore health exclusives as well. Yep. Damn. Well then. He healed himself. For what good that'll do him. Summon to Clan Fear, and he's dead! Damn right! <clears throat> As it should be. Now and forever. Damn right. Okay. Bam. By defeating that mage, you've gained a new rank. You are now Drekna the Fighter. That's right. Thanks again for returning my family ring. One true faith. Are you not entertained? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, those are the reasons we made those potions were for arena matches and otherwise big boss battles. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep for a uh, nine hours. And then we'll head on out. It's 2.30 in the morning. Not the best time to adventures, question mark, but uh, we should be doing fine. Let's go, Fargoth. Come on with me. With Yep, travel. Let's go. Fargoth and I are traveling. Adventures. Adventures, question mark. What? Not this way. Uh, drinks first. Nice to see you, friend. Yes. It's uh, nice to see you as well, sir. Yeah, cooked crab. Excellent. Route. We go down one level. Holding cells. These people who violated the rules of competition. How may I help you? Sister? Why are there holding cells in the arena? Welcome. There aren't any animals in there. I'm a citizen. How, how citizen am I? 17 reputation. What's your reputation threshold to instantly be uh, uh, recognized as Hortator without doing tasks? Uh, or th there, there was some step of the main quest that's bypassed. Oh God, Red Mountain sleeps. This Please, lady. go ahead, Outlander. I'm yeah, listening. fifty, yes, you think? That, that sounded about right. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. So, yeah, you feel like it's fifty-ish? Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Fargoth would own the Grey Prince. He really would. 
Fargoth has surpassed your average mortal. I have 196 health and 100 weapon and armor skill, right? Fargoth has 401 health, 184 weapon skill, 183 armor skill. But he's stronger. He can take care of himself. All right. Will TR ever add a main quest? I don't think so. <clears throat> I would love to see some people make a mod for TR that adds like a main quest or something. Adds quests for different locations. That'd be cool. Like a main quest that... I, I Honestly, I think TR is going to need expansion packs by other uh, groups or other like modders. Really, that, that's what's going to have to happen. <clears throat> because TR themselves seem un... Uh, uh, disinclined to make a cohesive main quest, especially without, you know, having finished their other locations. That's a big deal. Remember that TR hasn't finished everything yet. Um, this is the sacred city. City of Vivec. Count, Count your, your blessings. blessings. Yes, uh, Master Hammer there. Uh, what else? Oh, geez, the Master Hammer's 184 gold for those. What if I told you that it just works? Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't know that yet. But if we told him that it just works, he'd probably understand that he should give us a discount. There we go. Now, 75. Okay. <clears throat> but what if even more discount? Actually, hold on. Let's Let's see if we can pair that off against some armor. Yeah, yeah, we should do that. We should pair it off with some armor. Fuck it. Rewrite the vanilla main quest to include TR content. That would be interesting, but I feel like that'd be convoluted as well. Like, yeah, you got you got to go to House Inderil or whatever. I could see that happen, but um, I feel like it'd be better to just create a separate main quest for TR content specifically. Um, there are issues with um what do you call it just going with tr um sorry, sorry with with adding tr content with it i mean because you'd be like you'd be ping-ponging back and forth and the travel system would need to be better for, to accommodate that anyway i'll be back in like five ten minutes i need to get up stretch my legs i've been um uh, i'm playing for like five hours and 20 minutes and that made, was made very easy when my wife handed me dinner you know the the panda express thing uh, now, that was cool and all, but um, I need to stretch my legs for a bit. So I'll, I'll be back in like five, ten minutes, and we'll uh, we'll continue. Yes.
All right, I'm back-ish. I'm going to do one more thing, and then uh, we'll have uh, more video game. So, give me just a minute. Cats being stuck in one room or another, it's true. Right now, the cat is outside. Not outside, outside, because it's freaking snowing out there. But uh, rather, uh, outside the uh, room. The uh, actual stairways, like the door at the top of the stairs is open, so the cats can go up and down stairs whenever they want. But I have the door to this room shut so that my voice doesn't you know, echo throughout the house. Um... Anyway, as a result, the cats can come all the way up to this door, and then you'll hear this thump, thump, thump. And that's only if Oliver wants in. If Mr. Sir wants in, nothing happens. So, let's see here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me check something. Okay. Moving along. So. Hello. Did, did, I, did I trade the items yet? Yes, I did. The sale has been done. Take me to Aldrun, you bastard. I don't think we're going to get into Aldrun, but hello. Travel? We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Same low price. Malog, Mar, Saran, Sedanine. I guess Balmor is a good quick trip for 18 golds. Why walk when you can ride? Yeah, that's a very good question. Why walk when I can ride? Take me to Aldrun, you bastard. You don't... Yeah, yeah, you do go to Aldrun. Hmm. I should head on through Darkstone Manor, though. I think that's my priority at the moment. Something, something, family ring. I will have to re-enable Multimark and Recall in order to transport all the goods from the Mage's Guild and the house I took over in Aldrum to my new Caldera house. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, it's a bright new morning, and so we're going to go have a uh, quick trip up to the temple to pray to the saints. Any plans for my Baldur's Gate and or Elder Scrolls II characters? Not yet. No. We uh, prayed to the saints. Then we're going to go outside and pray to Alm CV. We want to keep those Alm CV blessings close to our heart as we exit and fight the uh, monsters on the road to Caldera. Because there are always monsters on the road to Caldera. <clears throat> All right. 
Every battle could be your last. This way. But yeah. I was, uh... I was gonna say, I ran a female character, Sassy, last time. So I'll probably run a male character this time. I haven't really planned it any further than that, sadly. But, uh, whoops. There we go. Just grabbing some water from that, uh, little aqueduct. But yeah, 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 so, um, other than that, haven't thought about it too much. Let's see. I won't be using, uh, the same mod pack because I don't really want to run the uh, the baby quest line this time. As interesting as that was, it was it uh, consumed the entire playthrough to the point where I was like, you know what? I want to go do random things. Do I usually pick a temple where I can be in a knighthood in the same kingdom? And kind of sync up with the uh, with the temple and the uh, what do you call it um, with the that particular temple plus the knighthood in the same location. But I do enjoy my fighters guild and uh, mages guild regardless. Now Whoops, hello. Black heart blight. What a terrible condition. That Nyx Mastiff gave us the Blight. Thankfully, we have a Panacea spell. Costs more than your normal Realm's Cure, I think. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the Panacea spell should cure everything. That's not Panacea, that's Paralyze. My bad. Sorry, Fargoth. <laughs> I may have paralyzed Fargoth instead of casting Panacea. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> I was wondering why Panacea was so cheap. It's because it wasn't, uh... It wasn't Panacea at all. It was <laughs> Paralyzed Mark. No one yes. Uh, okay. It's not like a four-second Paralyzed, too. It's not very effective. Yeah. You should run now. There we go. In the doors, behold, Darkstone Manor. This is our house. We live here now. <clears throat> yep. This, this is where we live. It's a great place. I'm taking those uh, herbs, though. Thank you. Good. Oh, God. That's not how a glass case is supposed to work, but whatever. <laughs> yep. All right. Graphic herbalism doesn't work with other, uh, other mods, so... You'd have to get a compatibility patch for each mod you'd want to use graphic herbalism with. Yep. Oh yeah, this area is great. Bearhead. Okay, time has come. Get out of here, Sheen. Uh, what else? Pujama. Uh, what else? Cyrodelic brandy. Grief. Mace. Oh boy. Okay, that should do it. Let's put those bottles away. Anything else we need to be concerned about? Probably not. Uh, put our, uh, 
cameras over here. That should just about do it. I don't think there's anything else we need to be worried about at the moment. But yeah, it's a good, uh, good small house here. Darkstone Manor. Good enough place for anything we need. <clears throat> Let's go. We're heading north. Bards. A profession worthy of absolutely nothing. What are you talking about? Who plays good music? The Bard. If the Bard can't play good music, then uh, chances are they won't stick around very long. Oh, oh. Run while you can. They won't be paid. Unless, of course, we get a battle bard. Yes, so gonna feel some wrath. Back, back to wherever. Alright, <clears throat> what do we got? This way, continue north. We're actually gonna cut directly across the fields here. To Aldrum. Yes. <clears throat> Up and onwards. Destroy it. The shock is dead. We continue. Cutting across to Aldrun as quickly as possible. We should be fast enough. We may need to get faster. Nice. Bitter green petals. These make a powerful poison if done correctly. We use bitter green petals to destroy. Whoop. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Block is good. Block is our minor skill, 68. Very effective. We're almost there. Heading up to Aldrun now. Otter run. Faster with the boots? Of course. But we don't have the boots. We are fast, though. We, uh, we're using uh, proper adamantium boots. Oh, the storm's coming. How nice. Don't look into the storm. Mm -hmm. Boots of blistering speed. Yes. <clears throat> Boots of blinding speed are kind of awful in regards to, uh, you know, the blinding effect. Blind actually influences your hit uh, ability, you know. What was that? I thought I heard something. It must have been my imagination. Okay. Let's see. Someone said a thing. Good, good. This way. Nip. One second magic resist, yes. Correct. And that's why I, uh, I think personally that it shouldn't just apply the effect. It should roll for the effect periodically. So that, uh, after the one second magic resist wears off it should just stab you you know slap you with uh, a varying degree of blindness that's what i think anyway it shouldn't just be on equip but uh, that's just my opinion uh, i think that the the butsu blinding speed are actually pretty balanced if you don't egg exploit it yes well, greed is ruining everything yes well i mean that's literally like, the, the core message of uh, House Redoran here, you know? Okay. I'm lying to you right now, but that's fine. Um, damn, what? Okay, we have to go over to the other side, I think. This side, yeah. I think it, it's a problem with all of the great houses. All right, we gotta go meet with Aldrabar. He's through here. And to the left. Hello there. You aren't Adrabar. None of you are Adrabar. Greed! 
Alchemy ingredients are plenty. What? Gotta be careful. Don't want to get caught. Okay. Mm hmm. Yes, Outlander. We're being othered by uh, our own people. It's great. <clears throat> yep, yep. I could kill that whore. Would have made sense to consistently check for spell resistance with the boots. It would have uh, taxed your CPU. Yes. I mean, it doesn't have to constantly check it. Just give it a tick rate of like every, say, 10 seconds or something, you know? Every 10 seconds, uh, a check effect. It's uh, keep alive. Wouldn't be that bad. All right. I know of Outlander. How you carry yourself, how you walk, how you talk. Uh, you, the player, don't notice the difference, but everyone else does. Yep. Welcome, friend. You're nearly a legend around here. Please, talk. You have rescued my daughter. I must apologize for how I treat you. I'll gladly offer to uh, my support to make you a councilman. Take this amulet as a sign of my support. Take this Redoran Master Helm. All the Redoran counselors have a Master's Helm for official rights and appearances. Damn. So I get a council helm. Hell yeah. I'm a Redoran Master. That's fucking terrifying. Hmm. What do you need? OpenMW is uh, multi-threaded. Multi-threaded action. The way we like it. Unlimited draw calls to the GPU. Um. <clears throat> okay. What? Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, this way. <laughs> okay. We're going to go uh, become a councilman now. The Rethy Manor. What kind of armor is this? Medium? Medium armor. 150. It's cool. Sometimes you're an outlander. Sometimes you're a citizen. Depends on how much they respect you. But yeah. All right. How many mods? Eh, a fair number. Loyalty is virtue. Lo loyalty is virtue, Outlander. Uh, let me see here. So, uh, Sarah. Let me, let me go ahead and have the bot post the link. It'll be the top article, which will be the, the mod list. I haven't made any new articles since then, so there you go. The bot just posted it. Hello. I'm glad to see you again. I may have duties for you. Yes. All righty then. Um, <clears throat> duties. Uh, about that. Uh, I, ha I will have more duties for you when you are a councilman. Checked out what you need for advancement. Uh, hmm. Advancement. Uh, good. You have, sorry, you have a good stronghold. You have support of all the counselors. Except for Bothan Vim. You deserve to be a councilman of House Redoran. Bothan Vim. Mm hmm. Well, I disagree on the council, so all but one counselor. Yeah, yeah. Advancement. Uh, you are a councilman of House Redoran. I cannot advance you further. If you want to become the Archmaster, you must defeat uh, Bothan Venom. Oh, I have to defeat the guy. That's it. That's it. It's time for honor. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. This way. It's honor in time. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Um, where is the guy? We're, we're looking for his, his place here. There it is. Okay, we're going to go challenge him. 
We're going to challenge him and become the Archmaster of uh, House Redoran. There we go. You there. I have not changed my mind about you, Outlander. You will never be the Archmaster of House Redoran. Meet me in the arena in Vivek, and I shall prove my right to rule in a duel to the death. Fair enough. Let it be so. We're already a councilman. We technically have the, uh, the right to decide what goes on through uh, mutual cooperation. But uh, if we want to order any councilmen around, we're going to have to defeat the only dissenting voice, the only one who hasn't given their approval. Yes. <clears throat> we're going to Vivek. We're going to do it. We're go uh, you know what? There's some clothing items first. Fargoth, come with me. I'm going to sell some clothing to the local clothing merchant. This is a fighting clothier, yes. Hello. Is there something I can do for you? There's something I can do for you. I'm going to sell you all kinds of amazing clothes. Shoes. More shoes. More shoes. Gloves. Boots. Shirts. Many, many shirts. Okay. I'm going to tell you that it just works. That I can sell you things you wouldn't normally buy. There you go. Yeah, the whole point of me playing um, Pow World and um, what do you call it? Um, uh, Pow World and Mega Man lately has been to make videos on them. So I'm going to be talking about those semi soon. Not today, not this week, but semi soon. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Let's sell everything. Okay. Let's skip this to 100. Damn right. Cool, all that junk. Sooner than Elder Scrolls. Much sooner than Elder Scrolls 6. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Let's see here. We're leaving. I'm getting out of here. It's only 10 a.m., so we're traveling. We're going to be heading down to Vivek to battle uh, to the death, the leader of, uh, I'm sorry, for, to, to gain control of House Redoran. We must defeat the only person who won't approve of my ascendancy. Everyone else has agreed that I am universally good candidate to uh, to lead. Like I have a Redoran Counselor's Helm on now. <laughs> Just as my go-to. That's very funny. And, and otherwise, I'm wearing a full suit of adamantium. It's very, very silly. Wait, this is an enchanted... We could enchant this with something awesome. I'm contemplating what we want to do with it. We need to get a Zora Star. We're going to do that before we uh, do anything else. Azura is one of the good Daedras, so doing a quest for her isn't a big deal. We're going to go get a Zora Star and start uh, fighting Golden Saints, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure there's some golden saints up north near uh, Dagon Fell. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura! Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. Red guard with the Lord's Mail will levitate if you start shooting at him. What? Should run. Can't you just levitate past him, go get the sword, and not this fight him? This is going to be fun. You don't deserve to live. You don't deserve. Like literally, to just live. get a rising force potion and walk right past him. Yes. 
She's a good daedra, but she cursed our people. The overwhelming number of people say it's a blessing. Like it's tribunal propaganda. And we are buying whole into the tribunal propaganda. We've contracted the hell joint disease. Oh no. We are diseased. Whatever shall we do? Cure. You know, we don't need cure disease. We just cure. Yes. Bam. That's right. Wait an hour. Good. How refreshing. We took an hour's nap. That's not how it feels to take an hour's nap when you're still tired. Yeah. You don't think how refreshing you go. Uh, can I sleep more? Okay. I actually had that happen once. I didn't sleep for like 20 hours and then, uh, yeah, oops. Do -do. Disposing of corpses? Disposing of corpses will ensure that, um, what do you call it? Um, um, Ensure that they respawn quickly. Named NPCs will never respawn, oh, so don't uh, bother disposing of their corpses. But like a random cliff racer, or a random, um, you know, Kagaudi or whatever, uh, unnamed bandit, you know, as added by a mod, uh, those you dispose of their corpses so that they all respawn the next time you are in the area. It greatly accelerates the respawn process. You should run now. Yes. Okay, so we're going down that way. Mm -hmm. You said it has nothing to do with performance? It does sometimes. I mean, um, like, if there, if there were tons and tons and tons of people in one area, it'd have something to do with performance, right? Like, tons of people. Uh, yeah, you'd want to dispose of some corpses, but, um, when you leave an area, it unloads. Um, well, I guess if you're playing the vanilla engine, yeah, you'd want to make sure your save file doesn't bloat. But we're not playing on the vanilla engine, we're playing on the OpenMW engine. The OpenMW engine has no problems with save file bloat. Um, yeah. Like, if you were pl- uh, cause- I'm not playing, like, the engine I'm playing on isn't owned by Bethesda. It's uh, an open source engine that's, you know, has like a general public use license. Anyone can use it for anything. And, um, what do you call it? Um, um it just happens to be able to play Morrowind. <laughs> that's the best way to explain it. Like, Bethesda has no ownership of this engine. So, um... Well, the regular Marwin engine, like if you just install Marwin normally, uh, yeah, you're going to want to dispose of corpses. Yep. True. Do, 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 do. The Daggerfall guy is making a new game. Yes. We, we talk, I talked about this pretty thoroughly. Uh, what do I call it? Uh, bu, 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 bu. Best thing to look at is his Twitter tweet because the, there are gaming outlets that are being stupid, right? They're like, oh my god, he's working on a new game! But, um... Uh, let's see here. Um... Trying to find his, his post, because it was good. Let me see here. Mm-hmm. Going down this list. There he is. Okay. So, uh, they said... The creator of the popular remake Daggerfall Unity is working on an original Daggerfall style game. And what he said was, As this has been picked up a few times after my recent interview and I've had some inquiries. I should say that I'm not ready to announce anything firm yet and I'm still really early into Yes, I'm still really early into planning in the tech stage. That's it. Uh, ahem. Okay, hold on. I'm happy to try and answer general questions people might have, though. So if you're curious, ask away. 
I'll do my best to give an honest response based on how early things are and I'm still working. Okay. Step out. So there's a, a lady asked him. Is there a reason why you chose to make your own engine instead of using an already established one? I can't imagine the amount of work this implies. Huge Yeah. So he said. A big part of the custom engine is I want to incorporate a mod pipeline that's hard to pull off otherwise. I'm not starting from scratch either. I've picked up an old engine of mine from several years back and reworking it. A bit. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, he the reason he's making his own engine is because he wants to build a mod pop pipeline for his Daggerfall like game. He wants it to be built into the game. The modding capabilities. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay, we gotta continue our journey to Vivek. Are you, you're talking about the man who made Daggerfall Unity. He's making a different video game with a custom engine. Yes. Completely different thing. Yeah. But uh, no. Yeah, the guy who made Open M and not to be confused with Wayward Realms, which is being made by uh, Julian Lafay and Ted Peterson, right? Uh, former Bethesda employees who made Daggerfall. So there's there's two Daggerfall likes in production. One by the creators of Daggerfall and one by the Daggerfall Unity guy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Oh, this is too easy. Damn it. I may eventually update the stream background, but not anytime soon. More lazy than anything else. Eventually, I'll need something legally distinct that I own. But that's a different matter. For now, no one cares that I'm using a background I don't own. But if I wanted to, uh, let's just say, um, wanted to use this on a big professional uh, podcast that's put on, let's say, television or something. Say I wanted to I use this background when I video called into like a real podcast or real show or something. Um, I couldn't do that because technically I don't own it. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Boo up. You should run. Got it. Also, um, there is the idea. I mean, I like the top bar here and the side bar here are things that were made by the artist Walker Trips for me on commission. So I own the rights to the like the little like the top here and the sidebar and shit like that. Like uh, I, I can use them for whatever I want. And uh, Walker owns the copyright, but I own the rights to use it as much as I want for anything, including to sell it. So, you know. This way. Now you're going to get it. This this way, onwards and sideways. Man is dead. Forgot. Oh, he's the guy who attacked me once. Okay, fair enough. We're heading to Vivek. Uh, there's Balmora down there. Do we need to go through Balmora for anything? The answer is probably a firm yes, but. Um... Let's see if we can go get some soul gems. Like, grand ones. That'd be nice. I should also give myself most innovative. That's a spell we should always be casting. Increases your stamina. Drink. Okay. This way. A lot of people don't know about the most innovative spell. Yes. 
M. Starfield bags the most innovative gameplay award in 2023 Steam Awards. There you go. Moving along. The meme spell like our others. <laughs> yes, most of the Steam Award uh, ones were trolls. That's true. Yep. Yep, yep. Blessings. Vivex Mystery. Soul of Sotha Sil. Lady's Grace. The blessings up be upon us. Okay, we're going to Vivex Arena to fight to become master of House Redoran. We got our Redoran Master's Helm on already. So we're actually good to go. Whoops. Technically our Adamantium Helm's better, but, uh, you know. We're, uh, we're gonna fight with the Master's Helm on, at least for this fight. Once we are the Archmaster, no one tells us what we can and can't wear anymore. Yep. Okay. Mm hmm. Yes, it's practically not a space game. Like, the, the actual space part is practically non existent. I'm gonna fight these uh, implings. I'll see you dead. I'll see you dead, Fargoth says. <gasps> Excellent. We did it. We'll dispose of the Impling corpses so that they respawn. More importantly, they each give us two scales, which is restore uh, endurance. Fine. Okay. Space is difficult to make interesting. That's why I'm so excited for Underspace. Because Underspace is uh, freelancer, but with space being interesting. Yes. There you go. Mm hmm. Do, do, do. Spice! Yes, I, I remember that. That was a good meme. Good, good, good. This way. Space is literally named, uh, yeah, empty space, void, or gap. Correct. Space itself isn't interesting. That, that's what I'm saying is under space is super interesting. And uh, I played uh, several versions of his demo already. So I'm excited for the uh, the big full release coming up soon. Um, it's, uh, based on Freelancer, uses the same, like, reputation systems, uh, travel systems, things like that, but then it's, um, uh, like, uh, the, the best way to explain it is, I'll imagine, uh, space had a lot of interesting shit in it, and that's, uh, that's under space, is El Eldritch Terrors. In space. Yep. Yep. No, this is called Under Space. If you remember Train Whiz, the guy who made the meme mods for Skyrim, he went on to uh, work in the games industry on professional games. And uh, after that, he decided to make his own game. And uh, that's uh, Freelancer, but with interesting shit in it. 
So, uh, that's the best way to explain it. Yep. It's, uh, pretty good. I believe there is a playable demo. It is almost all of the game. Minus multiplayer and minus an ending to the main quest. But, um... I might pull up the itch.io page. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, you can you can download the demo here, I believe. Let's see where is it. Can't download demo. Oh, still. Oh, there, there you go. Okay, I got it. So let me let me link the uh, itch.io page where you can download the demo for free. That's the best price to pay for a game is free. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Have I ever played Star Citizen? Yes, I have a Mercury Star Runner with lifetime insurance. It's, uh, I, I recommend it to nobody right now. It, it's a game, but they need to fix up their, uh, their persistence between you sessions. Yes. Is that the guy who made the strongest Daedric Prince? No. No, unfortunately, as much as I like to say, uh, like, TrainWiz made meme mods. That that mod wasn't a meme mod. They were being completely serious when when they made the the strongest Daedric Prince. They weren't they weren't doing it ironically. They thought it was cool. The person who did that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is too easy. Completely different person, yes. <clears throat> the Elder Scribs must be fought. You the Elder Scrib. To live. We did it. No Scrib jelly for us. Okay. But yeah, you were talking about light no fire. Uh, my my only concern about light no fire is regarding Sean Murray. Um, I, I am always uh, concerned uh, about uh, anytime I see information about that new game, light no fire, by you know like No Man's Skyrim and Earth sized game. Uh, all I can think of is is this particular meme here, you know. Uh, unfortunately. Yep. Okay. I mean... I love No Man's Sky, so if they manage to put No Man's Sky... If they manage to compress No Man's Sky's gameplay loop into a single planet, make it Earth-sized, and give us all kinds of uh, RPG elements, like he's saying, well, I'll be uh, customer number one, evangelizing the crap out of it. However, um... You know, like... It's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's concerning... How he's acting there. That's all. That's all I'm saying. He uh, he seems to have forgotten what happened last time he went and promised a bunch of stuff. Unless he's very, very <laughs> confident. Get it. Fight, coward. Okay. Careful with that friend. Careful with that friend. The rat is dead. We must go. What did he promise this time? Uh, Earth-sized game. Um, no Man's Skyrim. Ride on dragons. RPG elements. All right. Here we go.
<laughs> You'll be yes. Soon. This way. She said I'll be dead soon. So I said I'm gonna run around this rock. <laughs> Got her. Breton Sorceress. Your coins are mine. Dreg boots and some Mune. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, they, they did. They panned to Todd Howard when they were showing the gameplay of that. That's true. Uh, he actually stood next to Todd Howard. Uh, here, hold on. Uh, let, me, let me try to pull it up. Uh, let me let me see here. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to a search. No man, Skyrim. Hold on. Here we go. Okay, get 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 ready for this shit. Uh, get get ready for this shit. In unison, no man's Skyrim. There you go. Okay. There you go. I'll be back in just a sec. I'm technically here. I just have to mess with something in the room. That's all. I'm like way over here. A little far away. Shouting at the microphone. There's that. It's just going to take a minute. No man, Skyrim. Yep. Yeah, I gotta grab one more thing and I'll be ready to go. Okay. Who's laughing now? Yep. Okay. Oh no. Don't believe his lies. Trying to think, um I mean you had Todd Howard, you had Peter Molyneux, and now you have Sean Murray. And it's amazing seeing them side by side as you know, Todd Howard's claim to fame at this point is Skyrim. Yes, he worked on Morrowind, yes, he worked on Oblivion, but what Todd is known for is uh, the sell you Skyrim again guy. Even if that's not necessarily true, that's the public perception. Need all three to take a picture together. I know, right? Jeez. So who is the Triforce of Courage in that uh... <laughs> In that uh, triumvirate there. Oh, boy. Let's see. Yep. Oh, no. I, I, bought, um, I bought Skyrim Regular Edition. And I bought the Anniversary Edition on GOG. Good old games. So I could get a DRM-free Skyrim. <laughs> That's why I got it. It's, uh, I, I just wanted the... Uh, the creation club modules without uh, any kind of DRM attached to, like to, with uh, Steam or whatever. I expect that GOG will disappear one day, but I've backed up all my GOG games already. I, I got them all backed up. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. That's, uh... 
Let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and throw this one back into Bethesda shit posting real quick. Give me a sec. Uh, there we go. All right. On my Discord server, I have that Twitter tweet posted there with the picture. If you want to nab that picture. All right. What's the difference in the anniversary edition? The anniversary edition is the special edition. It just has a bunch of creation club modules you can disable if you want. Um, what do you call it? I mainly got it so that I could have a special edition that doesn't have DRM built into it. That's it. That's the only reason I got it. Yep. Okay. It's a shame when GOG goes away. But again, I've ba backed up all my GOG games, so I'm not too concerned. You chose the this wrong boss. No it huh. is no more. You don't deserve to live. <sighs> Damn. This guy says I'm starting to fail. I think One he's lying. Will die here, and it won't be me. <laughs> This guy keeps healing so quickly. Oh, too easy. It's crazy. How does he heal so much? Games will be on peer-to-peer -peer even if God goes away. Well, yes. Of course. Ba -ba -ba. Anyway. Right. Yeah, I just had a moment, so I need to remember that uh, I need my energy drink. Uh, fatigue. Yeah, we're looking at all the fatigue. Restore fatigues. You don't That's it. Deserve to live. I know I don't deserve to live, but I have enough stamina. This guy keeps healing himself. Crazy. Okay, my defenses are failing now. Yep, there we go. Hit him in the neck. Imagine full locational damage in Morrowind. That'd be insane. That orcish mace is gonna sell well. So is the bone mold junk. This is perfect. We're gonna rest for an hour. Uh, yes. And that should do it. Guys, unironically stronger than Alduin. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's see. Said. Uh, Khajiit, there was two. There was a Khajiit and a Red Guard, and they died on top of each other. True. Well, we used up the repair prongs. Now we're going to have to go to the Balpeen Hammer. Good. How many of these little hammers do we have left? Uh, three. No. Ten uses left on the hammer. Okay. No problem. Mm-hmm. Let's get going. We're gonna go challenge the only member of the Rhetoric Council to refuse my leadership. We are gonna go challenge him to mortal combat. And I will be the victor. And just you wait and see. I'm gonna say you're starting to fail. Should be fine. Nothing there. Okay. I believe I have to enter through the red team door. I'm just going to clunk him really hard with this mace, summon a bunch of Daedra to surround him, and then murder the crap out of him. Yes. Here we go. Oh, we got an enemy. You will die where you stand. You will die where you stand. I'll see you. Uh. Yep. Arg, he said. The guard is coming. She's angry at him. Give in. You're dead already. Yes. You this guy really wants to cast stand. magic on me. Can challenge me. There's a Kagouti here. Is that his pet Kagouti? Damn. 
This guy casts yes, some pretty join. damaging spells. Yeah, this guy's a pain. Arg. Look at him. Oh, this is too easy. We got him. That guard is going back to her place. This is the uh This is the Redoran Master Helmet. Yes, the Master Helmet. Evil Eye Charm. Damages personality on touch. Great. The Ring of Wrath absorbs fatigue and health. That's pretty cool, actually. Absorb fatigue on targets. My personality is not damaged. I am stronger than ever before. I will need to heal myself. Stamina part doesn't matter a whole lot, but the... Health matters a great deal. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. Ba -ba. My Redoran Master Helmet came from uh, uh, one of the Masters of House Redoran when I was elevated to Councilman. If we look over at Great House Redoran, I am a Councilman. And every uh, member of House Redoran, oh sorry, every councilman of House Redoran has a master's helm that they're supposed to wear for, um, you know, ceremony, uh, ceremonial stuff. So I'm gonna wear it to the fight. If we look at the other, let's let's look at our other helmet. Hold on. So this one has uh, 166 armor. This one has uh, 150 armor. I, I'm I'm fine with the 150 armor if it's for the sake of you know, like. Looking the part of the Redoran. I'm fine with that. Okay. Let's go. But yeah, it's medium armor. Redoran is generally medium armor. So we go. Do 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 do. -do. Let me in. I am here to duel the city of Vivek. Count your blessings. All right. We have to go to the left. Pretty sure it's to the left. It's like Caddy Corner. That should be the arena-ish right over here. Something like that. Is it? Uh, foreign quarter. This also says a foreign quarter. I think it's a dirty liar. Urena's that way. Okay, cool. I see it. Yep. Three gods, one true faith. Let's go. Like how it paused for just a second as it loaded up the new music. Here we go. Drink. This is the arena. I'm going to assume that we go in through the red team door. I could be wrong. Praise Vivek. Praise Vivek. Yes, Sorry. Can't help myself sometimes. That's the blue team door. I'm not allowed in the blue room. I became too red for that. Red or ran. Is there something I can do for you oh boy. This way. The time has come. Here we go. Uh, he's throwing darts at me. Can you imagine? Your, your ebony mail is pretty good, by the way, sir. I'm impressed. Your superior, um, like, heavy armor is pretty incredible. I would be very scared if I didn't have an army of Daedra I could call upon to destroy you. No one can challenge me. Please eat it and die, sir. 
<laughs> this is going to be fun. You must overcome my Daedra to stand a chance. This is a duel to the death. Very normal. I did it. Ebony armor, Daedric die katana. Exquisite belt ring. The key to the hidden door. You won fair and square. Damn right I did. I just got a full set of ebony armor. This is the best. I wonder what companion we'll find who's suitable with heavy armor that we can equip with this. Oh, well. Doesn't matter too much. Daedric die katana, though. Who just watched something illegal? Did, did I just destroy the man? We were the horde of Daedra? Yeah. <laughs> uh, truly. This was a match of all time. I'll be taking those uh, weapons discarded around the arena. Let's repair everything, considering our stuff was a little damaged. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean magic is our, uh, where our prowess lies? That would be ridiculous. Oh, our armor skill just went up. Armor's up to 63. Yes, the game was rigged from the start. What do you think, sir? You ready for a fight? Yeah, he doesn't even, uh, he doesn't even notice that I did what I did. Uh, all right. We are victorious. I guess we should just go with another fight right now. Yeah. Uh, more arena fights. As for you, Fargoth, you wait here. This isn't an honor duel. This is again for returning my family ring. A fight. Wait. Oh no! It's too late. It's six p.m. Three gods. Oh well. We gotta go to Aldrun then and declare ourselves master of the house. So come on, Fargoth, let's go. Let's go. We're he we're heading up. We're gonna Yes, honorable combat. That's right. Very honorable. We'll take off this silly master's helm once we become uh once we're uh properly given our title. Yep. In the meantime, we must leave. We're going to the uh, foreign quarter. From the foreign quarter, we'll ask the Mages Guild to teleport us to our rightful place. Here we go. Wait, that's St. Olm's. That's the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Are you still a father? No. We're a councilman. The, we are on the uh, high council. See, we were, we were a member of this council, but we were not... Uh, appointed the rank of master, you say. That's good. That's about to happen right now. <clears throat> yes. Let's go. This way. Up, up, and away. Um. No, we gotta go up one more rank. One more uh one more level here. It's getting late. The sun is going down. The god rays are in full effect. You know that they're god rays and not Todd rays? Because Todd rays clip through terrain. Whereas God rays get stopped by terrain. That's the best way to explain it. Mage's Guild! Take me away. May I use the circle? Why no. walk when I can guide? Why walk when you can guide? Okay. Take me to Aldrun. We are in Aldrun now. 
Why walk when I can guide? Oh boy, guild guide, thanks. It's a little, uh, a little stormy out here. Oh well. Now we're in the center. No big deal. We go talk to Athrin Serethi. Oh no. Oh, this is too the rats! The rats are invading! Oh, there's only two of them. Okay, never mind. It was a burrow rat and a regular rat. They have both been disposed of. Yeah. Yeah, Fallout, uh, Skyrim Special Edition, Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 all feature Todd Race, or at least did on release. They may have been fixed later. Athren Serethi, I would speak with you. What can I do for you, Cancelman? Advancement. You have defeated Boren Venom in an honorable duel and proven yourself worthy for the title of Archmaster. Congratulations, Drekna. Archmaster... Of House Rhetoran. That's right. Uh, you're the Archmaster of House Rhetoran. That's just it. You got any more duties for me? Uh, you're now the Archmaster of House Rhetoran. May the Tribunal guide you uh, to use your position wisely. You are yeah. now Archmaster of House Rhetoran. May the Tribunal guide you to use your position wisely. Fair enough. That's it. I am now Archmaster of House Rhetoran. I suppose I'm going to have to go get my Stronghold upgrade to its final rank now. Yep. That's the final step. Now go do some paperwork. I know, right? Can you imagine if the game devolves into papers, please, uh, after that? Like, the, all, the, all the open world exploration, all that? D d yeah, ask the Tribunal for duties. Uh, we're actually going to go do that. We're going to go start doing Tribunal... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, we're gonna start doing tribunal stuff soon. But we are the Archmaster of House Rhetoran now, so this is good. Um, let me see here. What do you have to say? Blessing of Almsavi, Master. Damn right! Damn right! See, now we are not only on the council, but we have the rank of Master. That took a long time to get, but we got it. It's good. It's so good to meet you. Stronghold! I am ready to give you a stronghold fit for a Redland Chancellor, but first you must speak with Hetman Gurls at your stronghold and ask him to attract more settlers. Got it. So we need we need to add more settlers to our stronghold. That way we'll have a an area fit for the uh, leader of House Redoran. Our own little fiefdom. You bet. So, first things first. We're going to our stronghold. Mm hmm. We named this leader. Yeah, our, this woman, our leader, never saw her in our city again. I know, it's really funny. But uh, it's true. Um, technically, you should probably only be able to be the rank below Chancellor. Uh, yeah, Chancellor. That's about it. Once you're, quote-unquote, on the council, you should be doing paperwork. Okay. I don't know if they bring back the arena in Elder Scrolls 6. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they'll have some form of an arena. People are too excited. Uh, like, arena is uh, low effort, high yield in terms of content. You don't have to write compelling quests to have an arena, and yet you can still uh, get people excited. This warrior will make a perfect archmage. Uh, actually, that's a bit different. Uh, in this game, you need magic skills in order to be uh, in order to advance. Like, look at how uh, look, look at the mages guild, for example. You need minimum stats. And you need uh, one favored skill at 40, two at 10. That increases to 50, 60, 70, and 80 at the higher ranks. Meaning you will need one of their core skills at 80 in order to be able to be Archmage. 
it's impossible to be Archmage with have it, without having at least one of those core skills at 80. This isn't Skyrim. In Daggerfall, you can't even join the Fighter's Guild if you don't pick a weapon as one of your uh, skills, by the way. They just go, no, like, go learn how to use a weapon, dumbass. They, they just, they don't even let you join the Fighter's Guild. Yeah, in, in Elder Scrolls 2. Yeah. Beast Racers can still join. Yes, of course, yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Imperial Guilds, Beast Races should be able to join. Uh, the Temple should look at you and go, what the fuck, you know? Like, I, I think that the Tribunal Temple should, should look at you and go, excuse me? A lizard wants to join us? But then the Imperial Guilds should let you join because they're Imperial. And so they don't they don't care in the same way. Yeah. Oh, this is too easy. What kind of sport would they play in Skyrim? There's no football, right? So what what, what kind? I mean, uh, I'm flashing back to the meanie caber tosses that they do here in the uh, United States, uh, as, as, as quote unquote Highland again. Games. But, um, let me see here. They, they aren't very good at it here, unfortunately. All right. <laughs> Elf toss, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Hug of war. Nick sound. Ah, it's in the rock. Literal Pokemon battles. I actually liked that in World of Warcraft. The mini pet battles. They built a, like a whole Pokemon system around it. It was very dumb and I enjoyed it very much. Okay, what else we got here? Deserve to live. Fuck off. No. Bad. Disable. Disable. Enable. Okay. Ch change of plans. I'm about to die to Fargoth. Yep. I'm about to die to Fargoth. What about you? I. I will deny you the victory and the spoils. <laughs> oh, jeez. I am a coward. Run, 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 coward. Run. Fight, coward. Run, coward. Coward. <laughs> run. Run, run, House Redoran uh, Archmaster runs from Wood Elf. <laughs> you don't deserve to live. Blasting of Om CV. See, he's fine now. Oh God, Cliff Racer's in the house. Okay. You googled it. Did Vikings have any sports? I know, right? Hello. You'll bring me good fortune, master. How may I be? Afraid? Attract more settlers. Uh, ahem. We are happy here, but the town would prosper if there were more women. Most men here are single and need wives. I am sure there are many single women in Aldrune who would move here. You could ask there. Uh. If you cannot find any wives, 
you could buy slaves at Tel Arun and bring them here. Many would prefer marriage over slavery. I see. I see. <laughs> that is, uh... That is the thing, I suppose. High quality content. Give me a sec. We're fine. We're fine. All right. You would never see this in a modern game? Certainly not. In fact, yeah, even in Skyrim, they, like, they, they would, they, no, no, they, they wouldn't. Not even a bit. Okay. Oof. That's fine. That's fine. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. We're gonna... We're gonna figure this out. So, first things first. Uh, we're going back to Aldrun. Uh, Aldrun is where the nearest tribunal temple is. We can just alm CV intervention back there. Pretty sure. I'm gonna quick save just in case it goes wrong. Oh, uh, yeah. You. You welcome you freely, I knew it. That's why I, I loaded, because I was like, wait a second. This could go horribly wrong. It's fine. It's fine. Oof. Wow. That is pretty incredible. Yep, we're getting out of here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna nap until this damn ash storm is gone. It's freaking 9 p.m., so. This is our stronghold, and we wanna make it, we wanna cap it out, make it stronger, bigger. Our master of Red Realm. How may I serve you? Uh, no, no big deal. I'm, I'm going this way. At least he's not saying, Outlander. Welcome, friend. Are you the one I've heard talk about? She's a, a guard. She doesn't count, right? <laughs> Let's see here. What an unexpected surprise. Ah, uh, there's Outlander. Please, go ahead, Outlander. I'm looking at your dreg armor, actually. You'll bring me good fortune, Master. How may I be of service? I just want to take my nap in my bed. Come on, Fargoth. We're going to bed. Ahem. Nine-hour nap. It's 6.30 in the morning. The Book of Dawn and Dusk is a collection of sayings and aphorisms attributed variously to the tribunals and to mm -hmm. their saints and servants. Many of these sayings have become common cliches of everyday life in Morrowind. The following selection of slogans will illustrate many of the simplest notions of the tribunal faithful. Speak none but good of the gods. We can have no opinions about truth. Rumors flow from the House of Troubles. Count only the happy hours. No child has a sinner's heart. Let faith be your only law. Fear of the fool is the beginning of wisdom. Almsivi in every hour. Walk always in the presence of your lords. Comfort is given. Justice is taken. Learn by serving. From the heart, the light. From the head, the law. Blessed arm civi, mercy, mastery, mystery, forge a keen faith in the crucible of suffering. Engrave upon thy eye the image of injustice. Death does not diminish. The ghost gilds with glory. Faith conquers all. Let us yield to faith. Better to suffer a wrong than to do one. The heavens are in their glory. Applaud. Folly secures its power to harm. Though forbidden to some, not to you. Oh, how rarely wisdom rules our hearts. Blessed are we who serve arm civi. Three mouths sing mercy, mastery, mystery. Gather no seed in the fields of hell. The thrice-sealed house withstands the storm. By breath and blood protect us all. Can ghosts or justice change with time? Consider your end, mortal. Accept grace without limits. Enter the rhapsody of the god-poet. Kneel before the teacher's chair. 
Three hands, three hearts, three eyes. Keep no secret from your judge's scale. Forge darkness into light. Refuse neither brother nor ghost. Blessed Almsivi through birth, life, ghost. From glowing ashes the poet's wrath shall shine. If Vivek is for us, who can stand against us? Fate, monstrous and empty, the whirling wheel of evil. How black my heart, roasting fiercely. Okay, so I'd say out of all those sayings, the most relevant and, in my opinion, the best one is better to suffer a wrong than do one. And that's something that uh, people who claim to be moral struggle with even today. And as long as we, as human beings, are self-centered creatures, we'll always struggle with. And that's fine. Let's get going. Back to Aldrune. We're looking for uh, wives for the men at the strongholds. So that people can settle down. Yep. Ba -ba -bum. Okay. That should do it. Thankfully, I'm a hypocrite, and I can comment on that while still doing plenty of wrongs myself. Ahem. Anyway. Let's go! Back to town! This way. That's a lot of roots. The whole thing was one giant root. Got some fire petals. These are nice. Let's go. Gotta get back to Aldrune. Gotta love having a stronghold in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Well, this is the final phase. Oh. Bargoth has decided to destroy this cliff eraser. It is dead. Let's go. Hmm. Yes, you can't control the galaxy if you only use your discoveries for good. You have to become evil. Join me, Ken. That was uh, Street Fighter 2010, the final fight. Truly a piece of literature. Holy fuck. Okay. <laughs> Manta Ray, uh, happy birthday. It is 10 p.m. here. Oh, boy. Nine, nine, nine. One of us will die here, and it won't be me. Well, unfortunately, we know for a fact that Jube never killed all the cliff racers because Meol the lioness hunted cliff racers with her father. So, Jube, uh, uh, Jube is a fraud. However, it's possible that Fargoth may ascend and be one to destroy most cliff racers. But we know, even if, uh, even if uh, Fargoth ascends, the cliff racers will continue. Period. Mm hmm. You may have downloaded things illegally on the internet, but as long as you are truly sorry, that is to say, in your heart, you uh, feel pain and you repent and you promise the, um, uh, the United States Copyright uh, Office that you will do no more wrongs um, earnestly. Um, give your, your heart to, uh, uh, <laughs> to, to the big corpos intellectual property, uh, then, uh, and, and be a good consumer. And then, then you can go to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh. 
Lives are only the cornerstone of society when they're shared. You have to have compatriots who you can share your lies with. Ones who uh, will never ever uh, squelch on you. Oh, oh, sorry, welch on you. Yeah. And, and then society works. Only then. If you lie alone, then your soul rots. And you will eventually be crushed under the weight of your lies. Only through cooperation with other human beings does society work. All right. Let's go ask uh, Sarethi about getting wives for the settlement. <clears throat> Hello. You are now Archmaster of House Redoran. May the Tribunal guide you to use your position wisely. Yes, uh, about that. I'm looking for, uh, um, I, I don't know where they are. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, bu 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 I think it was Stronghold. Yes. Ahem. <clears throat> You said the invention of the lock and key made civilization possible? No. Not true. Not true. You get a big guy, and you pay, like, you, you get, uh, say, two or three people, right? And you pay them to act on your behalf and beat the shit out of and or kill anyone who tries to trespass on your property. They act as a metaphorical lock. But, um, the key is merely whatever you use to keep them loyal. Give me a second here. I'm still eating more uh, chow mein. Yeah. Anyway. We have to figure out where this final phase of the quest is. Alright. Um, what does this say? More women for your stronghold. Okay. Perfect. So, um... We're gonna go talk to the, uh... Lady there. Mm hmm. Let me see. While might makes right, intelligence can defeat might if it has the will to act. Intel uh, that humans are by far some of the weakest creatures um, on the planet, but through intelligence and um, they can um, subvert greater might. Greater intelligence defeats greater might, provided it has the will to act and isn't subverted by external forces. Give me a second. I'm still, still gonna, you know, have more chow mein.
the crab carcass is already petrified. It smells like nothing. It's rock. Now the mushroom, on the other hand, let me uh, find it really quick. Mm. Trying to find the particular uh, person here on uh, my list. I know it was around here. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, this lady actually does have an OnlyFans, but look what she posted. Bought my first house thanks to OnlyFans. She she posted that, yes. And yeah, she actually has an OnlyFans, it turns out. But uh, I was, uh, what do you call it? Uh, she also posts Morrowind shit posts for some reason. I don't know why. But she does. Uh, what I actually found her for was her uh, cross stitch, uh, what do you call it, uh, frames here. The little, uh, the, the patterns and stuff, you know. Cross stitching is awesome. It's one of uh, several things my wife does, is cross stitch. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, that that's the reason I follow her is because Cross Stitch plus Morrowind is like, what the fuck, this is awesome. And, and then, uh, then I found out she does porn. I'm like, yeah, whatever, I'm just going to ignore it. Yeah. La -de 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 -da. Anyway, uh, let's see... Someone posted a link of what? What did they post? Oh, I can ignore that. Okay. Yes. The devil. Now, I, you, you'd never catch me having anything questionable on, uh, on my computer. Certainly not. I mean, huh. You know, uh, <clears throat> absolutely positively... Uh, n nothing of the sort, you know? Uh, n n not, not even a little bit. <laughs> Alright. You're sub to at least five VTubers at this point? Yeah. Let me see here. My, my goodness. Here, I'll go ahead and uh, move the uh, info panel over for this, this wallpaper there. Yeah, perfect. Top quality content. All right. As I was saying, we're going this way. Uh, but, but, but we need to go talk to people in Aldrin. Yep. Hello there. Help you, Outlander. Degenerate Skyrim mods. Yeah, we had some of those. That's your work PC wallpaper? Yes. What's behind the info panel? Uh, Astolfo's bulge, I think. He's uh, one of them there people, yes. Hold on a second. Uh-huh. Well, you don't sub to VTubers? Uh, I use the VTuber avatar, what, like? When I'm not feeling incredibly well, it's like once every other stream, but, uh, you know been pretty good the last uh, couple weeks for sure yep my goodness oh boy now then which you get there yeah 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 okay <clears throat> If anyone cares about what is or isn't pure ja Japanese, uh, it tends to be not Japanese people a lot more than it is Japanese people, which is funny. M most uh, Japanese people look at a pseudo-Japanese style and go, that's pretty cool. And then, uh, but, but then you look at a 
you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, a not Japanese person, they go, Ugh, that isn't real anime. Ugh. <laughs> That's the funny part. It's it's kind of like when uh, when the one lady dressed up in a kimono, and uh, Japanese people were like, "Oh, that's cool," and then um, th then you get like the Western people who are like, "You are appropriating their culture," and, and um, it's it's similar with the like um, with like Mexican shit as well. Um, I, I, they, they, like, why are you, why, why are you hating on these people for, like, you know, getting shit from our culture? It's awesome that they're getting shit from our culture. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, cultural appropriation is how cultures spread. It is a good, natural, and right thing about how humans communicate with each other, Right? Exchange cultural exchanges are how we as humans improve as, as a great as greater society as a world society right and so um when when someone screams cultural appropriation at you they are spitting in the face of how hu human culture improves as a whole like how we have built our our cultures uh, plural, through the mutual exchange of ideas. It's the terror. There is a terror in American culture of punching down, right? That, that there must be, uh, that there is justice in the underdogs, uh, like climbing to the top, right? That this idea of the underdog rising up has um, has kind of melded itself with the concept of justice. And together, because the two of them have melded together, we end up with um, people being terrified of stealing from a, a perceived, and I, and I use air quotes here, lesser culture, right? But... That is fucking terrifying think that sh you should never have. You should never think that way. And p if uh, if you do get intrusive thoughts like those, you need to ask yourself why you're thinking them. Because if if a if a quote unquote larger or more dominant culture receives rights from a lesser, from a quote-unquote lesser or smaller culture, that is actually a win for that lesser or smaller culture. Imagine not eating Mexican food. Yes, yes, yes. But people will look at iconography, like again, someone wearing a kimono, and and they'll flip their shit without realizing that that is actually a win for Japanese culture. That is a win for whatever lesser for whatever smaller culture because they they are um, like they an element of their culture has basically is now taking root like planting a seed and it is uh is sprouting in other parts of the world that is a good thing but yeah people are terrified of that and they they want to gatekeep all kinds of behaviors based on really weird um uh, weird thoughts yes you said uh, life is short enjoy whatever culture you want this is true but more importantly when assuming you are not being extremely disrespectful to the culture like you know uh, uh, actively uh, thumbing your nose at the people there going nah nah i stole your shit um Assuming you aren't that way, um, it, it is almost universally a good thing to take from other cultures and, um, you know, and kind of uh, evolve your own way of living and or what you like. 
it's fine. Now, unfortunately, when we start talking about Japanese cartoons, however, that usually means uh, someone has taken uh, what, what is aimed at teenagers and thinking that, that, that's, that's how adults talk. Okay? Right, that, that's a huge problem is uh, people will very often watch a Japanese cartoon aimed at teenagers and think that's how uh, adults conduct themselves. Those people are known as weeaboos, and they are disgusting. All right, need wives? I admit I'm interested in your offer, but I'm not quite interested enough to accept. What if I told you it just works? Uh, need wives. Okay, I might as well try looking around the manor. There certainly aren't any real men around here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm convincing them to go live with my uh, subordinates. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the the need wives. <laughs> mm -hmm. Glorious. <laughs> yes. We we are convincing women to go to our stronghold, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so terrible. Hello there. Nice to see you, friend. Uh, no, no need wives here. She bought into the hype. Yes, we used illusion magic to convince her to go go uh, marry one of my subordinates. <laughs> mm hmm. Nice. That is really really funny. This is unexpected. But come Please on, go one. ahead, Outlanders. Go ahead. I'm listening. Mm hmm Okay, we're gonna go look in some other places. We might also buy some people from the marketplace. Oh boy. That's great that that's a thing. I convinced one person to move to my stronghold. Excellent. Who's next? Uh, we're going to the rat and pot. Let's see if we can get someone at the rat and pot. Hello. May I help you, Outlander? You're uh, not suitable. Get it? Yes. What can I do for you, friend? How do you do? Hello there. Uh, b -b 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 what do you got for barter? Oh, jeez, you sell the pe if the thief's probe spoon. Uh, I I can't. I I can't even. <laughs> the thief's probe spoon. <laughs> <laughs> the lady behind the counter doesn't sell alcohol. She sells Thief's Probe Spoon. <laughs> oh, crap. I need to take a screenshot of that. This is the, uh, yeah. The Thief's Probe Spoon. Got it. Perfect. <laughs> Here I uh I blew up the image so you can see it a little bit better there. <laughs> that's that's perfect. Is that for sounding the lock? I guess. Uh, I I don't I don't know. It's impressive, I'll give it that. Okay. Let's go this way. Speak freely. I will speak freely. I'm Angoth the Jeweler. It's a real pleasure to make your acquaintance. How's it going, Angoth? I need these nothings. I'm just grabbing the contents of that chest. Everyone else here is dead. 
There was a guy over here, and he was selling ash statues, so I had him murdered. Welcome, I'm Angoth the Jeweler. It's a real Speak pleasure to make your acquaintance. Speak I'm freely. Angoth the Jeweler. I have no other purpose other than to be Angoth the Jeweler. Hello there. How are you? Hello there. Hmm, right. Hey, care to talk? You're a welcome break from the locals. Damn, you got a lot of junk here. But you do have bargain potions, which are terrible. Bargain potions are awful. Nobody wants them. I will sell you. I'm going to tell you that it just works. Whoops. That's perfect. Okay, now that you like me enough, I'm going to sell you this dreg club along with some uh, garbage. Yes, you like garbage, don't you, Nord? Uh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, what's this? Underground. There's an underground area here. Hmm. You have my ear. What are the latest rumors, sir? Heard the head of the Thieves Guild's pretty mad about some missing artifacts, really. Share your thoughts, friend. No, I don't think so. I'm not your you friend. You need not be afraid. My anger is reserved for the foolish. For the foolish. Mm. Welcome. Okay. Let's go. You must continue to search for women to marry the men of my settlement. Hello there. Of course. What may I do for you? Mm, yes. You don't... Yeah, you, you wouldn't be willing. Got it. Let's see. Is this the council club? The council club. What do you need, citizen? Uh, not too much, but I'd like to know... Oh, yeah, you sell all kinds of stuff. I would like to buy some wick wheat and... Oh, salt rice. Cool. Please join me. Here we go. We need to tell him that it just works. Perfect. Now he's bond to the hype. Let's buy some scuttle. Uh, don't don't need the scrib jelly. Need scrib jerky. I'll buy the salt rice, the marshmallow. Uh, eggs are fine. Buy some extra food items. The cooked items are good. And this Telvani house wine does gives you weakness to normal weapons, but gives you intelligence. That's actually really cool. That's a great effect. Too bad I won't be getting any of that. I'm going to ask for 80 uh, gold. Uh, yep. Mercantile skill increased. Damn right. Yes, hey. Outlander. How do you do? Please Hello there. join me. Mm -hmm. What does the Dunmer need? The Dunmer doesn't need anything. The Dunmer's looking for uh, women. Impressive. These clothes suit you well. They do. I was wondering who you are. Like, what's that outfit? That's scary. Um, I'm assuming the men would be afraid. This way. Yeah, I don't need those. You this. bring me good fortune, Outlander. How many yes. Safe, I hope. <clears throat> Can't go to either of those rooms, so we're leaving. What else we got? The scar in. Quiet and peaceful. Go ahead. The way we like. Tidings, Dunmer. Tidings. Stay a while and listen. Uh, it looks like she sells all kinds of other good items. Let's see. The porridge I don't care too much for. But uh, those sweet rolls. Oh, boy. Restore health and fatigue. Built into a single sweet roll. Uh, yeah, th those are special. Tell Let's go ahead and tell her it just works. Hold on. We told her it just works. We're taking all her sweet rolls and her eggs. More importantly... These quick wheat muffins aren't that important. Hmm. Nope, that's it. Let's ask for 25. Perfect. Fargoth is wearing uh, oh. glass. It is the strongest light armor in the game that I know about. And how are you? Can I help you? Hello there. I Stay am Hassur Zain Subani. I do not wish to be rude, but I am at leisure and would prefer to be alone with my thoughts. Hey, this guy. Look at his name. That That's impressive. Uh, Satsauni. Uh, yeah. I better lay off the Mazda. 
<laughs> uh, that's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah. Move along, Outlander. Move along. Hello. What do you want of me, Outlander? Uh, well, actually, they need wives at my settlement, so I'm going to tell you that it just works. Yeah, what do you think? Well, if I understand you, you're asking that this... Uh, you're saying this Indaris Manor has a dozen eligible men, and there are only a few women there, and if you want me to move there and find a husband. That's right. Okay, I agree. Just let me take a few... Uh, yeah, care of a few things in town, and I'll go to vi visit Indaris Manor. Awesome. We did it. We convinced a second woman Go to move. I am listening. Yes, this is perfect. The five uh, stars? Hmm. This is a volume of verse collected from wise women of the Urshilaku Ashlanders. It consists of verses composed by Ashlander warriors champions and ashkans committed to memory by the wise women and transmitted down the generations may i shrink to dust is attributed to the long dead poet and warrior zashishi musmanu rise from darkness red mountain spread your dark clouds and green vapors birth earthquakes shatter stones feed the winds with fire flay the tents of the tribes from the land Feed the burned earth with our souls, yet never shall you have your rule over me. Never mm. shall I tremble or flinch from your power. Never shall I yield my home and hearth, and from my tears shall spring forth the flowers of grassland springs. Yes. Outlander, how do you do? Yep. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, yes. Let's see here. Uh huh. I am never too busy for a good talk. There we go. Yep. Okay, next we, we we've got convinced two to travel there. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Right. If you have uh if you're with the twin lamps, you can actually get Khajiits and Argonians to uh um <clears throat> uh, they call it, uh... Yeah, you can get Khajiits and Argonians. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Um... I'm contemplating uh, what else we can do. Uh -huh. Considering. Okay, you can. Apparently, you need four ladies total. We got two. So, yeah. Now let's scar in. Uh, um, hmm. Yeah, so we convinced the two people in Aldrune to move there. Now, let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what we want to do here. I guess uh, dancers in Suron could be convinced to do this. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's 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 get some dancers from Suron to to come on over. It's better than uh, buying 
uh, slaves from the slave market. That that would probably be the worst option. <clears throat> yep. Exactly. We'd have to buy them, which is what we're trying to avoid doing. Yep, yep. Take me to Sauron, you bastard. Let's see. Balmora's close enough, I suppose. Why walk when you can ride? Why walk when you can ride? You are over encumbered due to serious hunger and thirst. I should just be able to drink the rain. Thirst is fine. The serious hunger needs to be resolved by eating the two cooked mushrooms. This is fine. Why walk when you can ride? Yep. Yes, but we're not Romans. We're trying Is to build an enduring settlement. Keep walking. Yep. This guy hates us. Look at that. Oh, 28 now. Let's convince this, yes. <clears throat> Bargoth! Adventuring. Come with me. Follow me. Yes. Things were busted. But Fargoth will give me the armor I need. We're going to trade just armor to this guy. Just armor. This should be good. Dreg. What else? So much armor. That explains everything. Mm hmm. Guess it's better to lock uh, free dancers in a stronghold. Uh, yes. We definitely don't want to purchase anybody. We want people to come here of their own free will. Yes. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> he likes us now. We told him it just works. He bought into the hype. And now we'll just uh, go and fill out the uh, low-grade Amos. Should be fine. Okay, that's getting a bit far. Need to be careful. That's good enough. We're going to ask for the extra uh, 3250 on the deal. Damn right. What do you think about that, sir? He doesn't hate us yet, so this is good. Let's get out of here. We managed to sell a good amount of armor. We still got more armor to sell. Dreg pieces. No big deal. Uh, yep. <clears throat> Next, we'll go talk to the Enchanter. That's an alchemist. Um, the outlander seeks answers. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Actually, I'm gonna buy a bunch of alchemy ingredients. Hello, miss. Oh, come on, leave me alone. What are you talking about? You like trading with me. So, marshmallow, scrib jerky. Where's the bloat? Hmm, wickweed is good. Take the crab. What else? I guess that's it. So, well, there's some restore fatigue. Cool. Now we'll ask for 75. 80. 80 is the magic number. 85? 85. Fine. You, you, you want 90? You get 90. Good. Hello? Mm-hmm. Please, sir, you'll have mercy. Let us go free. Nope. Can you imagine she would immediately, like, turn it, turn toward him, and go, I, I, it, it, the, the, you get the lash. Oh, my God. Like, just imagine, immediately, sir, y'all, oh, please, mercy, let me go. Like, um, mm hmm on the job? I'm listening. In front go of ahead. your captor? Bad things could happen to you. Oh, boy. 
All right, here we go. We told her that it just works. We are going to buy from her this Grandmaster Hammer. Uh, <laughs> ask him if he wants to be a waifu. <laughs> oh, my. Let's see here. <clears throat> Netch leather. That's good stuff. Always buy Netch leather whenever you can. But uh, the rest of this junk is just that junk. Uh, Viper Blade. Rocket Punch. What? Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll sell with what we got, I think. So we will sell to her these pauldrons. And I guess... Yeah, you can't sell the heart wall. It's too expensive. Hmm. One of these. Wait, that's sold. Okay, I see. We're finally getting to the selling part. You betcha. Okay, now we're going to ask her for the rest of her money. Damn right. I wish they used the twin lamps more. Yes. I agree. Um, I mean, it's good enough. Hmm. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Plan outfitter. Well, oh. hello there. A pleasure hello. to meet you. What? The sale of raw glass is strictly prohibited? Um. Do, do, do. TLTR? I don't know what you're talking about. No. Don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, Let's figure out where we're going next. It'd be... Hello. This little guy has 400 golds. Only 400 golds. I will sell to you the silver staff and the orcish mace. And I will demand the rest of your money. Yes, Twin lamps. Stranger. I don't know. <clears throat> that would be interesting. But I assume that the twin lamps are only able to operate due to the Argonian uh, mission running in Ebonheart. The Empire is particularly strong in Ebonheart. I assume old Ebonheart would have to be one of the other places. <clears throat> Let me see. Is there anything else? This oh, there. Oh, well, I'm sure this is important, Council but I really House must go. We're loyal citizens of the mm -hmm. Empire. And we can't help it. Well, Mostly. most of us, anyway. Most of us are, are proud. Some of us aren't. That's fine. Good. We'll ask him for the rest of his money. Perfect. Good. There. Mm. Next. Go ahead, please. Tell when me you need to do yourself. a lot of damage in a hurry, you can't beat a poisoned blade. Try my inexpensive iron spider dagger or an imperial oh, net blade for even more bite. No, not, not, not good enough. Oh, there we go. He bought into the hype. 100 out of 100. When he's 100 out of 100, that means we can exploit him. That is exactly what we need to do. Sell him the drag graves. Boots. Yep, this is good. And now we should be able to just get the rest of his uh, inventory. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Twitch category is retro. Isn't that accurate, though? I mean, it's wrong, but it, 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 it should it is actually accurate. People are uh, sad about that, perhaps, but... Uh... <laughs> Isn't that accurate? Let me see here. Um... Morrowind. Yes. That should do it, maybe, possibly. I have no idea. Morrowind Tribunal Temple, yes. Okay. Um, something like that. Yeah, I was gonna say that, uh... Morrowind is actually kind of retro, ain't it? 
Ooh, tubbies. Okay. We're selling to all these different people. Hello? Ravir buys magic weapons direct from the Telvani. You'll not find any cheaper in all Balmora. I see. Good work, Ravir. Right. <clears throat> Would you pick up Starfield again anytime soon? Uh, I'll be picking up Starfield again in uh, several months when they put out their DLC and they um, they have modding. Th those are those are my two criteria for Starfield. I enjoyed Starfield for 236 hours. Streamed tons of it. It's uh, like the archives are all on my YouTube channel. But um, what do you call it? Um, I'm do I'm thoroughly done with it. I have zero desire to do a new game plus run. However, I am super interested in picking it up again when there are um, what do you call it? When the creation kit has come out and when they have DLC out. A.K.A. more content, right? I'm not interested in replaying the old content, but I'm very interested in playing it again when there's new content. That's it. Yep. I'm going to be doing um, Daggerfall and Baldur's Gate 3, as well as more Pokemon. Those are my... Uh, my coming up soon games for now that'll change in the near future but like right right now like a week from now ish that's what i'm planning on playing anyway books we gotta sell books Ooh, just those two hello there up, 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 up. What else we got? Combat looked fun. Yep. True, true. Okay. So those two books. I'm gonna ask for two hundred on the deal instead of uh, one seventy. Walk Damn right. with virtue, Outlander. <clears throat> Let's see. Looks like Starfield only have a large DLC. Perhaps we'll see. Um, if anything, I'm more interested in what the modding community is going to do to it. It's scary, though, because, like, after uh, after beating Fallout 4, I immediately did a second Fallout 4 run. After beating Skyrim, I immediately did a second Skyrim run. Same thing with Oblivion, Morrowind, Fallout 3, New Vegas, right? Starfield is the only game here where I'm just like, eh, I don't, I, I, I'm done. I'm just just done, you know? Uh, and until they add more anyway. Like it's it's the only Bethesda game where I've just gone, no, I don't feel like it. Sorry. Fallout 76 doesn't count because it's Fallout 76. It's a multiplayer game. It's, it's designed to be a live service, you know. Mhm. Mm yep, yep. We gotta rest for five hours. Okay. There are a lot of other space games. That's the the real problem is, like, if I want to do the um the open world exploration, I got No Man's Sky for that. If I want to do space combat, we got Under Space, Freelancer, um. Elite Dangerous, so on and so forth. I um, <clears throat> was going to say, um, you know, if I want something with a little more uh, extra spacey space, I got um, X4 Foundations to play again. There's, like, is uh, of course, there's so much, so much in the way of uh, space games to do, you know? Let me see here. You couldn't finish Fallout 4 yourself? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I understand that. 
Elite Dangerous looks like it has much better space travel. It does, but at the same time, Elite Dangerous's space travel gets a bit excessive at times. What I mean by that is the space travel like can sometimes take you upwards of 30, 40 minutes to get across like a really big star system. And that's that's a bit much, I think. Um all the other space games I listed can can do in system travel faster than that. Mm. Elite Dangerous sometimes really wastes your time with in in system travel. Let me see here. <clears throat> uh, you do the um, Fallout Four DLC. Uh, Far Harbor is way better than vanilla Fallout Four. If you have the opportunity to play Far Harbor, you should, and you should play it like three or four times to do like all the things. Like uh, you can, there's several different factions to side with, including the Institute. You you can just blow the whole thing up if you want. Just just tell the Institute, have the no, uh, uh, get the Institute to just get rid of all everybody. <laughs> it's, it's great, but but it, yeah, Far Harbor is better than um, like all of Fallout Four, which is sad because the Far Harbor. Uh, the actual guy who wrote Far Harbor and, like, directed it, he's, uh, he quit Bethesda right after Starfield came out. <laughs> so there will be no Far Harbor for Starfield. Ain't happening. The guy's gone. Yep. Okay. Where are we going now? Oh, there. Ajira knows that you are a good friend of Ajira. I need your Daedroth teeth. Um. Palmberries. What else? I guess that's it. Just the Daedroth teeth and Palmberries. Uh, 70. Cool. Yep. How delightful. Welcome. But yeah, the guy who made uh, Far Harbor what it is doesn't work for the company anymore, unfortunately. No getting around this that. This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm buying your gems, thanks. More importantly, uh, I can sell anything to her. Yeah, I can sell absolutely anything to her, and it's fine. So, uh, yep, that'll do. 900. Cool. Let's go. It's like, do you want more duties or not? I said no. So I think we've sold a good amount of stuff. Doesn't matter too much what else we do. I guess there's a Viper Mall we need to get rid of. It's clogging up my inventory at this point. So... Um... It's getting late, too. Debating where, where we go, what we do at this point. Let's go see the alchemist for no other reason than uh, you know, there's a, we can, there's more alchemy ingredients to buy and stuff. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Hello. All right, I'm intrigued. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I liked. Fall at New Vegas a lot, but I know for a fact that Bethesda will never be able to make another New Vegas. No, sorry, sorry. Obsidian will never be able to make another another New Vegas, and Bethesda will never be able to make anything to New Vegas's level. That's what I meant to say. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. Thoughts on test six? Here, hold on. Let me let me pull it up. Should be around here somewhere. There it is. The, this should uh, like people were pissed when I said this about Starfield before Starfield came out, but uh, yeah, no. Perfectly normal stuff, really. I'm not excited.
Okay. But yeah, I said that about Starfield before it came out. <laughs> Maybe it'll go back. Okay, okay. You, you want to hear that speech? So I'm certain now that Starfield has uh, hit so much criticism by so many fans. I think that Bethesda is going to return to its roots. And by its roots, I mean Skyrim. Because that was the game that made the most money, was the most uh, like universally successful. I think that they are going to go back to what was most profitable and most critically acclaimed. Um, people love Skyrim. Yep. <laughs> I'm not saying it's going to take place in uh, in Skyrim, the location. I'm saying they're going to use all the mechanics and stuff. Uh, hold Z to have your character uh, do a little do a little song, and then a big energy sword comes out and does an effect. That's called sword singing, or dragon shouts, or whatever. Who gives a shit? Uh, do you think they'll do a the story of the Thalmor? I think that. Um, they did absolutely no nuance with the Thalmor. They, they are just uh, elf Nazis, and and that is not good. Uh, that is that is not good. Um, here's the thing: people don't realize, Starfield was only as bad as it was because they were experimenting with mechanics that they weren't, um, they hadn't nailed down already. Number one. Um, uh, they, they're not good for a segmented sandbox. They're good for a seamless sandbox. Uh, and number two, Starfield was using world building that wasn't written for them, meaning they had to write for themselves, and that's what they're capable of writing. Thankfully, with the Elder Scrolls, they don't have to lean on sorry they don't have to write world building from scratch they just need to steal world building from the people who've already quit bethesda the people who wrote you know daggerfall uh red guard and morrowind aka the games that basically established the setting they just need to nick bits of lore building from those pocket guides of the empires and now they've got oh look bethesda's gone back to their roots and they have great world building uh, th that's because they steal they steal from the people who don't work for the company anymore. He's peasy. That's it. That that's all they got to do. It, it, that, that that's how they've been. That's how they made Oblivion and Skyrim. Uh, mo mostly. Sorry. Uh, that that's how they made Skyrim. You know. That's it. Yep. You. Uh, uh, yeah. Exactly. Use the ideas from the smartest people who used to be in the room. Correct. 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 Um. Right. Oh, they'll retcon every single entry because they're also drunk with systems. Keep that in mind. Like, Bethesda is drunk with systems. What I mean by that? They come up with a system idea, and they will bend the, uh, They will bend over backwards. They, they, will, they will twist all aspects to make that system fit. They did this with Dragon Shouts. They removed powers, uh, like... like they removed a lot of powers and things and just kind of shoved them into dragon shouts, right? They've, uh, like, they did this with radiant quests in Skyrim. Uh, not Skyrim, sorry, in, uh, in Fallout 4. They, they warped all of the questing and all of the things to, like, work around their radiant questing system. They did this with radiant dialogue in terms of, like, shopkeepers, you know, having, uh, Having a, a uh, what do you call it, a, uh, a daily routine and stuff. Like, a, a, they will always warp their existing gameplay around whatever systems they get in their head that are cool. And unfortunately, this results in, um, uh, like Starfield Scanner and stuff like that being, uh, a little weird, a little, a little overbaked, you know? Or, uh, sorry, undercooked and overbaked at the same time. It's, uh, how can you do that? Uh, it, it's, it's a special skill that they have that we wish we had. 
Okay, what do we got here? Don't restore intelligence. I want to see what we got. Restore magic ooh, nether salts. I assume these are expensive. Almost a thousand, jeez. I'll take those Daedroth teeth, you bet. What else? Restore magic assaults, sure. Mm hmm. Let me see. Is there anything else we want here? Void salts, restore magic goo. Oh, this is getting expensive. Give me those clan fear claws. Got any Daedra hearts for me? I don't think so. I'll take that bloat, fortify intelligence, you bet. Uh, I guess that's it. All right, let's ask for a thousand gold discount. She ain't, she ain't giving me that. Okay, fine. Um, let's try this one. Good. Yep, yep, yep. There's so many examples of it in the game. Yes. In the games. Opa. Yeah, Bethesda gets drunk with systems. And they, um, they so often bend the experience around that system idea instead of, uh, y you know, building a good game <laughs> and, and maybe accepting the fact that sometimes their systems just don't fit every category. Um, it is unfortunate, but uh, an example would be like they want to have truly dynamic quests where NPCs will just say, hey, a new, a new settlement needs your help. I'll mark it on your map, right? And uh, so you go there and say, we've been having some trouble with some gangsters nearby. And then it'll, it'll place a map marker across the other side of the damn game world because it's not nearby at all. In fact, it's on the other end of the game world, but uh, the the dialogue needs to be generic enough that they can uh, just give you the quest, right? And um, it annoys me because in Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall specifically, they will give you a paragraph or even a whole page of text that is a radiant quest. And yeah, there's like one or two things that'll be swapped out, but you, they give you a story, like a full-on story um, in their Radiant Quests in Daggerfall. And it is obnoxious that now it's boiled down to go to Terminal and just see, um, you know, it's like, oh, kill this guy at this location. That's it. It's just kill that guy at that location. That That is the, that is your story. And you can see why that's bad by comparison. Welcome break from the locals. Mm-hmm. Uh, block, sneak, long blade. You can't train me in any of this. You're weak. But you, miss. Missy, missy. Uh, I will sell you clothing. You do not want to buy clothing. Got it. How about you? Where are the Dwemer artifacts Habasi asked you to get? I can't get the Dwemer artifacts yet. I'll get them eventually. Hello, sir. Ah, uh, greetings. What shall we talk about? Nothing. I'm asking this cat for training. Give me sneak. Give me security. Warm day I'm, I'm getting uh, security training. I'm spending some of my money right now. I'm hanging out here for a little bit. Before we go to Sauron. We're spending a day here. Getting security training. Which is good for us. Okay, I think we're good. Yep. You've been awake too long. Good enough. B -b -b I said bring Michael Kirkbride in as a writer. Hello. I mean, like the other Marwin developers referred to Kirkbride's work as Kirkbride's nonsense. Because, like, he, he does good, like, he does good world building. But most of his lore books... Um, aren't a good one-for-one -one translation to a game experience, right? I'm not saying Kirkbride bad. What I'm saying is you need someone with a strong creative direction helming the whole project. And unfortunately, that person is supposed to be Emil Pagliarulo. What we need is a strong creative lead in conjunction 
with writers such as, but not limited to, Michael Kirkbride. There isn't any one person you can bring in to fix this. Like, you need, uh, you need multiple people to fix this. Video games are a collaborative effort. You can't just replace one person with another and expect the whole thing to suddenly start working. Hi, Caius. Apprentice, how can I help you? Uh, I'm going to take a nap on your bed because you told me I could. 24-hour nap. Easy peasy. Yep. What do you want of me, Outlander? Ahem, <clears throat> so... It's almost 5 a.m. We should be good to go. We're going to have a sip of water and a, dr and a bite of food. Actually got uh, three bites. Uh, yeah, two, two of these. Two of these. Yeah, Caius is cool. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you know, it's funny because... As I mentioned, there's not a strong creative direction. I said that earlier. And the pro like that wasn't too much of a problem earlier. The lack of a strong creative direction didn't matter a whole lot. Back when it was just um like a hundred man team in one office where they could, you know, they could meet each other frequently. But now that Starfield is a thousand man team across like many different sub studios in different locations all of a sudden that lack of a strong creative vision bit them in the ass hard and they ended up making a product that wasn't very cohesive with a bunch of what i refer to as uh, orphaned systems where these systems don't meaningfully connect to one another i believe uh uh, Josh Strife Hayes uh, referred to that that as parasitic design, although not all orphan systems are by their nature parasitic. Very often, orphan systems are born from um, abandoned uh, or partially abandoned decision making and things of that nature. Like they're. they're there are a lot of issues that give birth to orphan systems that aren't just parasitic design. <laughs> you said Power World was made by eight people. I thought it was 12, but yeah. Uh, let's see here. We're going this way. Hmm. I'm going to cast Most Innovative. That's our Stamina Restore spell. We need to head up. Yeah, we need to head down to Saron. Saron, Saron. Good. What's in the leaves? Nothing. We're heading to Saron early in the morning. It's 526 in the morning. Very dark. The sun hasn't come up yet. Be cool if the sun came up at different times and different seasons. That would be really neat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Skyrim's design focused to have dragons in it? No. Skyrim had various design focus uh but in terms of story everyone agreed that skyrim was a game about dragons which is very silly um anyway um was gonna say though the original storyline for skyrim was uh yoriel septum the fifth the one who was supposed to have died in akavir uh, returns to Tamriel as an undead emperor with an army of dragons uh, at, at his back, uh, like, determined to conquer Tamriel for the Septums. 
and you're supposed to stop him. That was going to be the original story for Skyrim. Before, like, that was the original pitch that um, got transformed into Alduin eventually. You see, that they, they didn't have the whole Civil War idea. Originally, it was going to be you were, um, like, you were helping the Nords and, you know, uh, Imperials, uh, current Imperials resist the, uh, the Third Empire, um, you know, like, Imperial Dragon Assault. Yep. That was going to be the original, he said... Uh, Game of Thrones White Walker. So, uh, there wasn't exactly a dragon cult at the time. So, what was going to happen is the Draugr were cannibals who, um, what do you call it? Who pissed off the Allmaker and were cursed. You know, like Wendigos kind of deal. Uh, that was the original, uh,. That was the original Draugr. Now you're going to get it. But the Draugr weren't all over Skyrim. They were a Solstheim thing, right? Like, Skyrim got kind of transformed. Now we have dragon cults everywhere. It would be great if the dragon cult weren't just omnipresent evil uh, zombies, but rather people who infiltrated the um what do you call it the um like the actual courts of course i they'd have to have real royal courts and not just one dude sitting next to uh a throne right you'd have to have actual royal courts for that to make sense instead of just one dude in a house i'm i'm the the steward to the, the Yarl. There's your royal court. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wild Betty Netch. Give me your Netch leather. Netch leather's mine. Good. I'm not saying the original pitch for Skyrim was great, but I am saying it's much better than what we got. That is a condemnation of what we got, not an exultation of what we could have got. Uh, sorry, of what it, it, the original pitch was. Yes. All right. Elder rat. It's rat time. Now you're going to get it. I didn't need to go this way. I got distracted on the way to Suron. Freaking 6 a.m. We got to go back the other way. My bad. I have to go this way around the lake. We're going. We're gonna get there. Yep. You think Merak should have had a bigger role in the main quest? I'd say Alduin, the World Eater, should have uh, shouldn't have been there, and we should have looked at Alicia as the first Dragonborn and said like, "Okay, well, who were Alicia's heirs, and how do we tie in the drag? Like, uh, uh, like let's assume we drop the Dragonborn entirely for a second. Uh, how would we, um, oh, like, what kind of ancient, uh, Nord, um, like, what, what kind of ancient Nord villains could we have from Nordic mythology, right? You know, uh, how, how would Merak, uh, if, assuming Merak weren't Dragonborn and we ditched the whole Dragonborn shenanigans and we focused just on the Nord culture themselves, threw, threw all the dragon shit out, right? Okay, so... Um, focusing on, uh, Shalador, for example, like, we, we have Shalador's maze in Labyrinthian, right? I mean, there's all kinds of shit you can do with, um, 
what do you call it? Kine. Yeah. Um, Kine Orkery. Uh, what do you call it? Um, Okri, it wouldn't be Odin, though. But, um, you said, um, that would mean lore and canon mattered and not a dragon break? Lol. But no, no, no. Like, how could, like, what kind of role would Mirak have in actual Nordic mythology pre dragon, pre dragon rewrite? Let's put it like that. When the voice was something that men learned through the grace of kine and not just dragon words, right? The, the shouts that could uh, rewrite reality. Like, who could, who could Mirak be? And maybe he would be dragon blooded. You, you know, in, in a similar way to how Alicia was dragon blooded. Maybe he could have, ma ma you know, because remember, Alduin was in the pantheon of gods. Uh, he, he was the Akatosh for the Nordic people, right? Except instead of, um, you know, praying to the god of time, you, you prayed that Alduin would. Uh, would leave you be, you know, that that you oh, you would be spared um, Alduin's wrath, so on and so forth, you know, bad gods and all that. Like, it's uh, interesting there. Now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. point is that uh, there was shit tons to the Nordic people before they decided to inject a shit ton of dragon uh, bullshit into it in Skyrim. And they, they used none of it almost. There's a dude in um, uh, near, it's not near Riften, but it's like between, it's near Helgen, kind of. There's a dude who talks about like the ancient Nordic pantheon. And it wasn't very ancient as of... Uh, you know, as of um, Oblivion, right? Even, like, that's how far, like, you don't have a culture worship one set of gods for thousands of years and then forget about them in 200. That's fucking dumb. They're, like, the Civil War should have been about their religion. And, it, you know, my titalos... I understand that, but it should have been about the bigger religion. The one that that guy says, oh, they don't worship the old religion like I do. You know, that, that one dude near Helgen in his little shack. Which proves they didn't forget about the old religion. They just decided not to use it. Which is insane. That that is a, an, act, an active creative choice. Not out of uh, ignorance, but because they just didn't want to. Like, that's the, the crazy part. Like, modern Bethesda actively decided that. You said it happened to the Egyptians and Romans pretty quick? Rome had an interesting, very interesting history about that. Hmm... Let me see. But, um... It's... How do I put this? I feel like the developers were more comfortable with recycling the same thing they had in Cyrodiil. Because, at the end of the day, what Skyrim is... Keep in mind, I, I love playing Skyrim. Skyrim's a great video game. But its story is stupid. What I feel, what they've done, is they've taken Bruma from Oblivion and stretched it over the entirety of the Skyrim uh, landmass. That's what I feel like they've done. And I think it's kind of bad. From a gameplay perspective, though, I have a lot of fun with Skyrim. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's uh, Dragon Shadow. That's where um, the Imperial City, the lore for the Imperial City pre-Oblivion, had um, 
had the Imperial City as the uh, uh, the biggest metropolis on the continent, being the um, City of a Thousand Cults. That was one of the names that the Imperial City had, because it had all these different cult cults of uh, different religions, right? Such as uh, Shazar, for example. One of the gods, uh, one of the alternative, sorry, the imperial alternatives of Shore or Lorcan, right? And uh, the the uh, the religions that venerated Shazar actually said that the nine divines were basically saints, and uh, and not really, you know, gods. Like Shazar was the one true god of humanity, and. Uh, the War of Righteousness is what decided the fact that that religion was not dominant. We'd, ba we'd basically have Christianity holding up St. Alicia as our Jesus Christ figure if the War of Righteousness had uh, not failed. Yep. Do -do -do. Wayward Realms has absolutely no bearing on the Elder Scrolls. It is a 100% uh, different setting. I mean, it's it's also inspired by Elder Scrolls 2. And not... Um, like, it, you're thinking... Uh, like, most of the lore you're thinking of would come from... Um, most of the lore you're thinking of would come from... What do you call it? Um... The Elder Scrolls Adventures Red Guard Pocket Guide to the Empire. Yes. The Michael Kirkbride wrote it, and it um, it got put into uh, like an attachment to Elder Scrolls Adventures Red Guard. Yep. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the world Ted Peterson's creating is completely, totally different to that of Tamriel. I mean, not not even like uh, nowhere near comparable at all. I think it's a good thing because I don't need copy pasta. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It is not just legally distinct, it is entirely a different creative uh, matter. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go to this island. And assuming we aren't. Oh no, we gotta fight somebody here. You're in my way. I'm now gonna get it. This guy's healing himself. Hey, Dad. That was a high elf, oh, sorry, a wood elf witch hunter with sapphire and four master hammers. Those are great. Looks like none of this is respawned, so just a bad guy. Salt rice! Salt rice is great. We need more salt rice. Marshmallow, not so much. Like, marshmallow is okay. But, um, yeah. Marshmallow, we got plenty of. Salt rice we need more of. We're heading to Suran. It should be up and around. Yep, yep. Mm hmm Um uh, Let's go. But yeah. Hold on a second. Okay. So, yeah, unfortunately, Rome also had a tendency to deify its, uh, uh, its emperor's late in, uh, late in the empire's, uh, lifespan, unfortunately. 
And so, uh, that, that's why, um, what's his name? Um, I've tried to hit the butterfly, but I can't, I, it's, it's too high up. I can't reach it. Um, what do you call it? Um, that's why Ted Peterson, oops, was it Ted Peterson? Uh, sorry, that, that's why Ken Rolston, not wrong name there. Um, that's why Ken Rolston kind of pushed to make, uh, Tiber Septum one of the gods. And, but he was, it's important to understand the Imperial cult wasn't supposed to be like a unified religion. It was supposed to be a bunch of smaller religions bound, band together to proselytize to the Dunmer because none of the individual churches had their own, um, had enough power to convince the Dunmer to, um, uh, whoops, hold on. Yeah, n none of them had enough, uh, power to convince the Dunmer to, uh, convert. Damn, look at this guy running backwards. Damn, that was insane. Argonian Raiders. I'll take all your stuff, Argonian Raider. Do items inside buildings respawn? I don't believe they do, but, um... I know for a fact that there are some, um, some containers like kelp, uh, not kelp, but, um, like kelops that, that respawn. Um, but no, I, I don't think dungeons just reset, if that's what you're wondering. I think the overworld has respawning resources and the dungeons have very limited resources. Which is the opposite of how one would think gameplay should work, but is precisely how um, uh, Fallout 3 works. Nothing inside Fallout 3 responds, basically. None of its containers and stuff. All right. Harpy. He's behind the tree. You can't escape me. Yep. Go, go, Fargoth. He's using a Daikatana. I guess it just does more damage. Crazy. Mm hmm. What skills? You mean 107 speed and fast agility? Yes. Our speed is going to keep going up, too. Your speed stat governs your speed. Mm-hmm. Go fast. Let's go. I know it's crazy to think that speed stat should govern speed. What do we got here? Hmm. Did the tribunal truly die? Um, yes. That's the point of Morrowind. Amalexia and Sothisil are canonically dead. What happened to Vivek is a mystery. That's it. They were... Vivek had already uh, gone through the process of making... Like, ensuring that they would be revered as saints and not gods uh, by the end of the game. Assuming you didn't kill him. Mm-hmm. My agility's damaged. I gotta fix it. Okay. We gotta go to restore agility. Oh, it doesn't exist for me. Wow. Mm hmm. They do not answer prayers. They're dead! 
But, um... Oh, like, the Saints are dead, too, so... We don't know. I mean, everyone who's a uh, big own is that they go, Well, Talos is real because you can pray to him. Um, the magic's in the altars. There, there's no question about that. You can pray to saints and, n like, non-gods and uh, still get blessings. People, the, the magic's either in the altar or you pray to it. Or, or it's in your prayers. One of the two. But it's it doesn't you don't you don't have to necessarily pray to a god when a bunch of lesser saints and other people who get give you blessings as well. So um, everyone who's told you, well, you can pray to Talos and you get a blessing, therefore he is a god. Uh, that that doesn't mean anything. Yep. Okay. You can play to you can pray to lesser saints, people who are never gods in the first place, you heroes, run. and get blessings from them. Yep. Oh, this is Tamriel's a place where either faith defines reality, uh, or if you want to be uh, super grounded down to earth, then the altars themselves have magic that blesses you. Yep, one of the two. Did Talos help you in Oblivion? Uh, Paneo White Strike helps you in Oblivion. Um, if you're looking for a Talos... Um, if you're looking for a Talos, you're thinking of Morrowind's main quest. Where an avatar of Tiber Septum gives you Luck of the Emperor. A, a power you can use once a day. Yep. Hello, sir. How you doing? I have seen the error of my way. Your wisdom has guided me through this most disturbing time. Yeah, this guy thought he was Lord Narivar. I convinced him he was wrong. Yep. Let's go to the House of Earthly Delights! This is a perfectly normal place. She's not hard. To Runa's hear. a real gem, ain't she? She is a real gem, you're right. Are you dancing? <laughs> Dr. Helvain, is you're looking for work? Yeah, only two of them are dancing. She's not hard to look at. She isn't hard to look, no. I see. Everyone's a top. Welcome to my house, friend. Make yourself at home. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, yep, yep. The uh, need wives option, so we have to convince her using persuasion. Let's go ahead and tell her that it just works. Yeah, I noticed that uh, she too wears the skimpy tops. Kind of funny. All right. Doo -doo. My favorite house is Telvani, but I'm specifically playing a faith, a uh, tribunal temple worshiping zealot, and therefore. Only Redoran will do. Hmm. The best thing about Talvani is... Uh, the, sorry, the best way to explain Talvani is... I don't care who the Census and Excise Office sends. I am not paying taxes. That's the best way to uh, e explain Talvani. Yes. House address uh, will be playable in Morrowind uh, Rebirth. Uh, sorry, in Tamriel Rebuilt eventually. Oh, Moon Sugar, I'll take that. What else? Scuttle, Scrib Jerky, Salt Rice. This is all good stuff. Uh, let's see, Restore Fatigue. Hmm. Anything else here? Fortify Fatigue, don't care about that. I'll take those Ashiams. Fortify strength is good stuff. Anything else we need to focus on? I'd say the answer is no. Uh, but I was hoping for some other things. Let's ask for 80. Perfect. Mercantile skill went up. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good, very good. Mm-hmm. 
Elder Scrolls Legends? No, I, I don't play uh, card games for the most part. I played Magic the Gathering back in the day, but I'm uh, fairly uh, unimpressed with what I saw in Elder Scrolls Legends, how they butchered the, um, what is it called, Emperor Titus Mead and stuff like that. It was just like, oh, we created an original character who takes, uh, who Titus Mead takes credit for all his stuff. That's terrible, actually. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, all I had to see was the opening story for Legends, and I was like, I'm done. Um, let me see. What else we got? Yeah, Enderil's cool. There's a lot of Enderil content in, uh, uh, Tamriel Rebuilt, if you're interested in that. Yeah. You can't join them yet, but there is a lot of Enderil content in the game already in uh, Tamriel Rebuilt. Let me see here. What else we got? Okay. Still looking. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Hmm. But does that mean Tiber Septim became a god? Uh, Tiber Septim is canonically a god as as it was deified as of uh, Morrowind. Yes, Morrowind is the game that did that. All right. Tamriel Rebuilt is released in chunks. There is going to be, to my knowledge, no main quest unifying all the chunks. The chunks are to be played individually. In other words. Uh, you're not missing out on anything by playing it early because you play as many chunks as are out and then you uh, wait until the next chunk is released, so on and so forth. There's already more content than uh, Morrowind in Tamriel Rebuilt, so... It's not feasible to play all of it in one playthrough unless you're crazy and spend gigantic amounts of time like me. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right. Still looking at nonsense. Yeah, I think we're good. Nope. Mm-hmm. Said Sothasil uh, made a mechanical heart of Lorcan. That's fucking funny. Mm hmm. That that is hilarious. I mean, if like uh, the Sothasil speech is actually pretty good in Elder Scrolls Online. Yep. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, tell her need wives. I'm sorry, but you have the wrong impression. My girls are dancers and nothing more. Not for me. I need women to go to the Andaris Manor. That's an interesting offer. I will ask my girls. Perhaps some of the older ones are ready to settle down somewhere. I will ask them. That's all I can promise. Bam. There we go. Two of her older girls. That's it. So we, we did it. Yes. Well, you can tell that Sothasil and ESO was... Uh, Heavily borrowed from Paul Atreides from Children of Dune. As far as um, the direction they took his character. Not the original Dune, but Children of Dune specifically. Anyway. We got one of these guys to fight. He's coming. We're going to clunk him hard. That guy was a coward. The Swamp Impling was defeated. We're moving on. We gotta get back up to... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, our stronghold. This should be fine. Mm -hmm. You'd think the dwarves would have already been trying to make an artificial heart based on the one in Red Mountain. Yeah, I, I don't know. But the dwarves didn't have access to 
the things Sothasil did toward the end of his lifespan. Of course, he'd already given up on regaining his powers. Uh, like, he was ready to die this is going by to the time... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, by the time uh, you got to him in Morrowind. Oh, no. Wars! One of us will die yep. here, and it won't be me. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> a stellar. That, that that's a that that is uh, comical. There. Oh boy. Yeah. I, I. When whenever we bring up Emil, I think it's important to understand that misinformation goes around a lot about people, okay? And, uh... I, I think this is a good place to, to discuss this really quick. So, um... So, there was a guy who was hired by Elder Scrolls Online to do writing. And he also kind of took the role of a a pseudo community manager. He was referred to as the the quote unquote lore master. Now, uh, marketing would spin his job off, uh, would basically say, "Oh, uh, he's going to make the the lore consistent." But that's not that wasn't his job. His job was to write when the de developers asked him to write. You know, if they needed a lore book written, he'd write a lore book. If they needed some dialogue written. He'd write some dialogue, but for the most part, the quest designers of ESO wrote their quests, independent of whatever he was writing. So the lore master position did not check the quest designers to see if their you know lore was accurate or anything like that. That didn't matter to ESO's developers at all. Like um, it turned out, they were very separate jobs. It was like a lot of lore books were written by the quote unquote lore master. That was that was his job. So, um, what ended up happening is because ESO's writing in its quests was so bad, I ended up kind of making fun of this guy a lot and giving him a lot of shit. And I want to apologize for that. I want to, I'm going to make sure like this gets through to enough people, right? This guy is a mountain of a man and he worked on like the original Dungeon Master's Guide for AD&D deities and demigods for AD&D &D. so like you know the forgotten realms you you know you there's a, there's gods in the forgotten realms he helped m write them that's the crazy part so he did tons of stuff right and after elder scrolls online he was the main narrative designer for Baldur's Gate 3 he he wrote Baldur's Gate 3's narrative what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is that Elder Scrolls Online was grossly misusing this guy's talents. This is a mountain of a man who has done good shit. Elder Scroll Baldur's Gate 3. He wrote it. Okay. In other words, what I'm trying to say is um unlike Emil Pagliarulo, I Oh, Lawrence Schick, a thousand apologies. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Europe. All right. So, let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. That's what I'm saying is Lawrence Chick was just stuck in a terrible job. It, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he, he didn't write all of Baldur's Gate 3. He wrote, uh, he was the principal narrative designer. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You love how he calls the guy a mountain of a man? Well, it's true. I mean, look at the shit he's done. 
he has a body of work that eclipses, like in terms of cultural impact, eclipses anything I will ever do. Yep. All right, here we go. Up, up, up. Yeah. No, it's just funny because a lot of people were calling on me to apologize to ML Pagliarulo for the mean things I said about him. And uh, at present, I apologize for nothing. If I actually sat down into a uh, sat down in a room with him, one on one, I I might uh, we might find common ground. But uh, at present, Emil doesn't take in any external um, any YouTube videos or streaming content about himself. He he, he doesn't he is completely disconnected from the process. So I have harmed him zero percent. Whereas I feel horrible about um about Lawrence Schick because I really tore into him for a couple years there. You know what I mean? And uh it turns out I was genuinely mistaken. The man is super talented and uh deserves a lot more respect than I gave him. Yep. So I, I like to take I like to take the uh, the time whenever uh, Lauren uh, sorry when Emil Pagliarulo comes up to point to a better person who actually does deserve an apology and you know like give him his due. Okay. Oof. There we go. Harpy! Harpy blood! Good, good, good. Emil isn't important. Lawrence Schick is. <laughs> All right. What do you mean? He he made the games a lot of money. He made a lot, he made a lot of money. Yep. Can you say something nice about Michael Kirkbride? If Michael Kirkbride made a game with his insane lore that wasn't Elder Scrolls, it was just like it was just the insane shit he came up with in Coda and in um, uh, his his stuff there. Uh, like if if he came up with um, like uh, you, like you know all, all the all the the. the the Mananauts and all that stuff, he, but he made it legally distinct in his own universe. I would buy that shit in a heartbeat just because it had his name on it. Um, but alas, that is not not the world we live in. The world we live in is uh, ahem. The world we live in is. Immortals of Avarum. Does anyone know what this game is? I mean, The Walking Dead final season, people know about that. Batman the Enemy Within, people know about that. Minecraft Story Mode, people know about that. But what what the hell is Immortals of Avarum? I never heard of it, right? And so that is the current state of Kirkbride. Is never heard of it, man. <laughs> like Mm. So, yeah. You said EA slop? Yes, yes. Okay. Did you ever see any of his live streams? Uh, you mean like the Selective's Lorecast thing? I've seen that a few of those episodes. They're bombastic. And they ping pong back and forth with a lot of speculation about things that don't really matter. But a um, couple episodes were interesting. That is an example. Oh, he said he. Uh... 
he did his own uh, live streams years ago okay I don't I don't know anything about that then I've seen him be on a get like a guest on the, the lore cast thing a few times like that's it that's all I know about Do, didn't he like paint 40k minis or something <laughs> that, that, that's what people told me he did after uh, he stopped doing uh, Bethesda lore which Makes a lot of sense. I mean, why would you invest so much of yourself into uh, uh, shit that Bethesda isn't even going to use? Like, he did all kinds of stuff about the, the Nordic totemic religion leading up to Skyrim, and they used none of it. They uh, they got his mighty, uh, sorry, his, uh, his many-headed Talos. I'm, I'm unbuttoning the top of my shirt, by the way. Uh, but uh, they, they took his uh, many-headed Talos... And they did nothing, like, they, they, they made it into Heimisker's speech. And that's it. And Heimisker, like, his name literally means idiot. Like, that that's that's all they, they did, yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense that he kind of just gave up. Like, all the stuff that he did about the totemic religion was just kind of thrown away. He suggested the White Gold Concordate at one point. Yes. One of us will die. A long time ago. It won't be me. But he did a lot of things leading up to Skyrim, which weren't just, um... Which weren't just old stuff he mentioned offhand, right? He... Like, there, there's a lot of uh, really cool things relating to the Nordic totemic religion that they just didn't use at all. They, they just, they elected to give the Imperials the Nine Divines. And that's it. Uh, sorry, the, the, not the Imperials, the, yeah, the Nords. They elected to give the Nords the, the Imperials Nine Divines instead of their own religion, which he worked on a shit ton of. Whoa! I'm defeated. I'm defeated. You hear that? Now you're going to get it. You will die in disgrace. <laughs> oh, this is too easy. Oh no! I pissed off Fargoth. It's too late for me. It's too late for me. I pissed off Fargoth. I have to reload. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't dislike Kirkbride's writing. I just feel like a lot of people uh, tend to gravitate toward crazy parts of it that don't, um, that don't really fit within the high fantasy aesthetic of the Elder Scrolls. And would better be served in a different intellectual property. And so all the like batshit crazy stuff that people latch on to. Like his ninth era stuff. Um, I think that would be good. Like very, very, very good. As a... Um, as its own independent work. You know. Different intellectual property. Give him the freedom to just go ham. Unfortunately, instead we have whatever the hell Immortals of Avarim is. And some Telltale games. So, you know. Unfortunate. That's the world we live in. Embrace your demise. Now I, I, my, my demise is being embraced. Damn. Your suffering will be great. Yeah, that high elf is an enforcer. What the hell is a high elf enforcer? He has some journeyman hammers. I'll take those. Vargoth, I must trade with you. My, uh... I have too much stuff. I have to get back to my fortress now. My fortress... 
But I guess we'll head to Caldera on the way there. We'll see what we can grab. Nibby nabby. Keep forgetting Microsoft owns them now. Um, God, Microsoft is um. Microsoft is evil corp at this point. Like, they they're devouring everything. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Um, I um. I think that companies that get absorbed by Microsoft typically make one or two really good things before they um before they get consumed before they get haloed uh, let's use the word haloed so yeah the real issue is that starfield didn't get the opportunity to be that great thing you know and uh companies only get one or two uh e e like questionable eggs a and not golden eggs before they get haloed yes Mm-hmm. Gotta kill these guys. Batcher. I'm getting uh, slapped pretty hard, but this, this is good. Is going to be fun. Raising oh, my block this skill. Is too easy. This is too easy. Getting a good amount of scales off these guys, at least. Mm-hmm. Yep, you said Halo Infinite has uh, already hit end of life, supposed to carry it for 10 years. Was I mean, come on now. Once Anthem made the 10-year the plan meme, I think we all collectively agreed to not listen to 10-year plans from that point on, right? Like, as, as soon as Anthem gave us their 10-year plan, we all collectively knew... Ten-year plan is bullshit. Or do we forget so soon? See, I understand live services like, say, Path of Exile or Warframe. I really do. And I accept the fact that anything I buy in those games is going away eventually. I've, I came to terms with that before I ever made a single purchase. Like, the fact that one day, anything I purchased in those games is gone. And that's fine for me. But there are people out there who don't realize that one day, that $100 pack they just purchased is going to be taken from them along with the servers. But I, I made my peace with that before ever making my first purchase in those games. Yes. Mm-hmm. What happens to your things when you permanently take a nap? Oh, 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 oh. Every single one of the cheap plastic pieces of crap that I've got here. Let me, let me show it for dramatic effect every single one of these cheap pl plastic pieces of crap i got is going to get thrown away or sold no question about it ulfric storm quack will probably be melted down or thrown thrown in a ditch somewhere so uh, feel feel bad about ulfric storm quack here um these these funko pops four of which i bought are all worthless. They have no value whatsoever. Okay? None of this means anything when I die. It's all going away. <clears throat> we'll melt it down and make Oricon ducats. Mm, yes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All freak is for the birds, yes. But at least I got my tamamos. At, at least I got my tamamos. Just saying. Yep. 
Yeah, your torrents will be <laughs> seated long after you're gone. That's funny. All right, let's see. Uh, coffee mugs? Yes. Mm hmm. My goodness. But, uh, seriously. As games go on sale, you're replacing your Steam games? Uh, corporations have no problem breaking your old games. It's true. It's absolutely true. Absolutely true. Really, digital goods can be taken away without your consent. It's true. It's hard to do that with physical products. This is true. Uh, the, a big issue, though, with um, with digital products, uh, like in general, is that they are very like people can be malicious about them. Like Warcraft Three, for example, got turned into um, what do you call it? Um, uh, Warcraft Two got turned into um, now Warcraft sorry Three. Warcraft Three got ruined by um, by Warcraft Three Reforged. And what I mean by that is when they took Warcraft Three and and made Reforged, they didn't just add a new product. When you up when you uh, logged into Battle.net on your classic Warcraft Three client. It forcibly updated your game into the Reforged client with an advertisement built in, upgrade to Reforged today to get access to the better features. This ruined a lot of features of the classic Warcraft 3 client, and they never got added, never got fixed years later. It is objectively superior to crack your Warcraft 3 and log into a a um, a private server version of Battle.net that runs the old version. Seriously, it's true. Uh, Gog has classically operated at around a nine thousand dollar profit, somewhere between nine and twelve thousand dollars. It's awful in that regard. Yes. Let me see here. Ba, 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 ba. You'll never get another thing of Blizzard. I am currently... I mean, it's very easy to boycott Blizzard when Blizzard provides no value to me as an individual, right? But um, I'm at present not going to purchase anything new Warcraft. I've got uh, Final Fantasy XIV content for that. Uh, let, me, let me see here. Hold on. Okay, uh, so let me let me pull this up. Uh, I think it was okay. So if we uh, pull up my thing here, uh, it was uh that right there, yeah. Okay. Here's an example of a post I placed on a Blue Sky. It said, ahem. Final Fantasy XIV's new event emote was made just for my degenerate tendencies. Very good. So, when I have this game, uh, I definitely don't need World of Warcraft. Thank you very much. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Ahem. <clears throat> what was I saying? Uh... But let's see what else we got. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. Uh, so there are a few user-run projects that target Reforged, like Reforged, yes. He said Reforged uh, is the only way to play multiplayer. No, it's not. There are private Battle.net services. You can straight up play uh, Warcraft 3 Classic. Unless the unless those uh, servers went down, those private battle nets. Um. My goodness. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> nice. I enjoyed World of Warcraft from um. From Warcraft One. Uh, sorry, uh, for, uh, yeah. I was gonna say I enjoyed World of Warcraft from the closed beta all the way up until um, how would you call it? Um, all the way up until Battle for Azeroth, 
and then I was going to uh I was gonna quit until the next expansion. I was I was I was a presumptive purchaser of uh of World of Warcraft's next expansion. I was gonna buy next expansion. Was gonna do it. And then they they did their BlizzCon and they actually unsold me on the product. I went from a presumptive purchaser to I'm never playing World of Warcraft again in one BlizzCon without ever purchasing Shadowlands. I knew I would never play WoW again. Uh, what was it? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let, me, let me see here. Um, so, the best way to explain that is to go like that. Uh, custom. Times two. Okay. So, uh, we we got uh we we got nice uh we we got the Shadowlands trailer where Sylvanas walks up uh to the Lich King, and uh, as you can see, she uses her magic to chain down the Lich King. And then she pulls his helmet off, and she breaks it, and the sky b opens up to the Shadowlands. And then they told us, we are going to the afterlife. And that's when I knew I was never playing World of Warcraft again. Yep. They shat all over uh, Frozen Throne and everything that I liked about Warcraft 3's, you know, kind of ending. And by extension, the, uh, you know, the, what do you call it, Wrath of the Lich King ending. They uh, they dug it up, they shat all over it, and then they said, we're going to the afterlife. And I'm like, that is, de demystification of concepts is something I've been talking about. Like, how you can utterly ruin stuff. Sylvanas is now Shadow Kerrigan? Oh, no, 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 no. You see, uh, Modern Blizzard has this problem where they make a female character go crazy. And then afterward, they, they magically cure them of that craziness and say, it wasn't their fault. They're absolved of all the bad things they did when they were crazy. And they did that with, uh, with, with uh, what do you call it, Sylvanas. They, they made her evil for a while, and then they they absolved her of all her sins and made her a good person. Yes. That's that's a modern blizzardism. All right. Okay. That away. Anyway, let's say ba, 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 checking up more things. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. I just read something I can't repeat. But it's fucking hilarious. The internet always delivers in lulls. Horribly, horribly offensive lulls. Okay. Um, let's get going. We are gonna go... Um, we are gonna go over to a clothing shop. And sell all the clothing we got. Then we're gonna get out of here. We have too much stuff. The stuff must be purged. By fire, be purged. Mm -hmm. How may I help you, Dunmer? Fargoth, get over here. Good. All right, Fargoth, I need from you any uh, clothing items. You have no clothing items. Got it. Okay, fair enough. We just tell her that it just works. That way she buys into the hype. And after she does that, we can defraud her. Good. Now she, now she's a hundred out of a hundred. She's bought into the hype. She will buy things for a higher value than she'd normally pay. 
There you go. Sickness must be purged. Filthy rats. You disgust me. Yes, I, I, yeah, it's true. It's true. I think we got almost everything. No, not even close. That's better. All right, let's ask that she pay all her money. Damn right. That's when she starts to hate me more. Uh, we are thirsty now. We've talked to the nice lady. We are going to eat the meat and drink the water. Good. We are done. We are traveling far away. Mm -hmm. Who is your favorite villain? And why is it Emmett Selk? Nice. Emmett Selk is fun. Absolutely. Honestly, though, I've never heard an MMO villain uh, say... Uh, moral relativism and all that. I don't consider you to be truly alive. Ergo, I would not be uh, responsible for murder if I were to kill you. That that is like I've never I've never heard writing that good in an MMO. That's for sure. All right. Ahem. That said, Endwalker is not as kind, unfortunately. Hopefully, Dawn Trail will be better written. We'll see. I uh. I liked the game I played. It's not perfect. It's very flawed. Very, very flawed. But uh, I will tell you this. The Sorrow of Whirlet quest line has more artistic value in it than the rest of Final Fantasy XIV put together. And he is writing Dawn Trail. That's why I have hope. We can always hope. All right. Let's go this way. <clears throat> Asan shop. Good. Yeah, 14 is, is as flawed as it is fun. But as long as it keeps being fun, you're going to get I'll put up with the flaws. That's for sure. There are people who were hinging on Endwalker deliver delivering them a, a, um, a truly satisfying conclusion to the stuff that had uh, built up this entire time. And unfortunately, um, that didn't happen. It... Um, it was very much a, a good, self-enclosed story. But uh, you could see how it was rushed to wrap everything up really quickly. All right, let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. My issue is, and I would have spent a hell of a lot more sub money on the game this last year. If it had its own Baja or Eureka. But it didn't. And so, uh, alas. Um, I like, I ended up uh, being subscribed only for the patch months, you know? Whatever month the patches went live. And not um, all the time. Okay. You got a slave island instead. Uh, now, that island, I admit, that got me for about a week. But it definitely wasn't a Baja, yes. That, definitely not. I mean, it's a nice place to be able to cue uh, your roulettes from. I'll say that much. 
Let's see if I, I get uh, murdered here. That's pretty impressive. Okay. We're getting out of here. We got back to the stronghold. Yep. That was the strangest book I've ever read. Yes. Strangest book I've ever read. Darkstone Manor. This is where we live. Hey, Fargoth. Let's see about getting our alchemy ingredients. We're going to drop our alchemy ingredients in a pile right here. Yeah. What do you mean in Final Fantasy XIV? Red Mage. I, uh, I absolutely love Red Mage. That said, I played every class to uh, max. So I understand them all. Even if I... Uh, here you go. Here's uh, here's my completely not degenerate Final Fantasy XIV information there. Yes. You can see that there. Perfectly normal. Yes. No, no issues. Not even a bit. Yep. Ahem. Anyway. Of course Blue Mage is more fun. Once upon a time I refused to level Black Mage? Yes. I refused to level Black Mage at the beginning of the game. Got Black Mage. And... Oh, jeez. Was it Ninja? Maybe maybe it was Black Mage and Ninja that I, uh, I finished... Uh, people were asking me about my wife. Uh, this is what she... Uh, she plays Makote as well. You can see right there. These are our two characters. Perfectly normal. And nothing out of the ordinary there. Yep. Okay. Ninja Machinist to Red Mage. Um, I uh, went from... I went from Bard to Red Mage to more Red Mage. But I, I did I did enjoy uh Paladin and um Paladin and pa Paladin and White Mage as well. I uh ended up jumping off of Paladin for Warrior when Endwalker uh, kind of changed some of their skills because Warrior just feels super comfy to play. All the time. Oh no! The rest of your gr your healer and two DPS died. The warrior shall solo the rest of the boss battle. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. We would be in Limsa. I mean, when you visit Balmung, you go to Ulda. Okay. Let me see here. What else we got? Oh, yeah. I'm in the house. I forgot where I was for a second because of all the nonsense. Let's drop everything here. I'm dropping all the alchemy ingredients in this spot. I'll be picking them up later. I play on fairy, but we obviously... You mentioned something about demystification? I was talking about, yeah, Elder Scrolls, I talk about demystification all the time. No, I was talking about uh, the uh, the breaking of uh, World of Warcraft's uh, mythos. We're going to the afterlife. The moment they did that, I was like, I'm out. I'm out. But no, I play on fairy. Fairy's full of a lot of degenerate people. I like it very much. Okay. Let me see here. There we go. Let me see what else. Um, the the selfie cam patch during Draenor gotcha. Uh, I actually liked Draenor a lot uh, in the beginning. But they didn't really deliver on all their promises, so I was like, okay, well, I'm done with this for a while. And then Pandaria became, uh, well, Pandaria was something I actually liked a lot. And then Draenor was bad, 
and then Legion was quote unquote good. Although technically, and I say technically because uh, while technically Legion was good, uh, it was actually the start of the power system that ruined uh, uh, the game. Like artifact power just kept getting re-rolled into the game as different systems, unfortunately. Like, they really wanted to keep people engaged at all costs, and I was, I was done with that shit. Yep. Mm hmm You really enjoyed seeing Ulda being more populated on Balmung. But there there's more to 14 than one city? Correct. If I had to pick a place to hang out in, it'd probably be the Crystarium. That, that, that's just the comfortable uh, city for me. I mean, obviously, we can just go hang out in player homes and stuff, and that that's cool, too. But, um, yeah. If I had to pick where I was most comfortable, it would be the Crystarium. All right. Let me see here. Ba -ba. Someone asked the sorrow of what, and it was Weirlit. It's uh, difficult to print, uh, spell, but uh, it's basically... Um, uh, a bunch of really cool fights, an absolutely absurd cutscene, um, a series of emotional suffering, um, yeah, yeah, a, lo a lot of emotional suffering, and perhaps one of the only scenes in, uh, in a video game to make me cry. I would say, um, there, there's only been, like, maybe four pieces of media in all uh, history that have ever uh, gotten me to shed a single tear. And that was one of them. Yep. The very, very final cutscene. When she woke up and uh, called him father. That, that, that got me. Yep. Okie dokie. Now then. Oh god, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a stinkhorn cap. It's gigantic, though. Why the hell would you make a plant that big be an alchemy ingredient? It's Restore Magica, so it's great, but that takes up a lot of space. Jeez. All right, what else do can we put down? We got potions. Potions, potions, potions. I wish I could delete those flowers completely. Ah, ah. All right, this area over here. We're going to like move over in this direction. Um... Jeez. Restore fatigue exclusives. Double checking to make sure there's nothing else I want to deal with right here. Eh, hammers. I don't need this many hammers. They can all get dropped here for now. Uh, yeah, it's... Mm, yeah, giant mushroom, exactly. Uh, yeah, we'll just put all these hammers here. That's good. Uh, master hammers can go over there. Yeah. That's good for now. Cleared up a good amount of space. Not all of it, but a good amount. Mm -hmm. I mean, I liked the um, the follow-up to the two dwarf storyline after the near raids ended. That's a that's a big uh, proviso. There is afterward. the The ending was a bit uh, special. Oh, yeah. But that takes weeks. Like, they literally give you a weekly quest. And that's that's nuts. Have you seen Terminator 1 and 2? Yes, I've seen Terminator 1 and 2. People have asked me, have you seen any other newer Terminators? And the answer is no. No, not not even a bit. Not, not even a little bit. Yeah, well, the fact is that the near raids are permanently... Shadowbringers 24 man raid series is absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, people keep asking me, have you seen a, a Terminator this or a Terminator that? And I'm like, I've seen the first two. That's that's it. Nothing else. People keep saying you should you should see this Terminator or that Terminator. And I'm like, no. And they said this series is good. I'm like when? Yes. When the near raids are free to play. Honestly, it's so strange how they keep expanding the free trial. Yeah. 
I hear something. One of us will Crap. Die here, That's a burrow rat. What was I saying? Chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Damn, big rat. What was I saying? Um, yeah, they, they keep expanding the free trial uh, to the point now where you can get all the way to level 70 without paying a dime. And it's it's bonkers. There is just... Uh, there There is now hundreds of hours of content in, in Final Fantasy XIV. Now, admittedly, I think that a lot of the base game content, um, that is to say the levels 1 to 50 content, has some very skippable cutscenes. People don't like to hear that, but um, all the information you need is contained in voiced cutscenes. But the unvoiced cutscenes... Uh, follow a particular uh, moniker. Show. Sorry, sorry. Tell. Then sometimes show. But definitely tell again. Yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunately how, uh, how Realm Reborn's cutscenes work. Tell. Then sometimes show. And then definitely tell again. And so you can usually find one of those in a voiced variety. Someone told me, you shouldn't skip the cutscenes of uh, the post-Realm uh, Reborn because Yagiri's introduction is there. I checked. It's voiced. Yagiri's introduction is voiced. Everything that's important about the post-patches is voiced. I, I made absolutely certain. All right. I um I specifically have gone I I've gone through recently and I I've been checking what is voiced and what isn't. And I've come to the firm conclusion that you can get through levels 1 to 50 beginning of Heaven's Word only watching voiced cutscenes and have a full command of the story. I, I, having watched the unvoiced cutscenes myself, right? The first time I played through, I was very skippy, and having I've been having been doing New Game Plus now, I am one hundred percent convinced. In the New Game Plus, I'm actually you know having I'm looking at all the unvoiced ones, and now I'm convinced, having seen the unvoiced ones, you are one hundred percent okay to skip anything that isn't voiced and still understand the entire thing. Yep. You could you could turn all the voice cut scenes into a back-to-back -back movie and you would know the entire story. That's how ridiculous it is. Whoop. Run while you can. The only thing that's unvoiced that I'd highly recommend is Hildebrand. But that is written in such a way that you don't have to take it seriously. It is so dumb. Absolutely dumb. Yes. So the game starts when uh, Nanamo gets poisoned. That's funny. But no, no. Um... Get, get, get Jeru. <laughs> What's funny you is most of the information about uh, Gagaraju and Hildebrand and um, did I shrink them? No, no. Th those are scamplings. They aren't scamps. They're scamplings. Difference. Now, what was I saying? Um... There are a lot of NPCs that have, um, that are carryovers from, um, the 1.0 version of the game you don't that to live. the game provides zero context for, and you're actually missing out a gigantic amount by not having played 1.0. 
That's the really sad part. Is there are tons and tons of these Realm Reborn NPCs that actually have, uh, like, that, that are tied either to other NPCs or were present themselves. Hildebrand was one of those examples where he had a full uh, 1.0 arc that led into uh, what happened to him at the beginning of Hildebrand in, in A Realm Reborn. And it's like, you don't understand how bonkers it was unless you go and seek it out. Yeah. There's a private server that lets you run around in all of the um, 1.0 locations, but it at present doesn't uh, doesn't do much other than basic combat. Like it, it uh, there's no questing or anything in it yet. But uh, someone's working on a 1.0 emulator. It's uh, it's far enough along to where you can fight Ifrit, but. Um, it has to be triggered. Like, it doesn't actually run the quest. Hello there. I should have killed you sooner. Damn, she should have killed me sooner. When, when did she have the opportunity to kill me? You can't escape me. I like how Far Fargoth is just wielding that Daedric die katana. Oh, she's got a, a Jinx sword for Fargoth. I'm just going to give... I'm just going to load Fargoth up on Jinx swords. They paralyze the target on touch, right? So, Fargoth is just going to be able to, like, paralyze people back to back to back to back. Every time I get a good Jinx sword, it goes to Fargoth. Oh, 300 gold. That's lovely. Battle time. Give me that shock resin. That lady wants to go to Ghostgate. We should oblige her soon. But in the meantime, clunk. Oh, jeez. I was inside of my own helmet. Let's see here. We're traveling. Oh, well, yeah, the Binding Coils of Bahamut is, like, the mid, sorry, the middle of Binding Coils of Bahamut is just one giant 1.0 reference. All right. I need to do binding coils on Blue Mage. That is unfortunately something that has to happen. Okay. Let's go have a chat with the person who's upgrading my stronghold. The price was right. The price was right. We're traveling. Mm hmm. That's funny if you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's funny. I've only done binding coils once at uh, level 80 uh, using, uh, what do you call it? Uh, unrestricted party or whatever. So, uh, no, I have no idea what I'm doing. Hello there. Three blessings to you, Outlander. This is a pleasure. I am ready to give your stronghold. Need to attract more settlers. Uh, so, Sir Hetman Gill believes that more women there. I'm inclined to agree with him. Strongholds can grow prosper. Uh, cannot grow and prosper with so few women there. I am spoken for, of course, but the men at uh, Indris Manor need wives. There are a few here in town. Yeah, that's, that's fine. So I gotta go uh, talk. I gotta go to the stronghold itself. Make sure everything's good. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Ba ba ba. Yep. Everybody's staying at the very end. Yes. <laughs> yep. Final sting. Got it. We it, we got better moves now though. Keep that in mind. Blue mages have, uh, as of uh, the Shadowbringers bump, 
Blue mages have better moves than they've ever had before. Hmm. This way. We're going onwards and sideways. At least we don't have to do it minimum eye level. Oh, this is too easy. Disease Kagaude. We're going up to our stronghold. It's up and across these hills. Um, let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go get our settlement set up. Will die, and it won't be me. It won't be me. Okay. Cut across to the settlement. Couple cliffy racers to fight along the way, but it's easy peasy. Mm hmm. Since older games were made for passion, not money. Uh, older games were definitely made for money, but they were made by people who were passionate about video games. And more importantly, they were. The, the creatives were in control of the projects for the most part and not bean counters. That was the real uh, issue. All the companies wanted to prosper, of course. There's there's no company that said it's okay if we lose money. No, the companies go, holy shit, we need to we need to stay in business. I hope this is successful. I'm gonna try to make the best game I can that is the most fun so that it sells. But uh, these days, I mean, think about it. If you have a hundred people each making uh, at least a hundred thousand a year, and you may have to make the game for four years. Uh, that's AAA development. How much money do you have to pay at minimum? And we're not talking about like the leads who get bigger salaries, right? We're just talking about like the the newbies. Yeah, oh boy. The 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 average like designers and whatnot. That's not even accounting for marketing and shit. Your indie uh, library is growing. I know, right? I have uh, like 150 games in my uh, wish list now. Yep. The hello, Hitman. Archmaster of Red Realm. How may I serve you? Uh, you may serve me by uh, yes. You uh, you have found women who will uh, move here. I will tell the others. Excellent. I don't think we've been introduced. May I help you, Outland? Hello. Blessing of arms heavy, master. Yes, I am master of House Redrin. Must be going crazy, talking to myself. Yes. So that's what I had to do. I gotta go back now. Yep. That's easy peasy. Mm-hmm. You feel like some directors don't care about money? Depends on the game. Yes. Do games as a service? Yes. Well. There are games that were designed as services with actual passion in mind. But, uh, um, unfortunately, unfortunately, there are some huge issues with, um, the average games as a service. Like, the exceptions can be good, but the rule encourages terrible games. This is true, and will never change. Anyway... Most of the games being made these days are live services. I, I believe the estimate was 95% of game developers right now are working on services at the moment. I have not played Stray, believe it or not. I watched a friend play it, and I thought, oh, that was cute, and I never got around to it. Mario Brothers Live Service, LOL. Sounds terrible. But then, they're treating Super Smash Brothers like a live service in the sense that they keep selling character packs. Hmm. 
Yep. I must destroy the cliffy races. I've never played the Mario Kart mobile game, although I've played the crap out of uh, Super Mario Kart 8. Um, every week or two, I end up playing uh, several rounds of that with the wife. In fact, the Switch is uh, upstairs in the living room right now. My, uh, my Switch dock is empty. You can see it's dusty too, but... Ignore the fact that it's dusty. It's empty. Yes. Whoops. All right. If it were Shadowrend, it would be uh, every couple days. As opposed to... Uh, every couple weeks... Okay, let's go. Does your wife play any games? Well, I mean, we play Final Fantasy XIV together, but uh, we also play Mario Kart, uh, Mario Party, Mario Golf, you know. But um, I'm trying to think, like, recently, no. She, she hasn't been playing a whole lot outside of the two games we've been playing together. She's uh, got some uh, crafting projects she's working on, though. So that, that's been monopolizing her time. So, you know, when I'm not streaming and uh, we're just hanging out, very often we'll sit down and play like Mario Kart or Final Fantasy 14 or something like that but uh, independently um, she has she like she really likes point-and-click adventure games like the classic kind you know so she's got a big steam library of those um, but um, right now no she doesn't play a whole lot of video games outside of what we play together yep Um, let's see here. Hmm. She doesn't like uh, first-person games very much. She tends to prefer uh, third-person or isometric style games. Let me see here. Okay, we got to go to the person in here. I need to check my journal because I forgot. I was like so busy talking. Oh, uh, yep. Had you two meet back in the day? Uh, we lived on the same block as children, or like one block away, in that that range, basically. We used to. Uh, it's called. Uh, Used to play uh, Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo, toward the toward the end there. Um, yep. See, we've been playing Mario Kart for ages. Yeah. People m like to meme and say that uh, uh, ch childhood friend route in Japanese cartoons or whatever, but. Um, it's true. Mm. We uh, lost touch with each other after um, after high school, and met again um, a few years later. Yep. We weren't uh, we weren't romantic in high school. We um, that that happened uh, in college. Yes. When we met again. You know. You go from friends to more than that via uh, spending time apart, I guess. It was meeting again that kind of triggered it. 
You bring me good fortune, Outlander. How may we, I be of service? We were just childhood friends. So, it wasn't a, uh, a, as you said, a girl next door romance. No, no. That, that happened later when we met again. All right. Discuss your stronghold. All right, ready to give your stronghold fit for a Red and Counselor. Yeah, attract more settlers. We did that. Last stage of your stronghold is under construction. Finally. Finally, our stronghold's going to be done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your graphical modded Morrowind. Hmm. Oof. That could be, uh... That's definitely a something. I'll have to have a peek at it later. Looks interesting. So... Mm-hmm. Let's go. Does she work in a similar field? Absolutely not. Not, not even a bit. She is, uh, you could say, completely opposite to me in terms of uh, what kind of work we do. Anyway. Let me see here. Clothier. Oof. Oof. Let's see. Bottomwoods and sideways. Are you here to serve the temple by performing duties, my child? Or have you come for something? Okay. There we go. Roris. What else we got? Mm-hmm. Could have sworn there was a tribunal Are up here. here to serve the temple by I need to serve the temple by performing duties. Good. So we're going to be doing the tribunal temple soon. We're, we're praying to the Om CV, by the way. Vivek. Sothasil. Om Alexia. Good, good, good. Yeah, we're going... We have just finished. I, uh, I learned C++. And in doing so, I have, uh, I obtained knowledge of why I do not want to be a programmer. Yes. I learned that I didn't want to be a programmer by learning C++. It's true. It's true. Alrighty then. My goodness. Good night. Yep. Okay. I mean, uh, you say there's always Python, but uh, the, the trendy thing to do these days is to learn Rust and then put on thigh highs and start living in a cage. All right. Let's see here. Where the hell are we going? Uh, <clears throat> this way. This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. Hmm. Guy doesn't teach anything. Yes. AI won't do most of the coding. <laughs> AI is. I. I. I've seen. Uh, I've seen AI programming at work. And AI programming is like having a junior programmer. That is to say, they fuck up, and you have to spend a shit ton of time correcting their mistakes. Hmm. Construction order. So yeah, I got the final stages of my stronghold being worked on. We need to head down and kill the necromancer. 
That's gonna be our big accomplishment. I think. Mm-hmm. The important thing to understand is that AI is not actually artificial intelligence. It's machine learning, and it is bad at what it does right now. And it, But it will never actually have anything more than that, at least in its current iteration. It's going to need to be iterated upon. In other words, the current models, the current systems uh, themselves are going to need to go through... Uh, Deconstruction and uh, rebuilding. Yes. Plus, there's going to need to be court cases, and it's going to need to be litigated. And we need to see what kind of uh, fu fun uh, laws get put in place regarding them. Point is that the current iteration of AI is going away. Let me see here. Mm-hmm. My goodness. Mm hmm. Uh, hold on a second. I'm trying to remember the um, the thing. Um. Someone asked me a thing. I have no idea. Okay. Jeremy Soul? He's got some good music. Yeah. I also heard he's insufferable to work with. Which sounds like me. Except, uh... You know, when I shut the fuck up, which I, which I do frequently when not streaming. All right. Let's see here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um... So there's apparently this guy online named uh, V-A-U-S-H. Never heard of him. But apparently people are talking about him and it's fucking funny. I'm just saying. The, the internet discourse around him is currently fucking funny. I don't know him, I don't care to know him. But, uh... What, what people are saying is hilarious and what people are showing is hilarious i'll leave it at that i don't know him and i don't care to know him now then let me see here uh b -b 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 so we are gonna go on over and give me a sec Mm-hmm. I need to I need to head down to uh Sadrith, not Sadrith Mora. It's gotta be Vivek. We're going down to Vivek. Teleportation is the friend. only civilized Welcome. way to travel. Hello there. We're in Vivek. Get me trainings. <whistles> Thanks, lady. She's so friendly. It just sits there and whistles like, I don't see you. We need that bloat. What else? Okay, we need to... Oh, she likes us a lot. Holy crap. Okay, f fair enough, fair enough. We grab the uh, bloat. Grab the... Fire... Fire? No. I don't see anything else here that I care about. Scamp skins look and restore this. Don't care about that. Fortify agility. Nope, don't care. That's it then. 96. Please. 80. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
She's actually 3,000 years old. You know, it's kind of funny. I'm kind of the opposite when it comes to the, the Japanese cartoon character characters. And first of all, Japanese cartoon characters are never a masturbatory device. They are cute, they are funny, they are hilarious. They are uh, really funny looking at times. But they don't replace parts, important parts of my life like that. Um, I do, however, download a variety of pictures because they're fucking funny. Uh, or otherwise. Uh, kind of like, uh, let, let's pull up the Astolfo picture for a good example. Hold on, let's, let's go with a good uh, Astolfo picture there. I freaking like this picture. But like is where that ends. It's a picture of a cartoon. That's it. Now, um, that said, that said, um, I'm actually fine with a character that is supposed to be canonically underage, provided it doesn't look like a, um, a child. That's, that's my concern usually is the, um, like, that they'll proportion these characters where it's like, this is disgusting, what the fuck are you doing, you know? Like, when we talk about, like, drawings of, say, Link and Zelda, right? Link and Zelda may be canonically under... They may be canonically adult or underage or whatever the fuck. But they're taking the role of hero and heroine through world-saving adult actions, right? So... I, I, like, if they look like an adult, I assume they're an adult because they're a fucking non-existent cartoon character. It doesn't bother me. It's how the character's presented that bothers me. Is the character presented like a child? Um, uh, they, they don't sexualize that, please, thanks. See what I'm saying? Like, like, let's, let's, let's use, uh, Ocarina of Time as an example. There are two... There are two versions of each character. One is... Okay, whatever the fuck. I'm not attracted to him, but you know. Let, let's say... Um, uh, let, let's say two, two versions of each character. You know, Link and Zelda. In, in the, the, the child timeline and the adult timeline. Right? The child timeline's obviously what the fuck are you thinking? Get this away from me. Versus the adult timeline where it's like, okay, whatever. Make, make, make the sexy pictures. I don't care, you know? Oh, there's, that, that's a pretty good picture. Cool. See what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, these are non-existent characters. So I don't care whether they are canonically this or that. What I care about is how they're presented. Are they presented um, like a child? Then get the fuck away from me. That's that's usually it. That's usually it. Lol. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. But, um, yeah, people talk about this shit all the time. And it's like... I, I, I don't know. Like, Japan is usually uncomfortable. Like, the Japanese, uh, like, not Japan itself, but j j the Japanese sphere is generally uncomfortable because we have to dance around. Like, when we talk about something that's really cool, chances are in that thing that's really cool, there's going to be a childlike character that's sexualized and that's uncomfortable. I've talked about, like, Dancing the Vampire Bund is a great story that is obviously aimed at some uncomfortable people. Same thing for Moon Phase. Moon Phase is also a really awesome story that is aimed at some rather uncomfortable people. And you kind of have to hand wave that, obliterate 
those you know that part from your brain when you talk about what 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 a good show it is so when i i talk about what a good show it is i also say and i recommend it to nobody and that's very often what i have to do with the japanese cartoons is i have to say oh i really like this show but i recommend it to nobody and that's because it usually contains the um aforementioned bad things yeah <laughs> he said uh quick way to mental problems reading that shit stop when it makes you uncomfortable yes exactly i was gonna say it that, that, that's basically it is um there are uh there are so many uh japanese cartoons that uh just have so much of that nonsense in them. It's like, this is a victimless crime. Yes, but it still makes me feel uncomfortable. It should go away. Or at least not be present when I'm around, you know? That said... There's so much of it. It's so ubiquitous that um, the internet's the internet. And there's no sense raging at its existence. Rather, rage at the people who put it in front of you. See what I'm saying? My goodness. You said in the UK uh, prison time if you do? Yes, but if you see it on social media, um, it's now on your hard drive. It's been put into your browser cache. So you are now in possession, Blee. You're in possession. What are you going to do? You better report it. You better report it. You're in possession. You better clear that cache. You have to destroy it. It's it's being preserved. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of fucked, ain't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> CC cleaner. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is uh, you, you go on to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like whatever you have there, <laughs> the police will raid your home. Now, I, I, I don't know if the police will raid your home, man. That That's that's based on what you say, not what you uh, you do there. However, all I'm saying is that, um, um, what do you call it? Um, like, if that's what you're concerned about, your browser cache contains everything you have ever seen, unless you clear it. I'm just saying. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Up, 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 uh, sipping on. Oh, this, this is just a little bit of leftover soda. I, I've, I've had a, a, a like a, a three liter, a, a three liter bottle I've been sipping on for the past two days because I, it's, it was opened, and nobody had any of it after it was opened. So it's like, this is on me to finish before the soda goes bad. Let me see here. Bup, bup, bum. So I've got like two more days to finish it up. Okay. We got everything here. You seem like very good company. We better watch out. Hey, I, I don't I don't know what's illegal where he's at. I'm just saying that uh you know, I I've, I've got I've got a whole range of really fucked up pictures like like this. And uh I apologize for none of them. I apologize for not even one of them. Because they're fucking funny to me. Alright? Now then. <laughs> what do we got? <clears throat> this way.
May I help you? Yes. All right. Hmm. We need to buy her soul gems and sell to her Daedric darts. Jeez, these things are strong. Yes. Nintendo will like that, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Nintendo will go after the uh, original artist at some point if they get, uh, if they make a little too much money, you know? Nintendo absolutely hates it when people make money off their intellectual property. Which they, I mean, they have the right to protect their intellectual property. Uh, unlike uh, other people, like some people think they have to defend it or they'll lose it, but that's not true. They, they are legally required to protect their, um, their trademarks, which is why if you ever use a fan project, you never ever use the title of that. You always use some sort of a, um, uh, some sort of a pseudonym that isn't covered under their trademark. For example, uh, if we wanted to do like Nintendo emulation, uh, uh, uh there, there's the... Uh, Ship of uh, Harnikin, right? Which is the Legend of Zelda, what do they call it? PC port. So, um, you know, if you wanted to do uh, Legend of Zelda for PC, it's not emulation, it's PC port. It's just, it straight up runs on PC, you know? Like, the Ship of Harnikin is, uh, like, all the software there is, um, you know, not using the actual... Legend of Zelda name so that it doesn't, um, uh, it doesn't, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, infringe on their trademark. It's still infringing on their copyright, but companies get to choose when they protect their copyright versus they are legally compelled to defend their trademarks or they could lose their trademarks. In other words, if you want to use a, the name of a particular, um, you said uh, Dario, the Portuguese plumber, more like um, uh, Red Hat, the plumber, you know, uh, I guess Red Hat, someone else's trademark. Fuck. Uh, oh, well, doesn't matter. Uh, Super Gina sisters are pretty cool, though. Let me see here. Uh, Pal World success. You'd say Nintendo hates making money. Yep, yep. Dario is a real name. Dario is a real name, actually. But, uh, hold on a second. So someone asked me about, um, um, uh, about different memes. And I'm looking around, like, let me see here. Uh, th th this one's good. Th 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 this one's pretty good. Like, I like uh, most Astolfo shit because of what it represents, not because of necessarily what it is. Um, let me see here. Oh, um, here, oh, hold on a second. Um, oh, here, here's a good meme. I, I like this one. This, this one's fun. Th this Squidward uh, meme is really fun. Check, check this shit out. Okay. I, I like, I like this, this meme a lot, personally. Uh, it, it, uh, it offends some people and it's really funny when, when it does. It, it, some people get really triggered by this shit. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Let me see. Uh, what else? Um... I like to throw this one up every once in a while. This is a classic one. This is uh this actually originated from 4chan. 4chan created this psyop. They uh they made up this uh, bullshit acronym called MAP, or uh, minor attracted person, and then they popularized it with sock puppet accounts in order to get people to self-report on themselves. And so now people self-report all the time as being a MAP. But it's actually part of a uh, 4chan uh, psyop, and uh, 
Yeah, they, they made like 700 sock puppet accounts to all self-report to encourage other people to self-report as well. Uh, anyway, this is this was being shown around the same time. Uh, that was that was going on on the the four chans. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So now, when anyone anyone's de declaring themselves a map or minor attracted person, they're actually they're actually victims of that four chan psyop that that are being uh, tricked into self reporting. Yeah. Anyway, let me see. <laughs> he said we're not going to make it. Yeah. <clears throat> that Valrush stuff is looking uh, suspicious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, va 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 yeah, I don't, I don't care about that. Um, let me see here. Someone was talking about, like, okay. Yeah, th there's a character I really like named Megaman. Uh, people show me pictures of Megaman I don't like, but this one I like. That's the Smugaman. Yes. Just saying. Just saying. That, that this falls into that criteria, I think. I, I, I like Smugaman. Hmm. Let me see. What else we got? Uh, do, 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 do. Here's a anyone who's interested in Elder Scrolls here. Um th th this is this is Elder Scrolls related for anyone who's really um who's really into uh Skyrim specifically. If you if you are yeah. If you're interested in that kind of thing, we got this here. Yep. Now, if anyone's uh, interested in reading the book, this is the book. ABCs for Barbarians. Yes. Ahem. There you go. Uh, do, 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 do. Someone was asking about World of Warcraft. This is the only World of Warcraft picture I have at present. Right here. Yeah, that's the only World of Warcraft picture I have right now, unfortunately. Level 100 Draenei Prost did, yeah, something. No big deal. So, uh, yeah. All right, that was uh, definitely uh, a thing at the time. That's the only World of Warcraft screenshot I have right now. My goodness. Uh, let me see here. Is it Final Fantasy XIV? I mean, yeah. Also, no. Uh, let's see here. Here's a Dwemer. If you like the Dwemer there. There you go. Uh, Alright. Want to see a picture from 2015? This was from uh, 2015. There you go. Ahem. <clears throat> That, that was a 2015 picture. Right there. Yep. <clears throat> okay. What else we got? No. I don't see a whole lot of anything else. Oh, uh... Here's an otaku, by the way. P people people call themselves an otaku. This is this is what the, the the Japanese view as an otaku, right? So if you you call yourself an otaku, uh, we we got uh, we got pictures for that. Yes, there you go. Mm hmm. Okay. Don't see anything else here. Nope, nope.
think that should do it. I don't know why I have this one, but I have this one. Something about Aurora Borealis. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Hold on a second. Let me let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and put these two next to each other there. Okay, there we go. Th this should be perfectly normal. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Perfect. There you go. Yep. <laughs> yep, stall rim armor, you got it. Okay. And what else we got? Anything else there? I have no idea. Nope. Nope. Okay. Let me see what else we get. It's already over, elves. I have depicted you as the soy jack. Okay. I don't think I have any of, of Todd Howard right now. Just remember to leave the multi-billion dollar company alone. It's like when I, um, when I make fun of, uh, what do you call it, uh, Microsoft's fucking terrible decisions or terrible management, people call me a Sony pony because, you know, they got, they, they're invested I haven't owned a PlayStation since a PlayStation 2. Of course, I haven't owned an Xbox ever, so, you know. But they're like, well, you use a, a PC, so you're part of Xbox. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely part of Xbox on, on Linux. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, <clears throat> yeah. By the way, people very often ask me, what do I think about this or that? And usually the thing that they um, they ask me about is on my muted uh, words list. Like, where I'm like, I don't want to hear about this shit ever again. And people go, what do you think about the shit you have muted? I'm like, oh, oh God. Why? <laughs> yes. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Oh, here's one I can uh, show everyone again. Yes. There you go. That should do it. Anything above 25% is probably, you know. Uh, there we go. 
Xbox will interrupt your game and kick you out to ask you to update. Yes, uh, there's a reason I don't use Windows anymore, except like uh, on a um, on a self-contained SSD that I occasionally access for like exclusive stuff. Like I'm, I'm talking about like once every four to six months, I'll log into Windows. And that the reason I stay away from Windows all the time is because of the updates. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We said you're at least 10% furry. Well, I'm at least furry adjacent. I mean, with the goddamn uh, cat ears, okay? Like, uh, I'm not I'm not a furry. I'm furry adjacent. And that is... That, that is something I have to acknowledge and come to terms with. Um, y you know. What with the, uh, the, the playing of the character with the, the cat ears. There's... There's no getting around that fact. Yes. You said uh, not me, but the, the meme pick. Yes, that's what I'm saying, though. It's, uh, it's funny. Yep. See you later, Dan. Going down this list. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's get going. We, we, we displayed a good number of memes. Oh, boy. Anyway. My point is, more than anything, to circle back around to it. I have a lot of fucking questionable pictures, and I apologize for none of them. That, that, that's all I'm really saying. Like, uh, n none of you are free of sin. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Anyway, let's get going. Do -do. When the boy is the group check, it's leaked. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, doing doing a modded Red Dead Redemption two stream at some point. Yes, I think that might be fun. Funny there. Yes. Voshed is a verb. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying though. Is uh, none of you are free of sin. And uh, anyone who claims to be will be exposed eventually. The question is... Whoop. Can you live with it? <laughs> All right. Let's uh, get going. We, we have to get to Sadrith Mora. Our goal is to go kill a necromancer. Uh, yes. Oh, it's 7 p.m. Fuck this. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'll start in the morning. I thought that was... I thought we were facing east, and then I realized... Like, oh, it's the, the morning sun. No, we're facing west. That's the setting sun. Fuck this. Mm-hmm. It was her answers. Wafting around in the ghost fence. Oh, jeez. Um... Yes. Hello, Archmage. I'm stealing your stuff. You don't have anything worth stealing. I am sad. I'm sleeping in this bed for ten hours. Yes. What was it I asked you to do? Oh, yes. Find out about the disappearance of the dwarves. Why not talk to Edwina in our Aldrun branch? The two of you should get along famously. I'll continue the disappearance of the dwarves questline later. By the way, you can actually find out what happened to them. It's very sad. He, he does not expect you to solve that quest, but you do. And he's like, oh, well, I didn't expect you to actually finish my quest. 
Anyway, let's let's go get some uh, blacksmithy stuff done first. Now nah, we're we're getting out of here. Fuck this. Oh god, the light. Are those Todd rays? No, no, they they aren't getting through. Okay, I thought they were passing through the the walls, but that's not true. That that's the rising sun. The rising sun is coming for all of us. Uh, we gotta go down this way. One true faith. Yes. Now go destroy House Telvani. Not quite. We just became the master of House Redoran. We must now destroy a uh, Necromancer who's up to no good. Yes. Hello. Why must you people Greetings. always pick on the small ones? Savvy. Go away. Pick on the small ones. Go away. Yes, I, I, I plan on picking on her some more in just a second. Give me a moment. She is indeed one of the small ones, though. Give her that Jinx sword. Take the hammer. Jink blade, Jink blade, Jink sword. Flame blade. Shard sword. Dagger of wisdom. Daedric Daikatana. We're holding on to the Daikatana for now, but we're selling everything else. Here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. We're going to go ahead and use the, um, uh, what do you call it? It just works spell. Uh, here we go. Whoa, second quest of what? I don't know what you're talking about. I've already finished House Redoran. I'm doing uh, something else now. The Tribunal Temple. They want me to kill a Necromancer. And I'm going to go do that. But first things first, we must sell this trash. There is so much trash that must be sold. Okay, I'm going to ask for double. Damn right, she paid double. And that's why we are rich. Marksman! It took two hours of marksman training. It should be morning now. Yep, it's 7.30 in the morning. 7.30 in the morning. We're getting out of here. Hell yeah. Wait, uh, can I go upstairs any further? No, no, we gotta get out of here. We're going to Molog Mar from here. It's a journey into the light. I mean, uh, downstairs? Can I just jump off and go crunch? Let's see, do I, do I have a slow fall spell? Uh, but... Uh, I do not. Amulet of slow falling. Let's do that. Good. Good. I, I, that was really great, actually. <laughs> I'm impressed. Okay. Guma considered doping. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. I mean, in, in a world where you can enhance your uh, natural prowess with all kinds of stuff, I don't believe they have any laws governing uh, or restricting your ability to uh, use those things at present. We're grabbing the Master Armor Hammers. That, that should do it. Hold on. Uh, hello. We're going to ask for... We want to keep the ebony stuff, but the imperial steel needs to be gone. That stuff is heavy and isn't worth a whole lot. So that should do it. Same thing for these uh, titan pants. Yes. Vivek isn't so much a city as it is a series of cantons. It's very alien, and I like it. Because it's horribly designed, and yet the people somehow uh, put up with it. I'm going to cast It Just Works on this guy. And you see he bought into the hype, 100 out of 100. Now that he's bought into the hype, we're going to buy his armorer hammers, the master ones. And then we're going to sell him our trash. Anything low grade that we can get away with selling, we're going to do so. Imperial Steel, get rid of it. Imperial Chain, get rid of it. Ooh, uh, the armor's too much. Okay, fine. That's good, good enough. I'm going to ask for 825 on the deal. Give me money. Damn right. 
Okay, we did it. We managed to make some money on our way out. We're going to head over to Molog Mar. Molog Mar should be like, whoa, over here? Uh, so, yeah, over here, yeah. Over this way. So we're going to head over to Molog Mar, and then we're going to go down to the area kind of south of Molog Mar, this area here. That's where we're going. Yes, exactly. Must buy junk, too much hype. Exactly. He buys into the hype. He buys our junk. And then afterward, he ha after the spell wears off, he has buyer's remorse and gets pissed at us and hates us as a result. That's the power of it just works. Yep. It's very effective. I've been doing that meme since um, before Fallout 76. But people, uh, people kind of rolled their eyes when it was about Skyrim, right? Oh, sorry, when it was about Fallout 4. They kind of rolled their eyes. But then Fallout 76, they started to get it. And Starfield, they really get it. Okay? But uh, I've been committed to the same bit for a while now. Some people uh, think the uh, the cat ears are a bit, but uh, I actually like them. It's the, um, what do you call it? The, the, the Bethesda... Um, "Quote unquote hate that that's the bit, because I actually like modern Bethesda games pretty well. Yeah. All right. Now then, let's see. Got it. Hmm." <clears throat> It's, uh, let's see here. Fallout 4 is when you removed your rose-tinted goggles. I, um... I thoroughly enjoyed Oblivion and Skyrim when I first played through them. The problem is... I then went back and looked at the, you know, story and read some of the lore books. Worst mistake. Don't read the fucking lore. It's, uh... It's way better than anything that's in game. They made a huge mistake in, in, in what to call it, uh, making it the same series oh, and not a spin-off. Don't don't read the lore. It sets unrealistic expectations. I was only uh, disappointed with Oblivion after I read the lore books about Obliv <laughs> about Cyrodiil, you know. Skyrim, I, I admit to having some predisposed disappointments, but the actual moment-to-moment -moment gameplay was enjoyable enough to where I just kind of shrugged and went, okay, fine. Like, uh, I, I was able to enjoy it. And then I reread some of the Nordic Pantheon stuff and was like, oh my god, why didn't you include this? Killing the uh, Cliffy Racer. You're dead, Cliffy Racer. But... Let's get going. We travel. At least we're getting tons of crab meat. I do like that I can one-shot these mud crabs. Very funny. Okay. Prepare. Let's walk over there. There's an enemy in the distance, so we want to make sure that our stamina is nice and regenerated. It's not going to be regenerated enough, but it'll be slightly better if we walk a bunch. As you can see, these rock crabs want to kill us, so. We just be extra careful that our stamina slightly regenerate as we walk over them. Bup bum. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was able to enjoy vanilla Fallout 4, but I enjoyed it way more. Said Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yes, it is Sunday. I'll be uh, streaming for about another 40, 50 minutes, roughly. And then I have to see about ending the stream because I can't let my stream go more than 12 hours straight. Not because I don't want to play the video game, but because um, the, what do you call it? Um, 
the uh, YouTubes no, don't want to keep a uh, VOD longer than 12 hours. You don't deserve to live. This guy keeps trying to tap me with whatever his special magic oh. is. And I keep backing off to not get hit by it. Sorry, Fargoth. Damn, look at that. Paralyzed the guy. Then smacked him with a Daedric Katana. There's a crab there. It's so much funny. So much comedy. Yes. Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. Very good. Remember the first time you played Marwind? I remember a little bit of it. Like, I've got some screenshots and stuff of my area, uh, like, first character. Um, did a lot more leaping around, I would say. The first time I played Morrowind, I, um, I, I, I enchanted some, uh, some insane athletic stuff. Uh, sorry, yeah, athletics and acrobatic stuff. And just kind of leapt around a lot. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I remember more or less the first time. I don't remember too many details, but uh, it was funny. It was a generic uh, sword, though, like two-handed sword. All right. So long blades are the easiest thing to find in Morrowind. Easiest way to um, get your character geared up. At least with a good weapon. Very accessible long blades. Mm hmm. Spamming spacebar? No, I didn't really do that so much. Acrobatting is funny, though. I did that uh, in on one of my streams. I got like a uh, rapid thing. It said uh, used to carry in flight spell while indoors. Nice. That is, that is funny. Okay. Traveling to Molagmar. We're getting there pretty fast. Don't see any other enemies. Doesn't mean they don't exist. Just don't see them right now. Looks like some uh, guys up there. For us to... Asan shop! Yep, I see him. You know, kill. Bash, kill. Hello! Hello! Lead. E. Damn. They weren't kidding when they said E. Yep. Is the Fargoth paralyzing again? That's how it works. Argonian Knight defeated. That Dwemer Pauldron ain't gonna serve you anywhere except in hell. Um, I'll take your everything. Surprised I didn't get over encumbered by that. Doesn't matter a whole lot. We'll have an armorer to deal with when we get there. Yes. Uh, we're going to rest for an hour. Uh, good. Today is the first planting. Yes. Clerics offer free curing services today. Cool. All right. First things first. We use this apprentice hammer to repair all our stuff. And when I say all our stuff, I'm also talking about the other items. Zero uses? What the hell? It gets one use anyway. That's right. If it says zero uses, you still get the initial use. I was wondering what went up with that. It's fine. We're going to have to get more repair hammers soon. I have some stashed away in Aldrune. Very funny. One shot the skeleton. 
Give me your saber. I'll sell that as well. Almost to Molagmar. You can see it from here. We did it! We've arrived! Oh, oh! I'm gonna see if I can defeat the Necromancer this time. Probably can't, but who knows? On our way through, we should sell some things. It's getting rainy anyway. Not a great place to be right now. Drink from the water. Okay. Going upstairs. Let's go to the very top. Find an armorer to sell to before it gets too late. The uh, goods and services have hours of operation. How could this be? Well, there are doors locked and it's illegal to break in. Ah, huh. uh, what's this? At the temple. There should be a blacksmith in here. Hello, armorer lady. I don't like you much, stranger. I know you don't. It's because I've told you that it just works a few times. And you bought into the hype and then, uh, you know, the it just takes its course. Natural uh, selection and all that. Uh, natural selections of goods and services. Perfect. Okay, so she doesn't like me much. But that's fine because we're going to tell her that it just works. May take a few tries. There we go. She bought into the hype. You see, she, her eyes are closed. 100 out of 100. Perfect. I will buy her Grandmaster Hammers, her Master Hammers, and her, her Journeyman Hammers. I'll buy all her hammers. Then in exchange, I will give her these armor pieces. She doesn't buy weapons. She only buys armor. So I'm going to give her all of the uh, the steel. Lots. It's practically a steel, yes. I'm keeping the Redoran Master Helm for now. But I am selling her this heart wall and then a bunch of Dwemer gear. Actually, hold on. No, no, no. Let's just take back the heart wall, take back the Dwemer gear, and we'll look about these first. That is definitely a better sell, yeah. Dwemer pieces now. Good enough. Okay, we're going to ask her to pay all her money instead of just uh, 1400 See how that works. Damn right it does. And then, watch this. 10, 10%. She, yeah, she, she doesn't like me much. She, I, I'm, I'm not the type she likes to deal with. See? She refuses services because she doesn't like me. Why ever would she dislike me when I uh, give her all this junk? I mean, I make sure it's in good condition, but she pays more for it than it's worth. And so, uh, she doesn't like me until I tell her it just works again. And then, uh, there's a switch that just flips and she, uh, buys it again what hello sir uh, yeah i actually want to trade uh i want your scrib jerky thank you you see he's bought into the hype i'm gonna get all that scrib jerky uh that scrib jerky is 93 i'm gonna ask for 53 no 63 good uh, hello there is there something I can do for you? Out well, there? what about this? It just works. Once we tell her it just works, give me your salt rice. Give me your... Um, uh, guar hide is good. Guar meat. Guar sausage. Hound meat. Marshmallow. What else? Don't see anything else. Coat of flowers will let you levitate. I'll get one of those. That's about it. I don't think there's any... I guess Wickwheat Muffins. Fine. So, let's just ask for a flat 100. No. 110? Cool. Point is, we got a 50 septum, 55 septum discount. It's good stuff. That's why we ask for all the discounts. Where to next? Let's head over to the... Um, the actual store uh, to the Red Run house, and there should be some NPCs in here we can trade with. Hello, sir. You choose to share your time with me. Mm -hmm. You humble me. Because I am the Grand Master. I don't need to tell him it just works. He already knows. Uh, so we're going to get hammers. And I guess we get some journeyman hammers as well. Uh, Storm Rage is a helmet with a constant effect lightning shield. That is a really cool helmet that I will never use. 
be great to come back here on a heavy armor character and just have a Dwemer helmet that generates a constant electric field. That That is a nice item that is worth... That's only worth 3,000. That's pretty cheap for all, thing, all things considered. So let's see here. We're going to sell him a good number of items. He buys weapons and armor, not just armor. But we'll sell him the heart wall and then ask for the rest of it. Yep. Perfect. Yep, yep. <clears throat> Fill it in storm cage. Oh, no. Hello. Archmaster of Redoran, how may I serve you? Ah, uh, yes. I am the Archmaster of Red Ren. It's great for you. Great you know that. Be surprised how many people uh, just go, Outlander! Alright, let's see here. I'm going to buy some of your Restore Health Standards. I'm also going to look at your Alchemy Ingredients. Stone Flowers I'll buy immediately, sight unseen. Uh, as for the rest... Um... Palm berries, nice. I think, yeah, you don't have anything else I want. What a shame. <clears throat> well, let's just ask for 130. Perfect. Hello, Bless sir. And keep your master. Uh, yes, yes. You'll bring me good fortune, master. How may I be of service? It's great that they've all become sick of fence now. All right, let's get going. Let's uh, head on down and fight the Necomancer. We're going to do it. Onwards and sideways. This way. Yes, Tomaroot. Always alchemy and grains to grab. Okay, so we have to head down south to fight a uh, a necromancer who's hiding down there. I tried to fight the necromancer earlier and got my ass stomped. It was just way too strong. I um gonna have to. Hopefully, we can take him this time. This will be the start of my tribunal temple questing. It'll be great. All right. Let's see here. Athletics to 74. What rats? Oh, this is too easy. Filthy rats. You should run. I'm going to let Fargoth kill it. Yes. Good. Fargoth, hand me your Daedric Daikatana. In fact, hand me all of your blades. Your jink blades, yes. I think so. I I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab all his swords. There we go. What about his armors? Oh wow, yeah, his armors as well. Hold on. We're taking his all everything. Okay, now that we have his all everything, we're going to repair it. Going to rest for an hour just to get all our stats up. Then we're going to repair. Yeah, some of his uh, items are just horribly broken. We're getting massive gains for our uh, armor skill. Yep, it's at 64 and a half now. Thanks to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, getting Fargoth stuff. Oh boy, here you go, weapons. And we need to, uh, yeah, wisdom. Let's see, J flame blade, jink sword, jink blade. Spark blade, jink blade, jink sword, and shard sword. And then, of course, armor pieces. Now, Fargoth will be uh, stronger than ever before with all his stuff repaired. Yes, not only micromanaging your own inventory, but your companions, too, is uh, it's a pain. 
Yeah. But uh, every once in a while, we gotta repair his stuff. Okay. Let's go down south. Our goal is to find the Necromancer and destroy it. We're getting there. We're almost done. You can't escape me. It's crazy to watch Fargoth summon a Bonewalker to defeat the uh, Guar. Is that a giant clan fear? It looks like a giant clan fear. It's terrifying. Giant clan fear. He's spitting. Oh, Fargoth paralyzed him. Very good. As it should, it was a clan fear warrior, and it gave me a Daedra heart. That is a rare alchemy ingredient that is very expensive. Glad we got that. There's all kinds of stuff. To, like there's a whole area to explore out there, and yet <clears throat> Fargoth isn't a commoner. Oh, you want to know about Fargoth's uh, trade? Let's, let's ask about Fargoth's uh, details here. So, uh, we know about Fargoth's background. But I was looking for, let's see, latest rumors, secret Marwin lore, murder, his ring, someone in particular. No, I, gu I guess my trade. I am Fargoth. Some people call me a commoner. But those people and I are not very close. I prefer to think of myself as a mighty, sneaky warrior. Oh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Fargoth's actual stats, though. He is... 164 short blades. My my uh, my weapon is 100. He has 163 light armor. My armor is 100. He is stronger than I am. He has almost triple my health. Uh, no, no, double my health. Double my health. Point is, uh, Fargoth is strong. All right. Let's go. Oh, this is too easy. Yes, it is too easy. He has a tendency to summon bone walkers from the uh, he has two amulets. Uh amulet of shades. He can use these to summon bone walkers. He also cycles through a series of jink blades which paralyzes enemies. He has like 5 jink blades right now. And when he needs to do DPS, he uses the Daedric Die Katana. Yes. But uh, he has a tendency to cycle through the paralyzing swords and just keep enemies generally paralyzed. Now you're going to get it. But you can see the bone walker there. Now you're going to get it. See that? That's what I'm talking about. Paralyzed, dead. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. This is the way down here. Wait, what? You should run now. Okay. <clears throat> now you're going to get it. Now you're going to get it. You should run. He only has one voice line most of the time. This is going to be fun. If we uh, dismiss him from the party and then uh, talk to him. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Follow me. Come with me. Let's go. Ahem. That's all he says. When, when he's uh, dismissed. Okay. Let's see. Hello. Salt rice. Salt rice is great. Fortify magicka, restore fatigue. Truly incredible. Marshmallow also restores your health. Make uh, triple potions. Let's 
see. There should be some muck. Yeah, it's a muck sponge. Muck is great. I'm gonna say crash weed, not so much, but up oh, rat. Destroy the light mouse. Light mouse is not the same as a rat. They have different effects on their meat. One of us will die, and it won't be me. Bargoth has no restraint, though. He goes all out on anything he enters combat with. Doesn't matter with the burrow rat or a uh, mud crab or a daedroth. He sees all enemies as uh, you don't deserve to live. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be fighting a necromancer soon. I'm just gathering some alchemy ingredients in case I don't go come this way for a while. It happens. Yep. The salt rice is delightful. Grab as much of that as I can. I don't usually come by here, so it's uh, good to grab as much as I can. Ooh, Bossmer. Whoop. You can't me. I would no, like to do a Bossmer playthrough next time using uh, archery. <clears throat> we'll have to find a female Bossmer follower at some point. Dragonian has a scale with fortify attack. That's good stuff. Extra, extra good stuff. Gonna take a moment and let our stamina regen. Oh god, the mice! No one can challenge me. Oof. Fuck. Sorry, Fargoth. Fargoth got in the way. I'm gonna wait an hour here. Well, not 14 hours, just one hour. Thank you. Fargoth gender swap mod? Nah. I want to fi uh, find an NPC I can recruit that's uh, a female Bosmer that isn't Fargoth. We'll have to see. We can, in theory, recruit anybody. It would just uh, potentially cause issues. Yep. Do. Let me say here. Hmm. Interesting. I forgot this character existed. The uh the thief companion. Yeah. Completely forgot uh, about those custom mods. Oh god! Gotta kill this one first. You failed to cast a fireball at me. Your skills fail you? <laughs> Look at her. That is hilarious. Yeah, Fargoth just paralyzed her. Killed her. What else we got? Money. And Daedra Heart. Excellent. We're getting there. Oh, God, there's tons of enemies. This is going to be a problem. This is definitely going to be a problem. Okay, first things first, we need a... Um, what do you call it? Golden Saint out here. I'm going to chill out for just a moment. We should be good. Hello there. It might be over for me, you think, but what if Dramora? And what if, uh, a Greater Bonewalker? And what if... No, that's fine. This guy's trying to attack me, but he's not doing a good job of it. It's over for you. Bargoth paralyzed her, and she's gone. Excellent. Damn, he's not too happy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's backing up. Fargoth paralyzed him again. What's making this guy so tanky? Did Fargoth just attack me? Fargoth angry at me? 
He said you don't deserve to live, so I'm concerned. This is going yeah, I pissed off Fargoth for good. What a shame. What a shame. I pissed off Fargoth. I do not wish to fight. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave and come back. You're going to get it. Really? Fargoth still, is still angry? To live. That's funny. Fargoth is still angry. He is no longer angry. See, when you do a load transition, he'll, uh, hey, he will, uh, stop being pissed at you. Oh no, it's back! It's back. Okay, I need to get, uh, cast most innovative. It's our, our spell for regenerating. Whoop, oh, hold on. Good. That's dead. Next. What the hell is with those giant spells this guy's casting? Good. Good. Wood Elf Enforcer defeated. What else? High Elf Monk. Wow, she had dreg boots. Crazy. We'll sell those for good money. This guy has a Daedra Heart. Thank you. Who else did I miss? There was a Khajiit. There's the Khajiit. He had a glass long sword. Cool. All right, we're good. What else we got? Salt rice. We're outside the necromancer's lair. We gotta be careful. This is where things go horribly wrong. He's in the necromancer's lair. I don't have too much time left before I have to log off or in the stream. Whether I start a new stream afterward is entirely, uh, yeah. N another issue, maybe. Let's uh, go ahead and um, rest for an hour. Here we go. How much coffee do you drink? Don't know. Don't know how much coffee do I drink. Uh, but, uh, let's see here. If we look over here, I mean, this is ha half full. You know, this is the cup half full or half empty. Yeah, w w one one cup. It's just one cup, man. Mm hmm Yeah. All right. Okay. So... Any Mancer fight time. We gotta heal ourselves. Gonna take a moment. Restoration! I feel like some of these questions get repeated a lot. Skeleton! No one can challenge me. No one can challenge the mighty Fargoth. Damn. That skeleton champion had a shard sword. Enchanted blade. We gotta be careful. There's a necromancer cycling around here. They cannot be trusted. Uh We gotta be careful. We don't know where they're coming from. The Necromancer's gonna cycle through here. We should be okay. Watching my stamina go up. Gotta be careful. Uh, before we do anything else, I'm gonna repair my stuff. I hadn't thought about that. Probably a good idea in full condition for whatever awaits us. The Necromancer is above us. They have massive summoning skills. I'm obviously going to use a Dramor and a Golden Saint right at the beginning of the battle to try to distract. But otherwise, we should be just fine. We're going. We're going to ignore the ghost. That's the Necromancer. You're gonna notice immediately they summon an army. No delay. 
Immediately, Graven Curse saps my strength. So I'm going to cast Dispel, which will remove the Graven Curse. And uh, immediately, a Greater Bone Walker nukes me. So I'm killing the Greater Bone Walker without delay. That is not a summon. That is just a real Greater Bone Walker who massively damaged my strength. Yes. Um. Okay, it looks like the cur I'm, I'm just cursed again, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm just cursed. The Necromancer, we're gonna kill right now. Yep. Okay, before we get hit with anything else, we're going to immediately start uh, start potioning up. So we got our weak, uh, yeah, our magic shield. We're gonna cast two of those. That's gonna give us some powerful shield there. Then we're gonna dr we're gonna use super energy drank, which is gonna fortify my everything. There we go. And then we need some strength uh, boosters. Fortify agility is fine. That'll make me hit more often. And fortify attack is good. That'll make me hit more often. But where's my strength? S T uh, S T R strength. Good. So this is uh, fortify strength. Two of those bargain potions. One cheap, and one exclusive. So we fortified our strength to the point where we should be able to down this guy pretty quickly. Okay, he's dead. The necromancer's already gone. His his uh, minions are unfortunately still a big deal. I hope I didn't piss off Fargoth. I pissed off Fargoth. Go figure. I am powerful enough to where that doesn't matter that I pissed off Fargoth, but I definitely pissed off Fargoth. Yeah, he's angry with me. He is very angry. He's also able to kill himself on my lightning barrier. That's a problem. Stupid. Yes. As you can see, he's no longer pissed. As we left. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. There we go. Fire Skeleton Mage is defeated. The Necromancer we have killed. This is fine. Mm-hmm. No big deal. No big deal. All right. The Lich has been defeated. Dwemer Spark Sword. Frostbite Sword. Curious. What's this? Crimson Despair Amulet. Absorbs willpower. Makes the target more susceptible to your spells. Uh, Cure Blight. Cure Common. Soul Gym Greater. Some probes. Yeah, the Necomancer has been defeated. There's still more to explore here. But this was the biggest challenge, was that damn lich. Summoning an army. Yes. Why have you come unprepared? Several times. In fact, the first time in Morrowind, I, uh, I, I uh, arrived unprepared. We're going to go ahead and break that. Actually, we're going upstairs first. Upstairs first. Just in case there's anything up there. I hear something up there. There is no escape. That's the real necromancer. You don't deserve the, the lich was just a uh, summon of his. So glad I came while my potions were still under effect. Chose the wrong Bosmer to oh, yeah, Far Fargoth helped me murder this guy. That was the guy. Yeah, th this, uh, this guy here. Wait. Sheemsil is a sneak uh, fortification, and this thing is... It's cast when used. It's not that great. Common robe. What's the ring? Ring of regeneration. One health point for 90 seconds on self. That's really good. I should give that to Fargoth. And he can uh, coordinate with his other ring. Yeah, he can uh, heal himself even more now. Fortified luck. Don't care about the metal pot. Don't care about the goblet. These lanterns are cute. Do not need them. Nope. Let's see. What do we got here? Blasphemous revenants. Not into the world, nor out of it. 
but between worlds they linger, held to the an obscure text in the language of the Slowed, purportedly written by the second era Western necromancer Nagasta. Okay. Uh, coins. What's this circle? It's also had an amulet of absorption. Vagaries of Magicka. Cool. Money. Yeah, that uh, amulet of spell absorption is kind of cool. Corpse preparation. Corpse preparation volume Fresh three. Fresh and decayed corpses are those that still have flesh. Yes. Ghoul heart, bone meal. That's a. These are journeyman alchemy tools. I'm still gonna take the journeyman alchemy tools. No question about it. I'm gonna nab those. Yes. But I should really grab basically everything in this guy's laboratory. It is improper, however customary, to refer to the denizens of the dimension of oblivion as demons. This practice probably dates to the Alessian doctrines of the first era prophet Maruk, which, rather amusingly, forbade traffic with daemons, and then neglected to explain what daemons were. It is most probable that daemon is a misspelling or etymological rendition of daedra, the old elven word for those strange, powerful creatures of uncertain motivation who hail from the dimension of oblivion. Daedra is actually the plural form. The singular is Daedroth. In a later tract by King Hale, the pious of Skyrim, almost a thousand years after the publication of the original doctrines, the evil machinations of his political enemies are compared to the wickedness of the demons of oblivion. Their depravity equals that of Sanguine itself. They are cruel as Boethia, calculating as Molag Baal, and mad as Sheogora. Hail the Pious thus long-windedly introduced four of the Daedra Lords to written record. But the written record is not, after all, the best way to research Oblivion and the Daedra who inhabit it. Those who traffic with daemons seldom wish it to be a matter of public account. Nevertheless, scattered throughout the literature of the First Era are diaries, journals, notices for witch burnings, and guides for Daedra Slayers. These I have used as my primary source material. They are at least as trustworthy as the Daedra Lords I have actually summoned and spoken with at length. Apparently, Oblivion is a place composed of many lands, thus the many names for which Oblivion is synonymous. Cold Harbor, Quagmire, Moonshadow, etc. It may be correctly supposed that each land of Oblivion is ruled over by one prince, the Daedra Princes, whose names appear over and over in ancient records, though this is not an infallible test of their authenticity or explicit existence, to be sure, are the aforementioned Sanguine, Boethia, Molag Baal, and Sheogora, and in addition, Azura, Mephala, Clavicus Vile, Vermina, Malakath, Hermias, or Hermaeus, or Hermaeus, or Herma, there seems to be no one accepted spelling, Mora, Namira, Jigalag, Nocturnal, Merun's Dagon, and Periite. From my Jigalag. experience, Daedra are a very mixed lot. It is almost impossible to categorize them as a whole, except for their immense power and penchant for extremism. Be that as it may, I have here attempted to do so in a few cases, purely for the sake of scholastic expediency. Merun's Dagon, Molag Baal, Periite, Boethia, and Vermina are among the most consistently demonic of the Daedra, in the sense that their spheres seem to be destructive in nature. The other Daedra can, of course, be equally dangerous, but seldom purely for the sake of destruction, as these five can. Nor are these previous five identical in their destructiveness. Merun's Dagon seems to prefer natural disasters, earthquakes and volcanoes, for venting his anger. Molag Baal elects the employment of other Daedra, and Boethia inspires the arms of mortal warriors. Periite's sphere seems to be pestilence, and Vermina's torture. In preparation for the next installment in this series, I will be investigating two matters that have intrigued me since I began my career as a Daedra researcher. The first is on one particular Daedroth, perhaps yet another Daedra prince, referred to in multiple articles of Incunabula as Hersine. 
Percine has been called the Huntsman of the Princes and the Father of Man-Beasts, but I have yet to find anyone who can summon him. The other, and perhaps more doubtful goal I have, is to find a practical means for mortal men to pass through to oblivion. It has always been my philosophy that we need only fear that which we do not understand, and with that thought in mind, I ever pursue my objective. Okay, fair enough. Jigalag, though. Jigalag. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. On Oblivion. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see here. <laughs> um Def model delivery. Well it's funny. And uh let's see here uh, demonic at Vermina. Be further back here. Hold on. Uh, Jigglag. There. Yeah. Uh, let me double check. Let me double check. Um. I think it was. And then it should be Morrowind. Morrowind. On Oblivion. Let me see here. Uh, UESP. Not Oblivion, but rather... I'm looking for the Morrowind version. So, Morrowind. On... on Oblivion. Okay. Let me check here. Yep. Jigglag is mentioned in On Oblivion in Morrowind. I just I checked the UESP for the authentic version. And uh, that's what it says in the Morrowind version. I double checked. When is the earliest mention of Jigalag, though? Because it, it just shows he wasn't just invented for um, Shivering Isles, you know. But uh, you said reading otherwise reading is preferable to you. Makes sense. But uh, I'm doing half a dozen things at once and. I'm able to, um, the, the cool thing about having the book reading like this specifically during a live stream is that I'm able to catch up on certain things. You notice that the live stream's been going for 11 hours, right? I'm able to catch up on certain things when a lore book is being read. I'm able to absorb the material and simultaneously get things done just in time to get back to playing the game. I'm able, what do you call it? The virtue is multitasking. Now, um, that said, I finished what I need to finish. Black altar, here we go. Do, 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 do. Um, so, if I put a greater soul gem in there, what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to cast soul trap on it? I think I was supposed to cast Soul Trap on this. Today is not the Shade of the Revenant. Fuck! No Black Soul Gems for us. What a shame. Someday. Someday. We'll come here. In time to be able to trap some human souls. For now though, we'll grab what we can. No big deal. I'm gonna grab what I can here, but yeah. Let 
but yeah, just uh, just know that that is that is the secret, super secret of how I'm able to do like an 11 hour live stream <laughs> is that uh, I sometimes uh, su uh, secretly multitask a bit. Uh, come on, Fargoth, come with me. Yes. All right. B -b 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 uh, what soul's tastiest? Um, what do you call it? Um, oh boy. I mean, I do love the way a grand soul gem looks. Like, we'll drop it on the ground here, and you can see that little that that thing there. It looks beautiful. Love it. Um, anyway, picking up stuff there. Okay. I'm looking at everything, and taking the whole bookstore is, uh, may not be possible. It's funny, but it may not be possible. Glass Claymore, Glass Longsword. Fair few number of items there. Ahem. <clears throat> okay. Let's go. But yeah, what I was most impressed about from that particular lore book was, again, like the, the idea that Jigalag was mentioned in such an earlier book. And so I was thinking uh, he definitely... I know he wasn't made up for, um, for Shivering Isles, but it just goes to show, like, when was he originally mentioned, you know? It's a, definitely a good question. Um, something to think about. Okay, we want to grab all of these books and sell them. That's what we're going to be doing here. This whole Necromancer's area exists for uh, the purpose of book selling. Dawn and Dusk. Darkest Darkness. I guess we don't need anything else. We've got plenty of books now. Invocation of Azora... What else? Yes, first fire. We'll take that. I think we're good. I think we we just need to check out the uh, underground now. And cooked iguana. I'm uh, thinking of that uh, version of Nerevar that uh, the the porn author makes. You know, the one who does the um, what do you call it? Uh, oh, that door's unlocked, but it's trapped. Uh, the one who does the uh, Azura body pillow uh, memes. <clears throat> Where uh, Nerevar is the Argonian. Telekinesis. We disarmed the trap. There's enemies in there guarding the uh, room. It's trapped. Lock level 50. Pictures. Ah, ah. Maybe someday. But no, uh, there, there's this whole sequence where Dagothur is fantasizing about what Nerevar was reincarnated as. You know, uh, may, maybe a hot red guard or a, uh, you know, a, 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 what do you call it? A Nord Twink or something like that. And then um, <clears throat> suddenly uh, the, the, the Argonian bursts in. And he his his Jagother's dreams are shattered. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's a trapped door, so what we're going to do is we're gonna telekinesis it from here. Telekinesis go where is it? Yeah. Bye. You can't escape me. Damn. Should be another one. Good. Wh oh, jeez. All these chests are trapped. 75. Run out of time here. Run out of time. Okay. We're going to use... It just unlocks... Nope. Nope. 
Nope. We got it. Cool. We're going to rest here for three hours. Then we're going to try again. One, two, three, four. Just bad rolls. Just bad rolls of the dice. Three more hours. Let's go. One, two. Got it. Okay. Now we need to use telekinesis to break the traps open from a distance. So that we don't get hit by them. None of the traps have affected us. We are good to go. Let me grab whatever that skeleton had. Nothing. Uh, double check these crates. Yep, we're good. Let's see what's in them. Uh, glass dagger. Armor of the elements. Some money. Topaz. Good, good. Yeah, ruby. This one. A Daedric staff. Oh, wow. That's, um... That's a blunt weapon. It's not as good as my uh, Nordic Silver Mace, but it's... Like, if, if you just wanted to have a magic staff, that's the way to go, I guess. And we got some more gems and money. That's pretty cool. The Daedric Stick. Oh, oh. Marwan versus Oblivion memes? I'm sure there are tons of them. It's definitely a fertile ground for comparisons. I'm going to try to bonk some enemies with this Daedric stick and see what happens. I'm curious enough. There should be some enemies in the middle here. Can't imagine there aren't. Uh, maybe there aren't. A dead adventurer. No, I'll take all your stuff. You don't need that stuff because you're dead. Uh, bones, campfire, there's nothing down here. We have successfully looted everything except some of the books. And I don't imagine those books will be particularly useful, so let's get out of here. This area was, uh, nuts. Absolutely nuts. Okay, what time is it? It's 1 a.m.? Let's, uh, rest for 7 hours. That'll get us to 8 a.m. My rest has been interrupted. That's pretty funny. But no, I should be raising a block. So let's get back to using our um, good old adamantium shield with the Nordic Silver Mace. Good. And we'll see about repairing our stuff using our hammers. Yes. Cool. We got it. The Nordic Silver Mace is just better than anything I can get in this area for, uh, you know, in staff form. Wait, what? What's happening? Oh, giant shock beetle? What the hell? That thing is huge! That was the black scarab. It had two shock resin. Not great, but hey, whatever. We gotta get up to Molagmar and turn in that quest. We gotta we gotta get done with this. There's a Dragonian up there too. I'm gonna summon a uh, golden saint to deal with it. There it is. One of us will Ambushed by rats. The Dragonian aggroed anyway. Okay. Uh, get a Dramor out here. And we will attack from the middle here. What are you doing, Fargoth? Fargoth ran away, summoned a Bone Walker, and ran back. It is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Oh, we got a Dragonian scale, which fortifies attacks. That's nice. We can make some more fortify attack uh, strength potions. Or fortify attack agility. That's all good. There are no enemies here, so we should rest an hour. Be fully refreshed. Yes. Mud crab die. Crab meat is a good resource. Always be getting more of it. Yep. Restore fatigue. Also resist shock, but that doesn't matter a whole lot. Mo our, mostly our goal is to go north. Go up, up, and away. What are your goals for streaming? No. To have fun is overwhelmingly the answer. If I just needed footage, I could record that myself. Usually, uh, when it comes to... Um, what do you call it? Uh, when it comes to, like, for example, Mega Man. 
I'm gathering footage and having fun. When it comes to, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Pal World, I was doing that as well. I was gathering footage and having fun. But in this case, I'm not gathering footage. I'm just making a little streaming series for the funsies. It's lovely, absolutely lovely, when you have a hobby that pays for itself. And overwhelmingly, playing video games and streaming them has done that. Okie dokie. Let's go this way. We're gonna... Ooh, Molag Mars right here. I wonder if we can just go straight... No, no. It, it hits water. Why not? Let's give it a try anyway. Sw swim, swim, solabim. Let's go. What playstyle are you going to have in Daggerfall? I don't know yet. You ask, I think you asked me that already, or someone did. Then you asked me another question that other people asked me already, so, you know. I'm, uh, like, it's, to be honest, when a bunch of people ask me the same question, it starts to blur together. But, uh, let me see here. This way. When I start getting broad responses prepared in written form. <laughs> That's the honest truth of it. Okay. What's an uptime? <laughs> we are over encumbered. What happened? Serious hunger and thirst weigh down heavy on us. We must drink. Can we refill our water from here? No. We are close enough. Refill. More importantly... Food. Good. Yes. We're almost there. All right. Yep, yep. Up, uh, this way. You won $150 from the casino? That's awesome. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yep. Moo. Indeed. Okay. We're going to go turn in the quest, and we'll be done. Mm-hmm. Up, up, and away. It's working out well. Okay. So, we go up this way. I'm surprised my headset hasn't started blinking red yet. It's still blinking blue, meaning it's doing just fine. But, uh, there's a little light on the bottom that starts blinking red when it's uh, running out of battery power. Like, no, no, as long as I don't use the LED. If, it, if I use the LEDs, it uh, lasts for about eight hours. But otherwise, it lasts for like a full day. Which is funny, considering we've streamed for 11 hours now. Alright. Give me a blessing. Rock of Lothris, Realm's Grace. Hello. The necromancer, Delvam and Darius. No longer a threat to the temple. Indeed, I have uh, killed Delva Mantaris. You've done the temple a great service. And when you're ready, I have more urgent duties for me. Well, advance me in the temple. Uh, your talents are noteworthy. Some would question your depth of devotion. Uh, perform more duties and you will be rewarded. Good to know. Train me. What rank are you? Ha! Maybe later at a higher rank. Ha! 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 Right. This is glorious. This is Tribunal Temple? T tribunal, give me OMCV restoration. Get those, uh, those illnesses gone. Damn right. We did it. So, is that it? Uh, yeah. I think we are good to go otherwise. We have 
during this stream, we have successfully finished uh, the Redoran faction. We are now the Archmaster. You see, we were on the council, but we did not have the rank of master. But we fixed that. We are now the Archmaster. We had to duel in the arena in order to get that title. But um, <clears throat> we fixed that. We are good to go. So uh, now we must progress in the Tribunal Temple and finish that up. Then we can continue the main quest. And the main quest will have us uh, shift our faith around a little bit. But first we want to become the Arch Cannon of the Temple and then go back to Caius and be like, you better explain yourself for all that nonsense, you know? And we'll see, we'll see. But for now, I am going to go ahead and take off. Why am I going to take off? Well, it turns out um, that, uh, what do you call it? We've been streaming for over 11 hours. YouTube likes to cut itself off. Like, it likes to end its VODs at 12 hours. And so what I'm going to do, because I'm insane, is I'm actually going to take a short break, stretch my legs, walk around, and then I will be streaming some more. And you may be wondering, wait, 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 stream stream for like 12 hours or more? Yes. It turns out that uh, certain people who might have been coming over for the Super Bowl won't be coming over for the Super Bowl. So I will be... Um, when, when my streams end, I will be chilling with the wife, um, probably sleeping in the same room. You know, um, that's probably what's going to happen, like when the Super Bowl's playing. So I'm, I'm probably just going to be uh, kicking back, relaxing. So uh, I'll see y'all in about, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, somewhere around there. There'll be a new, uh, for, those on you, for those on Twitch, just stay on the same page. For those on YouTube, uh, there will be a new stream popping up on my channel a, a different video and that'll be um that'll be more of this i'll i'll stream at least another hour can't guarantee how long i'll go after that that is all based on how tired i get but at least another hour i'm, I'm gonna stream so uh be right back <laughs> 